Even after we fought side by side for the safety of our utopia? There are some things you cannot know, Yamaguchi. Kitame, I've, I've lost all sense of who you are. You're only 12 years old. Don't use my age as a pawn for your betrayal. The true identity of your father is too much to bear. I demand the truth, or else we battle. No need. It is I who is your father. Oh no! But you're a monster. You've killed so many. Everyone I killed, I killed to protect you. Well, why did you torture all of them? <laughs> Pardon me for finding joy in my work. <laughs> I must withhold my tears and only convey an appearance of rage. Only my private soul within me may shed one. Tony, your food's ready. Fucking stop playing with your food, man. I don't like salad. I don't care, eat it. Yeah, you got steak. Tony, I'm not a fucking one that's the size of a fucking beach whale, but... My name's not Tony, it's Anthony. And that's another thing, I. You go to college today, then? No. So you've been up there all day, fucking watching that Chinese fucking animation shit. But my, um... My anxiety was playing up. Oh, don't talk so shit, man. I have anxiety, I... I can't help it. You can fucking help it. All you ever fucking do is sit upstairs all day, all fucking night watching that Chinese. They're not Chinese, they're Japanese. Chinese, Japanese, Taiwanese, it don't matter. All I can ever hear is ding dong wong songs from your fucking room all night. It's fucking kid shit. And you can't help having anxiety. You have anxiety because you stay up all night, sleep all day, and because you're fucking fat. If I can eat your salad, get your ass up the fucking wooden hill. And you can get some sleep. I'm driving you into college first thing. And I was talking to your mother. And I'm taking you shooting this weekend. No. The anime convention is on Saturday. What the fuck is an anime convention? Yeah, I forgot. He was looking forward to that. What is it? It's like this It's this huge event. Satoshi Momoshi is going to be there. Katie Kaiwai, the best cos... She's like the best cosplayer. Uh, I, I, I can't miss it. I, I bought tickets last year. I'm cosplaying there with Tim. Fuck is... What the fuck? What the fuck is cosplaying? It's when you dress up as your favorite character from like an anime or a game to show like your respect. Me, me and Tim are gonna go as Jesse and James from Pokemon. We've spent like so much money on the costumes. You can't like not let me go. I have to go on Saturday. No, oh, like fuck are you coming fucking hunting with me? You have one going to that fucking shit. Now fucking eat your tomatoes. You gotta be up early. Break it on. Fucking have a fucking load of that, boy! <laughs> you fucking farted on me. Fucking wallop of a fart that was. Fucking knew it'd get you up and out of bed. Come on, downstairs now in five minutes, get your fucking kit on. Chop, chop, chop. Alright, Torn? Alright, Torn. Hey. I'm so depressed. Oh, sorry to that, but. Yeah, we fucking go. It's just my stepdad again. Tony! Not being funny, but can we just watch this a second? We'll talk about you now. Yeah, give us five, but Satan's tits are gonna throw a goat into a wood chipper and spray all the guts on the crowd now. <laughs> Fuck me. That was fucking awesome. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? I'm seeing them live in July. Apparently they changed the animal every tour. When they played Birmingham, they chucked a fuckload of rats and shit. 
Most of the audience got Viles disease. What's Viles disease then, bud? Get it from rat's piss. I think I read it's like a bowler or something. But you bleed out your eyes less. I wish I was going to an event soon. Beaton only said I can't go to the anime convention on Saturday. What the fuck? Yeah, it's shit. Why? Because he's a cunt. He was verbally abusing me for having anxiety and... As punishment for having anxiety, he said I have to go hunting instead. But... But the cosplay? I know. Fuck! Oh, I can't get anyone to replace you now either. Unless it's you, Dick. There's no way I'm going to that shit. Why not? Because anime's fucking gash. I'd rather suck a bag of gone-off dicks. It's all I've been looking forward to. The only thing that... Like, it was like a light at the end of the dark tunnel that is my depression. Your stepdad sounds like a bit of a cunt, to be honest. I'd fucking shoot him on that hunting trip if it was me. Shut up, Deke. You can't fucking kill him. Why not? Just blap him in the head. And when the fuzz show up, tell him it was an accident. Like he got in the way of a bird or something. I don't know, make some shit up. Right, everyone, sorry I'm late. Come on, turn that shit music off for there now. Time to do some IT. Oh, Jock, who's this then? I don't know. Sounds like, uh, sounds like Nickelback. Alan, crank up the radio, but they're Nickelback are on. Fucking arc of that, boys. Fucking best band ever going, they are. Fucking Chaz Kroger. Fucking best singer ever. <laughs> Fuck I. And that was Nickelback with their new song, Thump of My Soul. Next we have Ed Sheeran and his new single, Drinking All Night and Being Super Sensitive. Oh, fucking knock that off. Fucking can't stand that cunt. Whenever I hear this fucking ginger fucking voice, I just want to fucking smack him out, man. That bird I saw last night likes him. That's a thing for ginger cunts, does she, Jock? Fuck off. How'd it go? Aye, she was alright, she was. Is she fucking whipping knickers down in or? <laughs> Fuck aye. You wanna watch it don't fucking fall off, Jock? What, was she off that fucking uh, Tinder, was she? Aye, fuck aye. That fucking Tinder's a fucking future, man. Fucking hell, how many fucking bangs have you had off that now end, Jock? About 14, 15. How long have you had that now in? Since last Friday. <laughs> fuck me in the head, but that's only four fucking days ago. Yeah, fuck I. Alright, come on, pass it you. Let's have a look in. Oh, she's nice. She's smart, but eh? What do I do then? Swipe the next one, is it? Fuck I. Oh, she's alright. Nice bit of skirt, but eh? Ooh, fuck me. She's fucking howling, she is. How do I say yes to one then, Jock? No, you fucking don't, you cunt. God, Al, can you imagine if that shit was out when we were fucking single, but Aye. Just get him, man. Sandra would no. know. Oh, you get fucked. Women know fucking everything, but Wouldn't want to do that to Sandra anyway, boys. Fucking love her to bits, don't I, man? Like a whip back in a shit, you are. We have a good thing going on. It's just that fucking fat Mongo fucking son of hers. He's still fucking watching cartoons all day, is he? Oh, he's fucking up all night, man. Fucking sleeping all day. No driving him at all. Oh, he fucking walked past me the other day. Oh, but the smell coming off him. Oh, he was fucking him in. Do you know uh, Martin Evans? Who, Martin Bastard? No, Tight Martin. Martin Hughes is Martin Bastard. But anyway, his boy was into all that fucking comics and Japanese, Korean cartoon shit. Always in his room, always sleeping until five in the afternoon and that. Used to drive him up the wall. Oh, did he, uh... Oh, he grew out of it then, did he? Well, no, he died, man. He got it by a fucking tractor, and he? walked straight out in front of his adult cunt. He was 29 years old, still a fucking virgin, on his way to the job centre. Fucking hell. Fucking, what happens to people, though, like, innit? That's what I always think. Like, young people today, they all fucking skive off, fucking no work ethic in them at all. Like, why can't they just be, like, fucking... You know, like when we were younger, honest, hard-working, functioning fucking members of society. Yeah, fuck I, but... Author of The Red Plague, the UK's great squirrel hunting manifesto, and I'm Killing Animals.
Today, I'm joined by somebody who's been in the business for over 30 years. Like me, our guest believes the invasion of the grey squirrel is something us guardians of the Great British Red is a problem that has to be stamped out. I picked him up outside the train station and that's what brought him here today. So, tell us a bit about yourself. It, oh, well, um, my name is Bob Hughes. So today you've brought the Ammo Big Cat 1200. Anything you'd like to say about this gun? Well, uh, nothing really. Aside from it's very good at killing grey squirrels. Here he fucking is. <sighs> hey, come and sit down with us then. Watch this, get ready for Saturday. What is this? It's one of my hunting DVDs, it is. Get off my leg, you cat. <sighs> Can I just go to the anime convention on Saturday? No! You're fucking coming, Ton. It's gonna make a fucking man of you, this is now. It'll put some fucking ears on your balls. But, but Beaton, I... I don't really, like, agree with hunting... I like animals. Oh, fucking Arca, this. I like animals. Fucking watch your fucking tampon don't fall out now, Ton. Now go on, if you're not going to watch this, fuck off upstairs. I've had enough of you now. Oh, and uh, me and your mother are going out for our one-year anniversary tonight. We left you two pound for the takeaway. Two pound? That, that's like... That's not enough. Oi, ungrateful. You fucking have what you fucking given. Anyway, uh, I think... Uh, Fucking think two pounds fucking plenty for you. Fat so. Oh, it's fucking, uh, it's fucking nice in you, isn't it? Yeah. Swanky, like, isn't it? Yeah. How was your, how was your wine? Fine. How was, uh, how was work today, then? Fine, thanks. Anything, uh, I don't know, funny happened today, then? Uh, not really. Oh, fair enough, alright. Actually? Yeah? Oh, actually it wasn't that funny. Oh. Can't believe we've already been married a year now. Ah, oh, the wedding, though. Best day of my life, that was. Ah, oh, it was like, I can remember as if it was five minutes ago. Oh, I'd give anything to go back. Come on, big boy, you got this. So you walk down that aisle, look her in the eye. It's the woman you dream so about. It's your future. It's all you've ever wanted. But you be fine now, boy. Come on, you soft cunt. You be fucking fine now, bud. You ready? Yeah, I'm right, man. Fucking right as rain, I am, but. Bit of nerves, is it, bud? Fucking shitting in your knickers, are we? Nah, don't be soft, man. Fucking right as rain. I'm fucking right as rain, boy. I'm fine. You can still have a can with us, man. No, 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 no. I don't want. No, I don't want a can, but. I'm... I'm, look, I'm fine. I just I need to keep a straight head on. I need to stay sober for this one now. Come on, but have a fucking slurp, you soft cunt. Fuck I. Be trust us, it'll sort you out. I had a few tinnies before all five of my weddings. And all the way through the wedding afterwards, I was just like, yeah, fuck I. It's a long day. I'll have one after. I don't need one before the wedding. Yeah, just have it. Oh, well, um... All right, oh, go on then. It's just the one. I'll wet the whistle. Will you take this man as your lawful husband to have and to hold from this day forward in sickness and in health till death do you part? I will. And will you take this woman as your lawful wife to have and to hold from this day forward? Fucking fuck, are you fucking, are you fucking believe it? I fucking take her, fucking. And now we commence with the reading of the vows. Beaten, I promise to love you honour you and cherish you as my husband. I vow to hold your hand in my hand, to hold your head in my hands and to hold your heart in mine. I love you and you are my husband for all time. I pledge to be your ever faithful, honest and loving wife. Sandra, uh, you fucking, you a woman, I fucking, oh, I love you and I fucking, uh. So yeah, as I've said, didn't want to do a speech, but I'm doing it. Because, you know, beat. F good lad, me. Good fucking lad. Right, uh, yeah. 
Um, yeah, thanks for coming, everyone. Yeah, it's been a lovely day, haven't it? Yeah. yeah, thanks for coming, anyway. Um, yeah, Sandra, you're right, isn't you? Oh, you know what? I, I can't really do this, but um, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let Charles Kroger, fucking best band, fucking singer ever fucking going, speak through me for this one. Sandra. Look at me in the eye. Never made it as a wise man. I couldn't cut it as a poor man stealing. Tired of living like a blind man. I'm sick of sight without a sense of feeling. And this is how you remind me. This is how you remind me of what I really am. Ah, what a day that was. Well, no, you drank so much, you were in a three-day alcohol-induced coma. We missed our honeymoon. Every day is my honeymoon with you, Sand. Now, come on, where's this fucking food, then? So, part of the reason you're here today, well, the reason you're here today, is that we've had reasons to believe you've been claiming job seekers allowance whilst you're actually working. Nah, but I don't even know why you'd think that. Okay. You see, Mr Bennett, we have it logged here that you were spotted working at a building site on Eureka Place on Tuesday the 2nd of April at around 2.20pm. Nah, no chance. I would have been out in town going shop to shop asking if there's jobs going. That's honestly all I do during the day. Then at night I go home on the laptop, on the net like, and, you know, just searching on the job website. Mr Bennett? Look now, I'm not a fucking scumbag who'd claim and work at the same time. People like that, I reckon they should be fucking, fucking strung up, man, costing the government fucking millions each year. I'm not fucking having you sitting there with your little clipboard accusing me of this shit. I would never fucking claim while working. Ever. Quite frankly, I'm taking this as a fucking insult. Okay, right, um, I'm going to show you this video clip captured by one of our fraud investigators. Hey boys, I've been reading this book about anti-gravity. Anti-gravity? Yeah, it's fucking impossible to put down. Oh, that's fucking shit that was. You pair can just fuck off. That was comedy gold that was. I could have been a comedian, you know, except I'm not. I'm just here now, working as a builder. Yep, working and at the same time claiming job seeker allowance. I know it's wrong, but I like the extra bit of money, don't I? Yes, me, Alan Gordon Bennett, born 12th of May, 1969, who lives at 12 James Avenue, Beaufort, Ebuvale, postcode NP241TR, is working on a building site whilst claiming dole at the same time whilst I fully know it's a crime. You're a fucking dumb cunt, I all. What if you get fucking caught doing that now? Fuck the lot of them. Oi, Jock, chuck us another tin here, but... Um... Well, we're cutting you off benefits and we're going to enforce the fullest fine for this offence. Right, so basically, without RAM, your computer will not function. So if a computer is ever going slow, it's probably because of the RAM or lack thereof. Another thing, not that any of you are really paying attention to any of this. The other thing that makes computers slow is viruses. They make them slow. If you have low RAM and a bad virus, well, it's a whole other kettle of fish, that is.
Mr. Faden. You right? Yes. This is Kate, the new pupil I was telling you about. No one fucking told me about this. Yes, they did. She's from Bryn Mawr Comp. Remember I said she was transferring from there to here? Kate, why don't you go and sit at the back by there, by Tony? Me and Mr Faden have a couple of things to address, okay? Hiya, I'm Kate. Hi, I'm Anthony. Ah, cool. It's a bit weird coming to a new college. Is that a Bubblegum Crisis Tokyo 2040 t-shirt? Ah, this? No, this is just a t-shirt of the original OVA. Just Bubblegum Crisis. It's one of my favourites. Have you ever seen AD Police? Yeah, I love all of it. I love anime. It's so amazing. What's your favourite? I've never met a girl who likes anime before. Really? That's crazy. It's my favourite thing in the world. You ever watch Bo 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 Bo? I've never met anyone who's ever heard of Bo 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 Bo. Oh, who's done that? What? That fart is fucking howling. Oh, I... Fuck me, ass bumping. Fuck up, you drama queens. Fuck me, jock. What the fuck have you been eating? Hit a bag in last night, didn't I? Girl I met was wanting to snort a few lines and then have a rub. <laughs> On a fucking coke all night, were you? Fuck I. I'm not being funny, jockey, but that fart is thick. There's some fucking after that one. I feel like I'm fucking drowning by you. Well, it gives me a bad stomach the next day, doesn't it? Didn't have a come down off it or anything, did you? Well, I felt a bit wishy-washy when I first woke up. But, you know, just cracked the tin you open. Felt right as rain, then. <laughs> I'd see a fucking doctor if I were you. That fart ain't normal, jock. It smells like you got fucking arse cancer or something. Alright, Blev, what's happening, bud? Fuck me! It's like I've ridden my wheelchair to Bosnia. Who's dropped that fart? It's fucking him there, wasn't it? Fuck me, that's pungent! Anyway, Alan, I got a fucking boat to pick with you, boy. What's that? You've been fucking claiming while working here, haven't you? Yeah, got pulled up on it this morning. I'm having them for it, though. Invasion of privacy, that was. Never fucking mind invasion of fucking privacy. You fucked me. You actually fucked me out. I'm all in and revenue at my ass all fucking morning. Fucking only having fucking fight for fucking pain. All you fucking cunts got in hand. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Blev. No, fucking hell. Fucking I'm sorry, you know. You fucked me over good and proper, Al. I'm telling you this now, I'm not gonna fucking pussyfoot around it. You're fucking done! You can grab your shit from the cabin and fuck off! Uh. What are you saying here now, Blev? You fucking sacking me? Aye! Too fucking right I'm fucking sacking you! Get the fuck out of here! I'm gonna go and finish my can over there, and when I roll by you later, I don't wanna see you! Fuck. Fucking, fucking hard lines, Al. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, man. Got cut off from the door. Fucking just got sacked. Fuck, I don't think today can get any worse. It's crazy, like, she she knew everything about anime. Everything I mentioned, she'd seen it, read the manga, had the games. I, 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 I've never met anyone like that before. What about me? I love anime. No, like a girl. I've never met a girl like that, is what I meant. Ah, she's so cool. In love, are you? What? No, nah. It's just cool. Like, I don't, I don't fancy her at all. It's just nice to meet someone who respects anime as a medium. Fuck off. I saw the way you were licking your lips, staring at her little ass. Th- that's disgusting. That's sexist and wrong. I would never look at a girl in that way. Ever. The fuck you would? I was listening to you both. Sounds like she had a bit of a thing for you, too. No, she... Really? Aye. Isn't it, Tim? Yeah, fair play. Sounded like she was flirting with you. Fucking well done, Tone. For someone like you, she's alright, eh? If it was me, I would have asked her out, Tone. Well, I, um... I could sense a spark. But... Oh, well... I thought it was just me. She did add me on Facebook, though. So, uh... Suppose that means if she does say yes, she won't be killing Beaton on the weekend? Oh, I, f- I forgot about all that. Oh, look at him. He's so in love, all the hate has left his body. Well, if something happens tonight, when I ask her, then no, I... I won't kill Beaton. 
I'll just do the hunting trip and see her when I get back. I suppose if we start seeing each other after a few months, we could move into our own place or something. God, boys, it's like since meeting her today, for the first time in ages, I, I feel happy. Like I have something to look forward to. Oh my god. How bad is this? Rich, this is Tony Tim and Deacon. Tony is the guy I was telling you about. He helped me get set up an IT class today. He's fat. Oi, don't listen to him, Tony. That's just his banter. This is my boyfriend, Rich. Go on, babe. Fucking neck me in. Rich. Right, see you tomorrow, guys. Don't go killing yourself now, Tom. Choosing to spend their increasing disposable income on fatty, sugary foods. The future diet report. All right, babe. I was college. <sighs> yeah, it was. Is that him? I've got a fucking bone to pick with you, boy. There were fucking five of these in you, and now they're only fucking three. What the fuck are you playing at, boy? Uh. I, I, I... Don't fucking answer me back. When I talk, you fucking listen, Tone. These biscuits were fucking mine. I said you could have one of them. Fucking one. Not fucking three. Look, look. Let's not get stupid now. <laughs> I'm not stupid. No, 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 no. No, no. You're not stupid. You're, you're fucking... You're brainy as fuck, Tone. You're brainy as fuck. Look, I'm sorry for all I've done. I'm sorry for calling you fat and making fun of your anxiety. Look... I'm, I'm sorry for making fun of anime as well. I, I fucking love anime. It's great anime. Is look, put that down. We'll go out and I'll buy you all the fucking anime I ever made. Tony, please. My name is not Tony. It's Anthony. Hook me up. Rock it out. You fucking, you fucking, you fucking, fucking jaw off. Fuck it out. Please help me. I don't want to die. I love Sandra. I'm sorry, please. Fuck, this is the most pain I've ever fucking experienced. Tony. Oof the fucking Tony. Oof the fucking Tony. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. You've been sat there smiling for about a minute. You better not be on that fucking blow. No, no, I'm not doing that. Look, can I, can I just have dinner now? You had your fucking dinner. Go on. Fuck off. Up the wooden hill, up to fucking bed. Oh, fuck me, he's a fat cunt. Morning, beat butt. You right, butt? Finally Friday. Aye, thank fuck. Now look, fucking... No, you fucking listen to me. Look, fuck off. You, you can shove your fucking money up your ass. Call me when you stop being such a fucking cunt. Who was that? Inland Revenue, was it? No, it was my fucking mother. Fuck me, Pete. Why do you have to remind me to phone those cunts? I forgot I had to fucking phone them this afternoon. Oh, fuck me. I hate Alan. That fucking twat. It's like he's flipped me out of this chair. Whip my boxers down and fuck me up and down this fucking side to you. Not gonna uh, take him back on then. Fucking don't go being a funny cunt now, meat. If I ever see him on this site, I'm gonna roll over him. Uh... Out the fucking way now, you soft cunt. Oh, fuck me like. What do you call a jealous Bulbasaur?
I don't know. <laughs> a greenosaur. <laughs> Tony, you are so funny. Where do you get these Pokemon jokes? <laughs> I have my sources. I've never met someone who knows so much about anime before. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> that that one just came from nowhere. <laughs> The fuck is talking to your girlfriend, Rich? Yeah, I know. Why don't we just beat him up, eh? We're the honest boys in the college. Come on, let's go over. Hey, babe. I'd fuck off if I were you. We're the honest boys in the college. You'd kick the shit, didn't you, you little fat cunt? Yeah, go on, Rich. Yeah. Yeah, go on, let's neck her. Neck her. <sighs> hey. Hi, Ton. They're already like a pair of rabbits. He's like a dog with two dicks. <sighs> Whatever, I don't even care. I just don't want to talk about it. <sighs> what were you guys on about? Oh, me and Deacon were talking about the worst ways to die. He reckons it's fallen into a massive vat of Calpol while working at a medicine factory. It's just, he didn't have to come over and, like, instantly start snogging her. And then his friend was all like, fuck off, we could beat you up. Yeah, Greg his name is. Greg Harris. All he does is follow Rich around. I just, I just hate guys like that, walking around, telling people to fuck off that they see as, like, beneath them. I completely agree. <coughs> How's it going, then? What are you boys up to? Ah, uh, just on lunch. Ah, sweet, sweet. I'm doing a sponsored run on Sunday for a cancer charity. Fuck no. I haven't finished yet. And you're not gonna finish, Pat. We don't fucking care. No, but I'm doing a charity run. I need people to sponsor me. Only two quid each. It's for a charity for starving kids in Africa. You just said it was a cancer charity. Ah, uh, yeah. Starving kids in Africa who also have cancer. Just fuck off. <laughs> Oh, I fucking hate that boy. It's a bit fucking harsh, isn't it? Harsh be fuck. That boy's a fucking thief. Acts like your friend, but if he can make money off you, he will. If you'd given him any money for that run he was on about, you wouldn't see it again. You wouldn't even do the run. I just... I didn't really think he was, like, that bad. He's a thieving scumbag. Huge fucking-headed, ginger-eyebrowed scumbag fuck. Oh, yeah, um... I was going to say, uh, you still up for coming hunting tomorrow now, ain't or? Aye. Weather's supposed to be nice. Fucking can't wait to not be in work and just be out in the sun. Fucking can of beer on the fucking go, man. Be fucking, be fucking heaven, this will now. Aye, it'll be good. You, uh, you still got your rifle for tomorrow now, then? Don't need a rifle. I was just going to bring this. Fuck me, Jock. Where the fuck did you get that? I've had this for ages. Just keep it in my pocket, but yeah, man. Bit weird going hunting with a handgun. Does the job beat? Shot a rat with it the other day. Didn't get a chance to get up the drain pipe today. <laughs> Fucking have to give Alan a ring later. See if he's still coming. Why don't you ask him, man? He's only sat outside his house over there, man. Oh, Al! Why didn't you come over here for a can? Aye, go on. You coming hunting with us tomorrow now, then? Aye. Blathering in about now, is he? No. One of the boys took the wheelchair ramp away. He's stuck in the cabin over there. How's it been going, Al? Ah, oh, it's alright, man. Just weird adjusting to being unemployed, like, you know. You been looking for jobs yet? Well, I'm going too late, though. I'm just having a little tin here, sec. Trying to put everything in perspective, like. Yeah. Be fair. Probably the best thing to do at the moment, that is, man. Fuck. I'm just feeling like a right failure at the moment, boys. A proper fucking cunt. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Yeah, it'll be good to go off hunting tomorrow, boys. Have a can in the fresh air and forget all the stress, like. I know it's only been five minutes, but I really miss this place, I. I'm lost over there. I'm bringing this, aren't I? You're a fucking madhead, I jock. Fucking remember that time Blair then asked you to hammer that nail in, and you just went, how's this Blair, and shot the nail? Yeah, fuck, I. Fucking hell of a shot that was, but fuck me, I'm gonna miss this place, I. But yeah, anyway, I best be off, boys. Don't wanna take the piss and I'd stay my welcome, like. I can't believe I've got to wake up at 7am tomorrow. I've never woken up that early on a Saturday before. Well, you wouldn't if you didn't have to go to that shit anime convention. It wouldn't be shit, man. I can't wait. Tim, K, 
can you please not talk about it? It's making me like depressed thinking about you going and me not. Ah, oh, sorry, Tom. Yeah, I'm just excited is all. Why? You're going on your own. It's going to be fucking boring. Yeah, I can't really see how you could enjoy it all alone without anyone to share the experience with. Hey, Tim, thanks for giving me that spare ticket for the anime convention tomorrow. I'll meet you at the train station tomorrow at half seven. Aye, that's all right, man. No worries. I'm probably not going to bother wearing Tony's costume as it's a bit big for me. Sorry, Tom. So I'm just going to dress up as Ezra Scarlet from Fairy Tale. Hope it's not too cold as it's pretty much just a bikini. Anyway, i got to run. What the fuck? Well, no one else wanted to go and you told me she liked anime. <laughs> this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm gonna kill my stepdad tomorrow. This is all his fault. Tony, will you stop planning to kill your stepdad? It's the last time I'm gonna say this now, but look, you're my best friend, but you can be the biggest drama queen going. You're not bad, do you? He's only taking you on this hunting trip to try and bond with your mum because deep down, he cares about you. If you kill your stepdad over not being able to go to an anime convention, you'll go down in history as the most insane weeaboo meme ever. Please, just grind it out tomorrow, and then going forward it'll be fine. It won't be that bad. There's just no way your stepdad is as bad as you make out. No one can be that big of a cunt. Well, well, fucking well. If it isn't the fucking no shag gang, fucking hell. Where's mum? She couldn't make it today. Asked me to swing by and pick you up. Fuck me, like, these are your friends today. What a couple of fucking homos. Look at him. See, that looks like a fucking testicle. An actual human testicle with those fucking pubes sprouting out of his chin. And look at this one by you, with the fucking glasses and blonde quiff. What a fucking nonce. Anyway, come on, fatso. Get in. And if you can't make it on your own, get your two fucking boys there to fucking roll you in. I just bought the new Nickelback album on the way home. Thought it'd be good for tomorrow's drive to the hunting range. If I bleed tonight, if I am sad tonight... Wow. Fuck that guy. Alright, yeah? Yeah, I'm fine. Why are you standing there facing the window? <laughs> Just thinking. About what? Thinking about how it all came to this. Ah, oh, sure, look. I've been looking for jobs all day. This is just a bump in the road. Well, it looked to me like you were sat outside drinking cans of lager all day. Look, that's part of my process. I just need to put things in perspective. Oh yeah, Alan. Keep putting things in perspective. That'll put food on the table. Look, it's not as bad as you make out, yeah. We've still got a roof over our heads. Yeah, for now we do. Ma'am, what's for food tonight? There isn't any food here, love. But I'm hungry. All I can make us is flour and water again. But I don't want flour and water again. <laughs> Look at the state of him, Alan. He needs to eat real food. There, there, baby. He's hungry too. We'll get through this. Oh, I'm grabbing a titty. Fuck is this? What in the absolute fuck is this? What? Light lager. Two percent. Sherry, what is this? It's all I could afford at the shops, Alan. 2%. That ain't even normal. You know the rule, I don't go below 5%, love. Fuck me, this is starting to hit hard now. Look, just get out, the both of you. You can't just tell me to get out. We need to talk about this together, as a family. Get out! There, there, boy. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll sort this whole fucking thing out. Fuck me, it's like drinking a can of water. Woof. Ho oh, ho! In the next episode! I said in the next episode! Can you hear me at the back? Tony, beaten, and in the ultimate showdown, stepson versus stepfather, what will occur, eh? <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe now, you fucking cunt.
I just don't want to go to this. It'll be all right now, babe. I just, I just want to go to the anime convention. I'm so distraught. Fuck me, I'm excited for this. You're not fucking whinging by there now, are you? No. Look, I can't be dealing with you fucking crying big tears of butter on the big day, Tone. Don't listen to him, Tony. Your tears aren't butter. Yeah, they fucking are. Fuck me, Jock. What the fuck do you look like? Like a stone-cold hard bastard. Right then, boys, we're gonna fucking move on or what? Aye, aye, we will now. Just, we're just waiting a second. What are we waiting for? You said you were driving. Come on, you cunt! Shift your fucking asses! I'm burning through fuel, by you! Fuck me, beat man! You didn't tell me that fucking Judas was coming! Come on! This thing only does two miles to the gallon! If you don't get in, I won't be able to start it again! Beat, what the fuck are you playing at? Look, I didn't want to say, I invited him last night. It'll be good now, hunting trip like this. We'll give you the chance to smooth things over. But Beat, he's fucking off his head, man. He's going to ruin the entire trip now. Don't be daft, man. It'll be a good laugh. Play your cards right and you'll be back on the building site on Monday now. Promise you. Right in, boys. Let's get fucking going. Oh, Blev, chuck this on, bud. Bought it in Tesco. What is it, Beat? It's fucking Nickelback, Blev. Fucking best band ever, man. No! I fucking hate that Chas Kroger cunt uh, with his long hair and his big crooked gay nose. Uh, we're having my music on. Creed! This is fucking music, but... Uh, I bought that Nickelback CD especially for this fucking trip and all that. See, I fucking told you inviting him was a bad idea, but... Fuck off, Al! Go on, chuck us a fucking dinny in! What the fuck? Light lager! 2%! Al, what in the love of fuck is this by you, man? Uh, to be honest, it's all I could afford, beat. Times are hard at the minute, I'm unemployed now, and I? Oh, this is a fucking joke, Al. Blev! Can we pull over the next shop we see to get some cans? No! I told you! When this gets going, I can't stop it! Oh, fuck me. I don't know how to cope with this. What do you think about it all, Jock? I'm staying dry for this. <sighs> fuck me, Jock. What's that? It's my hunting serum. It's just a hodgepodge of powders. Bit of coke, bit of smack, some speed. I need to keep my head clear, don't I? Keep my senses sharp. Fucking hell, Jock's been much, innit? Well, I haven't been hunting for four years, have I? Not since... Since what, then? What are you talking about? I don't want to talk about it, Al. Is it really as good as we thought it was going to be? Nah, to be honest, it's, it's pretty boring. Really? No! It's fucking amazing, Tone. I can't even fucking lie about it. Oh. It was announced this morning that Brian Drummond and Sean Shemmel are going to be interviewed on stage by Doc Harris about the English dubs of Dragon Ball Z. Fucking Akira Toriyama is just walking around here fucking signing shit. I had a selfie earlier with Clamp, and they're actually doing a Q&A screening of the new Digimon movie. Oh, alright. Well, but, you know, it's not all that good. The, uh, the lines are pretty long. How's it going with the hunting trip? It's shit. Have you finally seen sense and changed your mind about killing your stepdad now? Well, he's practically ruined my life by not letting me go to the convention, so he's definitely going to die today. Ah, Tony, aside from what I said, 
It's not that good, yeah. Hey, Tim. Oh, right, kid. Yeah, I'm just talking to Tony a sec. I'm having an emergency. My bikini is broke and my boobs keep falling out. I need you to help me just to put them back in. And after that, can you please cover me in this body glitter? Tone, I gotta fucking run, but I'll see you later. No, Tim, no, don't go. Oh, chunk. Stop talking to your gay boyfriend on that phone now. Come and help us, you fat, selfish cunt. What, what, what do I need to do? Don't fucking mouth me now, Tone. Go and get some firewood. Have a fucking scavenge. That's a bit fucking harsh, isn't it? Oh, you don't know what it's like living with him. It's fucking hard. I know what it's like. How? My third wife. She had a son. He was one of those Star Wars Trekkies. Just used to walk around the house with a pair of plastic spock ears. And all he'd talk about was spaceships and beaming up. He was about 20 odd. It was fucking shit, to be honest. But I got it sorted. How'd you, uh, how'd you get that sorted, then? I fucking divorced her. He ain't that bad, though, Tony. He's a... I thought I could send something. Come on, this is just the beginning. We need to get moving. We're losing light, by her. Yeah, yeah, give us five and we'll... Not five, beat. Fucking no. Dude, he's a fucking mad head, eh? How are you finding it so far then? Fine. Beats the fucking cartoon convention, don't it? Anime convention. And no. What the fuck you mean no? You're in the fucking great outdoors by you. One with nature. This is it where you find yourself? Where you learn who you are? I know who I am. Well, if this is who you are, then you need to fucking change, Don. Hold up there now, boys. What's going on? Shh. He smelt something. What the fuck is happening, Jock? A bed. In the bushes. It's alright. It's just a TV present in the bushes with a young boy. Oh my god, it's fucking Phil White! Alright boys, you caught me. I must be upwind. I'm losing my touch. Oh my god, Phil! Phil, I fucking love you, I! I've got all your DVDs! It's always nice to meet a fan. And what's your name, young man? Anthony. Nice to meet you, Anthony. My name's Phil. Phil White. And this is Lee. Spelt the girl's way. L. E I G H, my cohort for the day. Who's he then, your boy? Does he look like my son? Lee, why didn't you tell him why you're here? When I was a baby, a grey squirrel attacked me and ate both my eyes. Phil is showing me the meaning of retro, retro. Retribution. Yeah. And you, Anthony, I see, you're carrying the BSA 210 SE Walnut point one seven seven there. Yeah, well, it's his, it's his first time. Hold on, mate. I'm talking to the boy. I don't really know what it is. That's all right. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. By the way, that's a cracking beanie you have there. Pokemon fan, are we? Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Back in 02, I was old up in hospital after eating spoiled squirrel, and all I had to keep me going was Pokemon Red. Cracking stuff. Why, why ain't he talking to me? Whoa. Why ain't he paying me any attention? Boys! 
Which one of you cunts is sorting my ass out? Go on, Al. This is your chance now, bud. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Fine, Brunny, because I want my job back so badly. Don't go getting any ideas when I'm vulnerable now. But anyway, we'd best get off late if you want to get your first kill. We'll see you later, chaps. Aye, we're camping just up there. Uh, pop over for a can later, Phil. Fucking, it'd be an honour. Is Tony going to be there? Yeah. Then it's a deal. See you later, Towns. Ta-ra, Phil. Huh, what a nice guy. Fuck up. Oh, go on, dig in. Oh, just get it done, boy. Oh. Fuck me. Come on, you're almost done. This fucking wipe me, man. Can't feel a thing anyway. Fuck me, man. Go on, man. It's all dead down there anyway. The only thing that fucking moves is a sphincter. And that's involuntary. I just don't understand. There's just so much shit in you. Fuck, this just can't get any more disgusting. <laughs> I can't get over how cool that guy was. What was his name again? Paul White? Phil White. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Phil. I can't believe he knew so much about anime. Yeah. I can't believe, like, how into bo 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 he is. And One Punch Man, and he, he said he had every issue of Bleach. <sighs> I can't believe he completed Pokemon Red with a Kakuna. Shut up! I... Sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, I was thinking as well, um... Where did, uh, where did Jockey go? Fuck knows. Come on, Ton. Let's get going. But but I thought we were going to wait for Alan and Blevin. I don't care. Come on, let's go see if we can find Phil in that fucking weird blanket. Maybe if Phil sees me killing a grey squibber, Leela, he'll talk to me. Oh, I think I'm finally done here, Bled. Have you? Aye, it's all done now, but... But yeah, don't worry about it, Bled. It's what friends are for. I'm not your fucking friend. Uh, I don't care how thoroughly and intimately you just wiped my fucking ass. You ain't never getting your job back on my sight. You fuck me, boy. So I'm fucking hell. Don't get me back in my fucking chair. I want to go and shoot some men. Fucking worst hunting trip I've ever been on, this is I. I I didn't mean to get on so well with that Phil guy. That's the one thing I've always dreamed of, meeting my hero. And you had to fucking fatly just take over the entire conversation with that stupid fucking Pokemon hat on, on your fat fucking head. Please, please stop getting mad at me. Why? All you've done on this trip is be a fat twat. I wish I let you go to that stupid fucking cartoon club now. You've ruined this for me. Right, Blath. Wait there a second, but I need a piss. Where the fuck have they gone? I don't know, Blath. If you hadn't taken so long cleaning my ass, it'd still be here. <sighs> Give me a sec. Let me have a slash and we'll get back on it now. Oh, what's this by you? Easy does it. Fuck's sake. Fuck me. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Fucking stupid man. There's a squirrel attacking me.
get out. Fuck me, bud. Oh my god. His guard's down. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Fucking... Have a fucking look at that, Torn. That's fucking beauty, that is. Give me a minute, give me a minute. I need to absorb this. This is it. This is finally a chance, Anthony. You've got to take this now. Tony, I want you to listen to me now, but... I... I want to apologise for the way I've been acting all day. Well, not even all day. All week. Oh, fuck it. Since you moved in with your mother... Oh, I get... Thing is, right, I just get wound up so easily. I work hard all day. And then I come home all ratty and acting like a right cunt at times, I. I'm sorry for always calling you fat and, uh... Not understanding your anxiety and fucking making fun of it. It's just, it's different now to when I was younger. You never heard of all this depression and stuff then. Oh, it's, it's typical me it is, Tone. Thinking I know best when really all I should have done is sit down with you and ask what's wrong. I'd be anxious if I was in your shoes, but... If, I, if I'm being honest, like, if I, if I had to come home to a big, massive, fucking drunk stepfather, always getting me down over time. Ah, oh, fucking... I think that what we should do is, when we get home, put all this past behind us and turn over a new leaf. And while we're at it, we could think of a way to make up for you missing that cartoon convention thing you wanted to go to. Or my treat, by the way. What do you think about that, Torn? Is he tricking me? Does he know that I have a gun pointed at him? That was actually really kind. I, I don't think I should do this. Oh, you haven't gone deaf there now, have you? Oh. What the fuck are you playing at, boy? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. You're lucky that's only a fucking air gun. This is it. I'm actually going to beat the fucking shit into you this time now, boy. Fuck me. What happened, doll? I'll tell you what happened. This cunt, did he kill me? You're lucky I'm fucking paralyzed already, you dull cunt. Fuck, Gleb, I'm sorry. It was an accident, honest. Fuck off. I know your game. You're a slimy prick, I Trying to bump me off to get back on that site. I'm out here in a bouncer when I get back. A big, massive African bastard to snap you in half if you even look at my sight. Oh! What are you doing, you dull cunt? You haven't lifted me in ah! Oh, fuck me, this has been a shit trip. I haven't even fucking killed a squirrel. I'm drinking this fucking 2% fucking bitch pop. And to top it all off, that fat cunt did this to me. So how long are you going to leave him like that for then? Long enough for him to think about what he's done. Where did you get off to then? It doesn't matter where I've been. What's he tied up for then? Oh, the fucking doughy cunt only went and tried to shoot me, didn't he? I can't wait until we get home. I'm gonna burn all his fucking gay cartoon shit in the back garden. You hear that, Ton? All of it.
beat. That's a bit fucking tight, isn't it? Al, you wanting to fucking kill me out there? After I've had about 30 or 40 of these, I'm going to start beating him up with this stick. Yeah, but Pete, why did he shoot you? Because he's a fucking ungrateful fucking flabby fat cunt. So you don't think it has anything to do with you always calling him a fat cunt and all that? No. Come on now, Beat. Sounds to us like you're fucking always on his case. He's probably had a fucking tit full of it, like. Yeah, but... Listen, bud, why don't you just fucking cut him down from there now? Fucking shake hands with him and give him a tinny. There's still time left to patch things up. Fuck I. Can't help having anxiety. You have anxiety because you stay up all night, sleep all day, and because you're fucking fat. Uh, fucking have a fucking lord of that boy. Beaten, this is my son Tony. He's really been looking forward to meeting you. Beaten, beaten. Uh, I, I, I've really been looking forward to meeting you. My, my mom said so much cool things about you. Fucking hell, he's a round little fucking bastard, isn't he? Fucking look at him. He's like a little beach ball. Come on, fatso. Get in. And if you can't make it on your own, get your two fucking boys there to fucking roll you in. There were fucking five of these in here, and now there are only fucking three. What the fuck are you playing at, boy? Can I can I just have dinner now? You had your fucking dinner. Go on. Fuck off. Please, please stop getting mad at me. Why? All you've done on this trip is be a fat twat. I wish I let you go to that stupid fucking cartoon club now. You've ruined, you've ruined this ruined for me. For me. <sighs> You're both right. <sighs> Torn, come on, bud. Come on, boy. Are you still going to beat me up with that stick? No. I'm sorry for being such a cunt. Come on. I'm, I'm sorry for shooting you, Beaten. Please don't burn all my anime memorabilia. I won't. Come on. Come and have a tinny with me and the boys. All right, Tone. Don't go trying to fucking shoot him again now, kid. <laughs> I won't. Yeah, you are, Tone. It tastes like stale, gone off piss, but... It's all we have. Hello, hello, hello. Phil! Mind if we join, boys? That's all right. Fuck me, bud. You brought the 5% lagers, is it? Yeah. Tuck in, fellas. Where's, uh... Where's Blair then? Fucking numb nuts by day. Only tried to fucking kill him, didn't he? Everyone's been trying to kill someone today. Fuck up, will you beat? I didn't try to kill him, it was an accident. Go on, tell him what happened. Listen to this, it's fucking quality eye. Right, well. Now before I get into this, it was a complete and utter accident, right? I was having a slash, and Blair saw this squirrel. Then, come on. I can see you both dying to give me your presents. Come on, Tone. Let's have yours first, boy. Ah, oh, cheers, Tone. Uh, fa- thank you. That's nice. Good present, Tony. All right, and Sand. Come on, babe. Let's have yours then. I hope you like it. Sandra, he's he's fucking beautiful. Well, that's all you've been asking for. Who's an handsome boy? Fuck, I've always wanted a pet snake. Oh, it's, it's something about him. They just have, they have this draw to me. Oh, thanks, babe. I love him. And uh, you know what? Tony, you've made the naming easy by your boy. Uh, wow, you're going to name him Tony? I'm going to name him Chaz Kroger. Oh, I, I, I'm going to fill up by you now. Tony, go get the Vionetta. 
and, uh, and see if there's a little ramekin in the bottom of the cupboard for little Chaz by you. Who's a cuckle buckle? So to confirm, your meter install date is down for the 17th. Of September? Aye, 17th of September. Is there anything else I can help you with today, sir? Um, oh, uh, I don't suppose you have the winning lottery numbers this week? <laughs> have a good day, sir. Oh, fuck me. Oh, how's it going, Al? I yeah, I... Uh, you know there's 38 calls in the queue? I just got off one. Just having a whiff for a second. Yeah, well, that whiff is eating into your allotted ACW time. Just remember, if it ticks over 28%. Yeah, just the last call was a stressful one. Still getting used to this call centre malarkey. Uh, Alan, what do we do here? Uh, take calls? We provide gas and electric meters. Where I come from, I wouldn't exactly call that malarkey. When you go home tonight and you turn on your telly and you sit down with the heating on, keeping you warm and toasty, just remember what affords you that luxury. Yeah, I... Uh, Hold on, I haven't finished. What affords you that luxury is your standard single-phase electric meter and your U6 semi-concealed gas meter. So just remember that next time you go throwing around flippant words like malarkey, okay? I didn't really... Anyway, enough chit-chat. These calls aren't going to take themselves. Come on. Hello, you're through to Welsh Utilities. You're speaking to Alan. How can I help? Well, first off, I'm not happy. I've been a customer of Welsh Utilities for 22 years now, and I haven't had any offers in the post. I want to know what you can do for me, for me to stay with this company. Oh, but since I've had this new present, it's like I'm a new man. People are looking at me differently, Jock. How do you mean different? Like fucking... When I was driving in this morning, right, I had charge around my shoulders, but they... And everyone was fucking looking at me as I was driving by, fucking judging me, the fucking cunts. It's like, you don't look fucking twice if someone has a dog on them, but if you have a fucking snake, oh, it's fucking all of a story. If people can't accept me living a herpetological lifestyle, then so be it. Fuck the lot of them. Fair play. Oh yeah, beat. I was going to say, Pauline and I were talking last night, and she hadn't met anyone yet. You know, by anyone, I mean you. <laughs> Wanted to know if you and Sandra fancied having some dinner. You know, quote like. Who the fuck's Pauline? Oh, why? Yeah. She meant you misses. Fucking kept that quiet. Fucking first I've ever heard of her. We well, know I was telling you the other week. Yeah, but the way you said it, I, I thought it was just a bang. No, man. She's alright, this one. Does a lot of cocoa. And she can't face a come down. Not like me. She's in, uh, she's in one of them things, you know. How do you say it? Was a vicious cycle or something. How old is she then? 25. Hey, fucking nice bit of cash back for there, boy. Go on, show us a picture then. Fair play, Jock. She's a... Uh, she's all right, she is. Who's out of her fucking sister, is it? No, it's her daughter. Prosecco, her name is. She just turned 16. What? So she had it when she was nine? Fucking hell. It's got to be a fucking record, haven't it? Well, she made it into the national papers. It was the fourth youngest recorded pregnancy in Wales. That year, anyway. Fucking hell, beat. Who the fuck do you think you are, then? Fucking crocodile Dundee! He's my handsome boy, Blev. Didn't know you had a poodle. It's not a fucking poodle, you cunt! It's a Yorkshire Terrier, and he's my mother's. She's in town having her air plugs installed. This is Cornflake. How is she, Blev? Oh, she's been better, like, ever since Dad died. Cornflake is all the company she's got at home. Don't you uh, live with her then, or what? No, I just stay over some nights, see? Aye, but this dog is her world. Unconditional love for him, see? But anyway, I'm fucking off. See you cunts later. Anyway, I forgot what we were on about now. Oh, beat. Where's that fucking snake wandered off to? Oh, for fuck. Charles! Charles! <sighs> Personally, 
I don't think even an army of Pikachus would do much against Tetsuo in that final form. Yeah, but what about his ability to electrocute him like? Yeah, but he, he'd just melt and ooze all over them and just consume them into himself. What about that? I know. How's this for an idea? What if we just stop fucking talking about shit anime for two fucking minutes? Deacon, I, I told you what this was. Why did you even come here? You hate anime. I'm just waiting for Tim to finish. I just don't get how you can hate anime so much. It's metal as fuck. It's not metal. Stop saying it's metal. It's all pink and cuddly and loud and annoying and the animation is always lazy and terrible. I can go on. Look, you can't just sit there and like besmirch anime like that. What? You said we had to sit here and discuss anime. I'm discussing why I think it's a load of bollocks. You said this was all open and free for people to express their thoughts. And that's what I'm doing. Yeah, free and open as long as what you say is positive and is like in line with what we agree with. Whatever. I'm just going to have a kip. Wake me up when you all finish jizzing over Naruto. Oh, what's he like? <sighs> Sorry, Sonia. He's just... He's just being him. That's all right. But yeah, anyway, I was coming up with recommendations of things to watch before the next meet, and I've decided to go with Oranu Pinasu Woso. Yeah, it came out this year, but you can watch them all online with with like a fan sub. It's, uh, it's really good. It's basically about this boy called Mike who's in high school and this new girl enrolls and she's like the first girl he's ever felt this like strong connection with but she has this boyfriend who's on the sumo wrestling team at school so he has like no chance it's more like a drama sort of thing and let me guess that a giant fighting robots or the main character has some sort of inner strength and has huge epic fights with mythical beings Deacon, not every anime has that stuff in it. Is any of that stuff in it, though? Yeah, a little bit of it. Eh, what's up, potato, then? Oh, hey, Pat, you okay? What the fuck is that thing doing in you? He, he messaged me about joining up last night. He ain't joining. If he's in, I'm out. I'm not sitting in the same room as that rust-coloured cunt. Ugh, Deacon, settle down. He only wants to talk about anime with us. He doesn't. I'm telling you now, he's a sneaky twat who wants to try and get in here to wrangle money out of us. He doesn't even know anything about anime. Ah, I do. Go on then. Tell us one thing about anime. See? He doesn't even know one thing. I do know, I just, uh Can't remember at the moment, uh Family Guy? You're a fucking liar. Tony, if he joins this group, I'm leaving. He's just been skulking around like the rat that he is, looking for ways to get money again. I guarantee you, he'll just sit there, constantly talk about raising money for activities, and then asking if he can be in charge of the money. Look, Deacon, if he doesn't know anything about anime, that's fine. That's a good thing. He can still join and he can learn about it. I don't get why you hate him so much. I just fucking told you. But I guess that's it then. You've made your mind up. Just know, though, when he's fleeced you all, I'm the one that fucking told you. Yeah. Anyway, uh, go on, Pat. Sit down. We were just talking about animes to watch before the next meeting. <gasps> I tell you what, I can mail you a list of some famous ones to watch so you can get into it more. Ah, yeah, thanks. Huh. That's a really good idea, Kate. Ah, yeah, I was going to say as well, if we are doing membership fees for this place... I bought that at me to volunteer, you know, be in charge of the money. Scrum boys, first 15 ball. In and out, Rich, in and out. Greg, get on with it, man. Only there, Greg, only there. Good practice today, my boys. Bloody good practice. You work really well. Just remember, mind, we fucking lose against Tradiga. I'll whip your shorts down and bum the lot to you. And I won't even take you in the showers either. I'll be out on the pitch in front of everyone. And it's not an idle threat either. Last time we lost was in 02. You just go and ask those boys that played. The ones that didn't kill themselves anyway. They'll tell you. I haven't got time for a band of useless cunts. And what do you do with cunts? You fuck them. Now go on. All of you go. Piss off. Hey, Rich. Everything all right, though, ah? 
Yeah, why? Oh, just, you know, all things considering, like. What do you want about? What do you mean? Well, third time now, Kate hasn't come to watch you practice. She's at that cartoon club with Tony. Tony? Can't see how you're coping with it, Rich. If some fat cunt was trying to get into my missus, Nick, guys, I'd show him why I'm one of the hardest boys in the college, like. Nothing's going to happen. She told me he's harmless anyway. Aye, but Rich, where are the hardest kids in the college? All the boys are talking about it. Wondering why you're letting that little fat cunt spend all that time with Kate. Who's been saying that? Well, everyone. Come on, why don't we wait around for him and you can bust this fucking fat fucking cunt in face in, like? Uh, what were they saying about me? Well, just reckon you must be scared of him or something, you know. Right? I'm not scared of him. He's a fucking Mars bar. That's what I'm trying to tell him. But you know, the longer you stand back and do nothing, the more they're going to say it is. You know me, but I know you've got nothing to worry about. Right, well, look, I need to take a dump. I'll think about this when I'm on the bog. <laughs> Where the hardest kids in the garden? Jazz! Jazz, can you hear me? Come on! Jazz! <coughs> Fucking hell! hell. <sighs> what, what, what is it, Blev? What's happening? Look, just just calm down. Look, if he's only just eating him, he, he might still be okay. I'll go get a stick now. What the fuck's a stick gonna do, Beat? Hiya, lovely boy. Are you alright? Man! All done now. This nice boy who was there gave me a lift back. I wouldn't have usually done it, but I was missing my cornflakes so much. Oh, I think that's been the longest I've been apart from him. Oh. Well, uh, go in the cabin over there. Uh, he's just in my office having a kip. Uh, I'll bring him now. Oh, look at that snake. That's peculiar. Uh, he, he's mine. He's, he's just having a lie down on the grass. His tummy. Uh, that's a very familiar shape. <laughs> he's just a fat snake. He's. I just give him a joint of beef over there now. Mum, come on! Uh, I can explain! Everything's gone black! Everything! I can't see you! Oh, oh my god! I'm having another stroke! Blessing! Get help! The doctor told me I had to avoid anything stressful! Beaten! Go grab your shit and fuck off! You're fucking done, Beat! Alan Mark too, you cunt! Suck! Don't come back here ever again! Blev, I, I, I'm, I'm fucking sorry, but I I just blinked and he was gone and... I said fuck off. Uh, Mom! Oh! I have nothing left to live for. Oh. What about me? That new girl Sonia seems nice. Yeah, she, she didn't say much though. I think she's just shy. She seemed to know a lot about anime. Yeah, mainly One Piece though. She, that, that's a bit too normy for me. I, I'm more of a bleach guy. I think she has a thing for you. Nah, I don't think she did. I'm, I'm way too fat and ugly for someone to be attracted to. Don't be stupid. You're such a great guy. And you have an amazing personality. Ah, oh, Tony, you're such a great friend. Thanks, Kate, but... I, I don't know if Sonia really is my cup of tea though. To be honest, I mean... She's cool, but I sort of have my eyes on someone else. Oh, really? What's her name? Or his? Well, I was wanting to... Wait, wait a minute. What do you mean, his? You're bi, aren't you? No, I, I only like girls. Why do you think I'm bi? Uh, I, I must have just heard from, uh, y you know... Um... No, I only like girls. I mean, yeah, I know I watched that yaoi that one time, but that was mainly for the story. See? It was practically neck in it then, Rich. Come on, let's go knock that little fat cunt out. I'm raging over this. Uh, I don't know, I think they're just talking. Oh, you not see then? I am. I see you need on my method. At least drive past and let him know that the artist boys in the college saw him. Nah, fuck that. It's way too soon. What do you mean it's too soon? Uh, I mean, I'm going to play the long game for a bit. Think something up. Think something up? Oh, I like the sound of that. That's right. Go about your day, you arrogant fat cunt. Smiling. 
You'll be smiling on the other side of your fat round head by the end of the day, you fat cat. Where the other boy? Where the other boy is in the car? Where the other boy is in the car? What's wrong? I'm not really in the mood. Why not? Just being like, you know, thinking and stuff. Thinking? Aye. What about? Rugby? No. Stereophonics? No. Well, what is it then? Well, just wondering why you always bother with that beach ball boy all the time. Beach ball boy? Aye. The really fat one. Always wearing that gigantic grey t-shirt. Oh, Tony. I always see you laughing and joking with him. You hardly ever. Laugh and joke with me. Of course I do. Rich, you've got nothing to worry about. But I am worried. A bit anyway. You and him are able to talk about that weird Japanese manga cartoon stuff you love, and all I'm able to talk about is rugby. And the stereophonics. Ah, I only their one song, though, as long as we beat the English, because well, it's about rugby. I don't care that you don't like anime. I don't like rugby. I like you because you care about me, and you look out for me, and because deep down, you're a softie. Promise? Promise. Come here. Oh, oh, go on. Go on, Red. You deserve it. You deserve it all. Oh, Necker. Jockey told me. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is, Al. Nothing I could do about it now. Not that I give a fuck about it anyway. That site's gone to shit over the years. All it was at the end was me, you and Jock, busting our fucking bollocks, getting everything done while everyone else sat on their asses all day. Aye. And Blev, the fucking gold of the guy, he just fucking rolled up, giving it the big I am, over that fucking yappy little shit of a dog. I just said to him, Blev, fucking wrap it up quick now, son. I know the score. All that shouting is for fucking show. And I left. If he had kept on, I'd have fucking pushed his fucking wheelchair over. <laughs> no way am I fucking scared of that wrinkly old crippled bastard. He's a fucking cunt. All right, Blev? <laughs> fucking what? B- Blev, I'm just messing around like... <laughs> You're a dull cunt, I. Oh, fuck off. I was just playing along anyway, Al. Blev can't get to me. You know, I haven't even shed a single fucking tear over this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, 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 I'm so confused, Andre. I mean, I'm gonna, how am I gonna live my life now? I mean, that, that site was my world, my, my everything. There, <laughs> there, Why don't you come and work with me? They're taking on at the moment. Oh, I don't know. Call centre work. Seems like a bit of a stretch, to be honest, Al. Job's a fucking doddle, like. And the money's good as well. Uh, could do, I suppose. I'll talk to my boss. See if I can get you in for an interview. Ah, uh, you know, I Go on, then. Fuck it. Let's do it. It's only fucking picking up phones all day. Sounds like a fucking piece of piss, to be honest. Cheers, Al. No problem, son. No problem. Rich! Richard! What? Oh, I just, I just saw Kate. She's with Tony. They were walking in the college together. And Kate fake punched him. And Tony fucking fake punched her back. And he accidentally punched her boob. So? The tension, Rich. Oh, there was so much you know, tension. Sexual. Sexual tension. 
Greg, you you'd Kate yourself. She said they're just friends. Oh, we're so fucking hard, Reds. We should just kick his fat fucking teeth out. Show him how hard we are. Greg, look, he's not a threat. If he was, I might, but he's not. So I'm not. Huh? What? He's fat and harmless. And I trust Kate. Just let it be, man. Fucking hell. Play your part, Richard boy. Come on, step up. I'll think of something. I'll fucking turn it round on that little fat cunt. Gregory Stanley Winton. What have I told you about lingering round the changing rooms? Now fuck off. Uh, I don't think I can make it. I um, I told Kate I'm going shopping with her. Oh, don't tell me. You're going to go to the candle shop, are you? What? No. No, we're not going candle shopping. Going to get matching charm bracelets by any chance? Deacon, that's just... I wouldn't do that. Hey, guys. I was just... Um, um, when you when the next anime club is? Oh, hey, Sonia. Um, yeah, uh, same time next week. Uh, okay. I... I I want you to talk about One Piece when I go there next time. Are you going to be there, Deacon? I doubt it. Sonia! Move your little ass! It's chicken time! Oh, sorry, Dad. I gotta go, guys. Um, I'll see you later. Bye, Deacon. Ah, oh, Deacon. Seems like you can't admire her, boy. Well, I understand, but uh, I don't admire her. That's a bit fucking harsh, isn't it? Let's just say I'm not interested. So you wouldn't then? No. What about for a thousand pound, like? No. Ten thousand? You couldn't pay me enough to sleep with her. Oh, Deke, it's a bit harsh. She's, she's a really nice person. So there's nothing we can suggest for you to sleep with Sonia? No. You cannot buy this. I'll tell you what I would do, though. I would sleep with her if every country in the world promised to nuclear disarmament. How about that? There's no way that would happen. I know. Eh, ah, look what it is, the cartoon crew. Oh, hey Pat, I didn't know you worked here. Ah, yeah. If I want people to see me rolling, innit? Fucking hell, he's everywhere. Ah, yeah, dick. <sighs> ah, you boys fancy some free burgers or what? Perks of the job, innit? Oh, yeah, if you can do it. Oh, nice one, bud. We cannot eat here anymore. This is the worst customer service I've ever experienced. I'd like to speak to your line manager, please. What for? What I just said. Oh, what did you just say then? This is unbelievable. I'm going to take this to the ombudsman and the media. Who's an ombudsman? How on earth have you got a job there? You're not fit to sweep roads. Look, mate, there's no need to be... I am not your mate. Just hold on for me, sir. I'll be two minutes. Don't you dare put me on a... Oh. Oh, Dan. Yes, Alan? We, uh, we're still taking on staff. We are. Only I've got a mate. A good bloke. He's looking to get his foot in the door, see? So, wondered if we could get him in for an interview, like? Well, I'll need to see his CV first. Way ahead of you, boy. He dropped it off to me this morning. Hmm. Uh, I suppose it wouldn't harm to have him come in. See what he's about. Good lad. I'll let him know now. Okay, tell him to come in Thursday and keep the call short. You know the rules on personal calls? Ah, uh, yeah, of course I do. Whatever you're selling, I'm not fucking interested now. Beat, it's, it's Alan. Oh, hi, Al. You all right? I got you an interview, son. Oh, you fucking beauty. Told you I would, didn't I? Oh, you did, boy. You fucking did, I. Interviews on Thursday. Fucking perfect. I tell you what, Al, you fucking dummy right by here, boy. It's no problem. So, what are you up to, then? Oh, you know, bit of this, bit of that, like. I'm out taking Charles for a walk at the minute. Hey, Don, you alright? Yeah, why? What do you want? Oh, nothing. Just thought I'd come over, like, you know, say hello. But you never say hey to me. You don't even like me. No, we're buds, man. Me and you. What do you got there? Dumplings. I really love a dumpling. Oh, me too. I love dumplings. They're like my favourite food. I just love having a dumpling slathered in hot gravy and just 
just picking it up off the plate and just putting it between my lips and just slowly chewing down on that dumpling. I love dumplings. I love how steamy dumplings are. Oh, sorry, I, uh, I lost my train of thought then. Dumplings get me going. It's early, though. It's never too early for dumplings. It's okay. It was with you. No. Two of you are good friends now, eh? No, are you? You and her bother a lot, don't you? Yeah, I... I, I... She's a good girl, isn't she? Yeah, she, she is. You don't fancy her, do you? What? No. Just you seem quite close. You don't fancy her? No, no, I don't fancy her. And even if I did, I would... I would never do anything. She she has a boyfriend. Rich? Yeah, Rich. And what do you think about Rich, eh? Well, I, I never really speak to him, but he seems all right. He makes Kate happy. Yeah, yeah, he does. Last of the dumplings, if anyone wants some. Oh, uh, sorry, Greg, i, I got to run back up and get some more dumplings. I love dumplings. I got you now, you little fucker. OK, Beaton, this is going to be a mad interview. We're going to ask you some quick questions and then you give your answers in as short a time as possible, OK? All right, yeah, whatever. OK, so first up, if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? Well, like a, like a, just a tree or... You know, a tree, like a really big one or a little bonsai tree. Oh, probably a big one. I don't know, something like oak or... Oh, I know, um, one of those massive ones you see in... The, no, that one in Bringback Park that kid got stuck up in. I'd be that tree. Who's your biggest inspiration in life? Fucking Chaz Kroger. And who's that? The fuck do you mean, who's that? It's fucking... Next question, but... Okay, here we go. What's, what's your favourite emotion? Uh, favourite emotion? Um, opening a can. Interesting answers. What would you say is the colour of success? Uh, colour of success? Um, I don't know, gold? Um, you know, rich, something rich people are... Plat- platinum. It's platinum a colour. Pick a letter of the alphabet. W. Oh, W, not bad. What do you think people notice most when they look at you? Well, fucking look at me. Fucking hot as fuck. Okay, what are your biggest strengths? Easiest one you've asked, I'll give you free right now. Grafting, grafting, and grafting. Okay, and what what would you say are your weaknesses? Oh, fucking Graham Norton. What the fuck are you calling me weak for? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm, I, I'm asking what your weaknesses are, what you consider your shortcomings in the workplace. Look, I'm just going to come out and ask you, what is this job? What, what will I be doing like? You'll be a call advisor, so, so taking calls, dealing with customer inquiries, anything relating to gas and electric meters. All right, then. Watch this now. I'll show you what I'm like on the phone. Hello? Your fruit are beaten at Welsh Utilities. How can I help you? Right. Yeah, so... You want a gas meter, do you? No problem. When do you want it fitted? All right, that's fine. Let me tap it in on the computer by you now. Right. It's saying we can get it out next Thursday. Well, that's the soonest we have. Oh, but less of the cheek now. Next Thursday is the soonest. Oh, buddy boy, I fucking told you, Thursday. But now, because of your fucking lip, you can have it next fucking month instead. Bit of respect, it's my fucking advice to you, sunshine. Ta fucking raw. What a fucking prick. That was... Yeah? The worst call I have ever heard. Oh. But we are desperate. We need staff like you wouldn't believe. So... I, I guess I'm going to have to offer you the job. Fuck I, yes! But like I said, it's only due to the circumstances. And you're going to need a lot of training. And I mean a lot. You're going to need to be nurtured. Yeah, that's it. You think it's so fucking funny and clever and good-looking. Now you'll see what happens when you mess with the hardest boys in the car. <laughs> you don't fancy her, do you? I just love Kate, slaved in hot gravy. I love Kate. Now you'll see what happens when you mess with the hardest boys in the college. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> you little fat cunt. Oh, you little fat bastard. Smell 
about this one? Ooh, lavender. I know. How nice is that? I don't think Chloe would like this one, though. Well, what would she like? I don't know. She said she likes autumn scents. I'll have a look over here. Ah, oh, she's so amazing. Ah, oh, I wish she would unscrew my lid and smell me. No, no, stop thinking like this. She has a boyfriend. Keep it together, Tony. Keep it together. Tony! Tony! Oh, uh, what? So- sorry. You're so silly. What were you thinking about? Uh, I was thinking, um, uh, before phones were invented, uh, you know, like, the question, where are you, was probably never asked. Oh, okay. Well, I've got a candle now, so we can go if you want. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Customer contact centres. We've all had to use one at some point. But now you, yes you, are about to embark on a career in one. Perhaps this is your first job, or you're on a gap year. Or maybe you studied an art and media course. Either way, strap yourselves in. Here's what the next decade is going to look like. Here at Welsh Utilities, you're going to really need to pull your socks up, as a fast-paced yet friendly customer service is the aim of the game. Let's pop our noses in and see what the staff have to say. I always said I wanted a job and proud to say I have, and I think my job here at West Utilities does that for me. Previously, I worked as a door-to-door carer, but I had to stop as I had a slip disc and was diagnosed with PTSD. Now I work here at Welsh Utilities, and it's a brilliant company to work for. They always put my needs first, they do. I just finished an interactive media course at Cardiff University and started working here last week. So far it seems great. I'm finding the job really easy. I really enjoy talking to customers and I think this will be a great stopgap while I work on my future career in the media industry. I used to work as a teacher, but then I did something I wasn't supposed to. Well, she said these were really understanding. That's why I work here now. Oh yeah, and it's been a laugh. We always laugh and joking, yeah? Little tip. If you consider yourself mad, that's a bonus. So this is your seat. You make yourself comfortable now, and Carla is... Can I sit next to Alan? No, this is your seat. What's wrong with that one? Well, that's where Val sits. I want to sit next to Alan. Why can't I just sit next to Alan? Because you're sitting here, next to Carla. She'll be showing you what to do. Fucking hell. Can't fucking Alan show me what to do? No. Why not? Beaten. Do you want this job? Well, I... Then sit down. Fucking hell, it's like fucking Nazi Germany, man. So, as I said, this is Carla. She's going to be training you, showing you the ropes and such. Carla, this is beaten. All right, dude. Fan Dabby Dozy, I'll swing by a bit later. Rich did the funniest thing yesterday. He thought a moth flew into him, but it was nothing. Just his mind playing tricks. And he did this funny flappy thing with his arms. It was just so funny. <laughs> yeah, flappy things can be funny. Yeah, he's such a mega softy. But then he's just been a bit annoying lately. Really? Why, why, is, it, why is that? Okay, this is going to be really awkward to say, but he keeps asking why I bother with you so much. He has this paranoid idea in his head that you fancy me. <laughs> me? Fancy you? Say what? We are obviously just friends. Hasn't he seen the match in friendship bracelets we made? I know, it's just annoying. But it's because you're a boy and I'm a girl and you just get jealous. Well, uh, I've uh, sort of got a girlfriend myself now anyway. Have you? Yeah. Why haven't you said anything? I've been uh, keeping it on the BL. What's the BL? Bottom line. I think you mean the down low. Love's a complicated language, Kate. Okay, well what's her name then? Huh? Your girlfriend? Um, uh, um, um, 
Her name is、uh, Sabira. Sabira Chance. Sabira Chance. Sabira Chance. Yes. Oh, and what's she like? Um. Uh. She's uh. She's lovely. She loves anime. Is she on Facebook? Uh. No. No. She's uh. She's not into social media. Here she is. Sabira Chance. Oh. 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 Yeah. Um.、Uh, that. That's her. She only lives in Kevangola. That's really close by. Uh. Yeah. It's um. It's really convenient. Why don't you add her as a friend? No, no, no.、Um, there's a、uh, there's no need for that. No, go on. Me, you, Rich, and Sabira can all go on a double date then. No, no, no.、Um... Oh, please, Tony. I really want you and Rich to get along, and this could be the perfect opportunity. Rich, what? Oh, you need to listen to this. I'm in the middle of a fucking sash by Herman. It'll be worth it, but. Yeah, Tone. You all right? Yeah. I... I saw Kate was with you. You and her bother a lot, don't you? Yeah, she she is hot. You don't fancy her, do you? I would eat her out. And what do you think about Rich? Yeah, Rich. He's a fucking cunt who I happily smash out so I could bang Kate, even if him and Greg are the hardest boys in the college. I love Kate. That fat fucking sweat bucket. I'm gonna knock his fucking teeth out. Yeah, I think we should smash him now. I could do with smashing someone. No, I could do with letting you all out of it and ring me. Yeah, you're right, Gav. I could get expelled. Okay, after college, then. Yeah, I've just boys in the college. And if there's any other problems, you just give me a call, yeah. Thank you, sir. All right, fella. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No.、Uh, I don't suppose you have the、um, winning lottery numbers handy, but. <laughs> Do I have the winning lottery numbers? I wish, but you think I'd be working here if I did? Anyway, you take it easy, buddy. Hope you enjoy Welsh utilities. Tara, no, but. Tara, to you. You be a great help. Do you hear me, Carla? Do I have the winning lottery numbers? Fucking brilliant, that was. Oh my. God, dude! Oh, was it? Was it all right then? That was the best call, Evs.、Uh. Oh, oh. Beaten? All right, I'll. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just.、Uh... I'm just、uh, faxing the shit to the toilet machine. Are you finding it so far then? Oh, it's all right. Just on my first call, that caller bird said it was the best she's ever heard. Ooh. I did hear that, didn't I? Oh, heads up. The atmosphere in here is about to change. What? That to make room, man. Fucking Sandra's making a fucking pie later tonight, isn't she? Celebrate my first day in there. Ah,、oh, is it? I was going to ask if you just fancied a pint. When you ask Jock, I could do. I haven't seen him in a few days. I bet he's lost on that site without the pair of us, all on his tard like. Anyway, but I'm going to fuck off. Get back out there. Got to take some more calls now. Bye.、Right. See you later then. Ah, I'll be thinking. How do you boys fancy us putting some money in every week, and we go to an anime convention at the end of the college year? Fucking hell, Tone! That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I'd,、uh, yeah, I'd love that, especially as I didn't go to the last one. I'd be more than happy to take care of it. I love the kitty. Yeah, okay. Find out how much it'll cost and how much we need to put in a week. Tony, who the fuck do you think you are, you cheeky fucking? Fuck! What, 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 what's, what's going on? What have I done?、Uh, I'm dead. No point in beating me up. Oh, what's this all about? Oh, this is none of your fucking business, boy. Keep your beak out. Oh, don't say that. Wrong beak. Tony, is that true? Did you really say those things about Kate? What? No, she's she's just my friend. So I'm glad we have it. Oh, so I'm glad we have it. Don't fucking lie to me, you fat little fuck. 
R Rich, I, I promise you, I, I don't fancy her. Come on, I thought you were solid. I thought you were a fucking big man. Rich, please, I, I, I didn't do anything. I don't know what I apparently done here. She's my friend, look, I promise you, she's my friend. I wouldn't touch her. Oh my god, I'm gonna, gonna fucking come in a minute. Oh, fucking hell, go on, Rich. Go on, Rich. She's my friend, she's your girlfriend. Believe me, I know that. Rich, please, I, don't do this, I'm sorry. Please. Oh, oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Fucking oh, hell, that was brutal. Tony, are you alright? <laughs> <laughs> Try and fucking break up a family, will you, you fucking fat fuck? Fucking run, you fat fucking home wrecker. Go on, fuck off. Come on, boys. Let's go before a teacher comes out and finds us. Is it over? I'm still alive, and I? Hi, Tony. <laughs> Is Tony okay? He normally says, hi, ma'am, when I say, hi, Tony. Yeah, you're right. He does usually say that. I'll go check now. Tony, everything okay in there, boy? I'm fine, go away. Sandra, it's all right, he said he's fine, love. Comfortable three feet deep. Now the fuzzy stare from not being there on a confusing morning week impaired my tribal lunar speak. And of course you can't become if you only say what you would have done. So I missed a million miles of fun. We were fucking hammered. But you know what? It was worth it. Armoured? I <laughs> fucking mad drink it. You see that one after all? What's that? <laughs> Women's football. I know why. Can you fucking imagine that? Oh, fucking pointless. Like, the only thing I want to see 11 women doing on my telly is fucking letting off. Oh, I can fucking imagine that. But it'd be fucking 22 with both teams. Oh, guts, guts. I I'd be the ball in the middle. Can, can you imagine that, like? Ah, oh, but I've got a couple of balls I can play with. <laughs> I, can, I can fucking imagine that, but fucking hell, I'm laughing, I'm imagining that. But it'll let it off. <laughs> <laughs> that was a ball. A <laughs> ball to can play with him, Martin. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, it was so intense. Oh, it was powerful. You still thinking about it, Richard? Can, can I just keep replaying it in my head? Oh, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, you still thinking about it, Richard? Not really, is uh, it's done now, isn't it? No, you aren't Lorridge. Did you do D boy? As soon as we walked up to him and he laid his eyes on me, he was shitting himself, Rich. Oh. And when you unveiled yourself, oh, 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 the memories, the memories I like. It was like beating up a fat baby. Why did you do that? Do what? Do what? Tony, you beat him up. Oh, babe, it was long overdue. What do you mean? I mean, he's been trying to bang you for ages, and he, and he thinks he's chocolate. How many times did I tell you we were just friends? Yeah, maybe for you. And for him? No, not him. Greg, you it all. Greg, play the recording. Greg, 
Greg? Look, Rich, bottom line, I don't care what he said. You should have just come to me first, not just throw your fists around. Look, I'm sorry, but I just can't be with you anymore. Whoa, whoa, wait there. I only did it because I love you so much. I don't care, Rich. I can't be with someone who would hurt someone like that. Kate! Fuck off! You right, but I, I don't know. What, what just happened? You got dumb boy. Morning, dude. Morning, everyone. Morning, Al. Beat. We're going out Friday if you want to come. We're going to bingo. Val, are you coming now or are you still going dogging? Yeah, love. Still going up the cock. You're mad, you are. I can't help it, man. Fred loves it. He just loves watching me. You're a sexual tyrant, you are. Tyrant as all as you mean. He's getting it tonight as well. Is he? Absolutely. He's had a week off sick to build a new shelves in the bedroom. And he's just sat around eating pasties all week. I'll give him a fucking pasty to eat, I tell you. Good for you, dude. So, Pete, you want to come or not? Oh, bingo. Uh, it's, a, it's for old foggies, though, isn't it? It's mad. You just chuck a fiver in. You usually end up winning something and then spending on drinks. Plenty of youngsters go. Why are you going then, Carl? You ain't no fucking spring chicken, let me tell you. Fuck you, Val. I'm fire. All my son's mates fancy me. I'm fucking hot and kicking. Well, come up the cock then. You might bump into some of them. No. Are you coming, Mike? <laughs> I'll be there. Friday's cheat day, so... What's today, then? It's the, um... Anniversary of my dog's death, actually, so... Oh, what happened to your dog? Don't ask him that, dude. He, uh, committed suicide, yeah. Commit, commit suicide? How did the dog do that? Well, he, um, he walked out in front of a lorry, actually. Articulated, with a trailer. One of them 16-metre ones. Holds about 33 pallets. He didn't stand a chance. How was that killing himself for? It's probably an accident. No, no, no. It wasn't an accident, so... Donna! No, Donna! Watch out for the articulated lorry! <laughs> so, um, yeah. It's been quite tough, actually. I won't bother asking if you're coming Friday, Fletch. You see, enough for me and work, girl. Not the uh, social type of you, but... I've got five kids to feed. Morning, all. I'm just doing a wee collection. Who's it for, love? Uh, it's for Cindy. Who's Cindy? Oh, uh, sh she's off because of a locked neck. It was caused by trying to avoid the draft at her desk. Oh, I, I won't be giving to her, but... Oh, that's not a very team-oriented attitude, Beaton. We're here to support each other. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know who. Oh, if that's how you want to play it. You should have given in, Pete. Yeah, he'll have you marked down for that. Well, but I don't know who. I've, I've never met who. None of us know her, dude. When Dan asks, you give. Fucking, can you imagine that? Can you imagine it, like? Fucking, I fucking love these WhatsApp videos. I love them. That's the one with what's the name in there. Yeah, the what's her name. Can you, can you imagine that, though? Can you imagine, like, how she shoved that entire thing up her ass? Can you imagine that, like? Can you imagine it? Can you imagine that? Get it, come on, you up, jock boy. I fucking hate him! He's a fucking purple-headed cunt to his eye! Oh, you right, Jock? You haven't had blue or what? How the fuck are them two over by me now? Who's them two? Don't fucking who's them two me now, pai. You know who I'm talking about. They ain't coming back over here, Jock. Well, why the fuck have I got to deal with them? This is their drinking spot. 
It always has been. You have two spare chairs over there now, Jock. That doesn't mean I should be fucking lumped with Gutsy and Viv. I've had the shit this morning so far. I've barely touched my can. Well, tell them to fuck off. I have. Probably about a hundred times. They just ignore it. How did you get rid of them? Oh, well, the thing is, we just... Shut the fuck up! It took us years to work out how to take them off. Sorry, Jockey. You're on your own. I can't go back over there now. Well, you just have to find something else to do. Still no word from Tony. Ah, oh, but you can't blame him if he wants a few days off. I'd quit college if that happened to me. He wouldn't, though. Hey, guys, have you heard from Tony today? Nah, we were just saying about it. I'm really worried. What if he thinks people are making fun of him? There's no what ifs. They are. We are. Oh, stop it, Dick. I hate the thought of him on his own, upset. Maybe we should go over after college. Uh, no. Yeah. Maybe it's best if we just leave him, like. Yeah, maybe. He's with his girlfriend anyway. Tony hasn't got a girlfriend. Yes, he has. Has he? Fuck. If he did, we'd know. He has. Her name's Sabira. Sabira Chance. Fucking hell. No wonder he kept that quiet. Who's Sabira Chance? She's this ginger monolith from Kevin Gola. Fuck me. I, I, I know Sabira, but she hasn't got a boyfriend. How do you know her? We went to the same school. You had some fucking prizes at that place, huh? Deacon, why would Tony lie about having a girlfriend anyway? Uh, maybe because he likes you. <gasps> what? Way to drop Tony in it, Dick. I'm doing him a favour. Don't be stupid. Of course Tony doesn't like me. Uh, you're female and you're as obsessed with anime as he is. It's not exactly rocket science. Fucking hell, Dick. Next to be telling her about that time we all played Truth for Day. And when Tony picked truth, he told us that he printed off every one of Kate's Facebook pictures and rolled around on them on his bedroom floor for an entire weekend. Naked. And wanking. So it's true. Look, I'm not saying any more. Just speak to Tony. I wish your boy fancied me. Come in. All right, damn but um, fucking, I was having to think about earlier and that collection you were doing for that woman with the dodgy neck. And well, um, you were right. I weren't exactly being a team player, so use a quid for a collection. Beaten, thank you. Is that all right? Yeah, th- this makes me happy. I'm really happy you came in. I, I was starting to doubt you. But you've proved your worth. I didn't realise you were so reflective. Is that a good thing then, or...? Yes, Beaton, it's a good thing. Oh, thank fuck for that. What are you up to, Ember? Well, I'm just having my lunch. Who's, uh, who's the hell of you there in the picture? Was that your mate, is it? No. Oh, your brother? No. Cousin? No. Uncle? Beaten. That's my husband. All right, fair enough. That's nice. I I never would have guessed you were a puff. But I was going to say as well, uh, what are you up to after work then? What did you just say? I asked what you're up to after work. I was going to see if you fancy having a pipe with me and I'll like. You just call me a puff. I'll never go for a drink with you. Our relationship is strictly manager and employee. Now, please leave. Look, look Dan, but what, what, what did I say about you now? And you can take your pound back as well. It's not wanted. Look, look, but what, 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 is this a puff thing? Get out! How'd it go? You give him the quid, all right? I, I, I don't know. I, I give him the quid, and one minute we were buddies, and then two minutes later, he give it back, and he's like, saying what we'd never be friends. Oh, I don't know where I am. Oh, but things are so much easier when we're on the site. It's, I think it's his office or something, like. It's his environment. Tell you what. Come with me. What, 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 what are you saying? What's happening? Just come with me, bud. 
Oh, fucking right. Oh, I need this. Just keep it quiet. I was going to bring you in on this eventually, but now seemed like the right time, you know? Oh, so you just come in here every day and help yourself to a couple of uh, tinnies, eh? Aye. Well, I'm done with this one now. Um, what do we do with the empties? Just crumple it up, man. Bang it down the shitter. What, like this? Aye. Go on, fucking chuck us another one then. Oh, the fucking second one's even better. Oh, fucking trying to show the lads up, you jock boy. Ah, uh, you know, just doing what I do in it, Bleth. Well, don't forget to have a can. It's thirsty work. Right now, uh, what she say? Pop it into reverse. For these scratch cards to last you till Friday. Uh. I don't want all these now. Well, uh, I'm busy in the morning, see? Uh, I can't be running out to get you scratch cards all the time. Running? You? Poof. There's no need for that, like. Uh. Besides, if you give me all these now, I'll only scratch them all. I won't be able to keep a hold of myself. Fucking hell, man. Play the marathon. I am holding on by a thread, yeah, boy. And you're not making it any easier. <laughs> All I want is my cornflake back. Ah, <laughs> oh, ma'am. I told you. I didn't know there was a snake on the site. You know I wouldn't have had a dog there if I fucking did. If you had had more control over that site, this wouldn't have happened. He's dead because of you, Blethen Arvan. You! Who the fuck do you think you are talking to? Your daddy would never have let this happen. He had a tight rein on that site. Oh, that's a fucking low blow, ma'am. Even for you, a low blow. Could have been so different. Uh, hey, Dalto boy. Oh, I wish you were still about, but. Have you had a lot of people die in this one? Aye. It's fucking Guy Fawkes on it. He's fucking tamping now you'll be. Oh, you fucking looking forward to a sand? Yeah, I like horror. How's, uh, how's your job going, Embiid? Oh, don't fucking start on that now, Jock. I don't want to talk about it. Fair enough, boy. Oh, well, first off, it's my new boss, Dan. He's got it in for me, Jock. All I did was say, I didn't know you were a puff. And he went fucking too lally at me, I. Well, I, uh, can see why he'd be offended. Jock! I didn't know puff was a racist term to gay people. I'm not homophobic. You know me. I'm one of the good guys. I've always been fine with gay people. Whenever I meet him in any walk of life, I'm always like, you right to what? I just don't know what his problem is. He's not giving me a chance, Jock. And I offered him out for a pint with me and Al after it. Four times I watched Brokeback Mountain, Jock. Twice in the pictures, once on DVD, and once when it was on Channel 4. That's how unhomophobic I am. 
I mean, yes, I prefer a fucking, I don't know, fucking Arnie or Sly action film, but I'm an open-minded guy, Jock. All right, Pete, all right. Shush now. The trailers are starting. Ooh, fucking yippee. I fucking love the trailers. God damn it, Polly. I said 200 pounds of coke. Not Coca-Cola, you fucking mook. Hey, I, I, I'm sorry, boss, but uh, you should have been more like, uh, specific. Oh, you like specifics, huh? Well, let me tell you the amount of torture I'm going to be putting you through. And the number of pieces I'm going to be cutting you up into. And the amount of weapons I'm going to use on your sorry ass, you fucking dipstick motherfucker. Breeze, this is a stick up. Arnie. Fucking hell, speak of the devil, Jock. Sly. We're seeing this in the cinema, Jock. We are seeing this in the cinema. Together. These are for you, baby. In love? You know, uh, these are beautiful. You make me feel wonderful. Your mouth is so wet. A love story for a new generation. You know, I'd like you to paint me like one of your French girls. Yeah, yeah, I will do that. I forgot the lube. Just go in dry, peach cake. Mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. That's an award winner, that is. Definitely coming to see you. Oh, that fucking boy, I. He has been to college now for nearly fucking two weeks. Has he sand? No. But where's he been? In his fucking room, of course. I don't even know if he's been coming out to go to the toilet. I dread to think what he's been doing in there. Probably fucking shitting in bottles. I just don't understand him, I. I mean, I love him, I do, but I just don't understand. I don't get him. Anyway, fuck all that. What's happened with you, Jock? Nothing much. That's not true. He's getting a promotion. What? No. That's what Pleasant said. Hang on now. Let me tell you what actually happened. Those two cunts, Gutsy and Viv, you know, have started sitting by me. So I was doing some work on the other side of the site, just trying to get away from him. What are you still doing here, boy? What do you mean? Everyone's finished up. It's fucking closing time, man. Ah, uh, no worries. I'll finish up here and grab my stuff. Actually, Jock, you don't fancy a pint, do you? There's something I'd like to talk to you about, see? A pint? Aye, go on then. Hold on, no. Right, let's go. Here you go, Bleth. Thanks, boy. I'll get the next ones. Aye, no problem. How much were they? For both. 580. Fucking 580? That's a fucking scandal. No wonder women only buy halves. This country's got the fucking dogs. I'd give anything to go back in the 80s. Two pints wouldn't cost fuck all. Still had my legs then as well. What do you want to talk about, Bleth? Well... There's no easy way for me to say this, but I'm not going to be here forever. And I'm going to need someone to look after the site when I'm gone. And, well, you're a chip off the old fucking block, Jock. A go-getter. I've noticed your work ethic and I've taken note. I fucking have. So I was thinking of making you assistant site manager. Ah, I don't know, Bled. Fucking, don't go worry about being above the rest of those twats on sight now. No, that don't bother me, man. What is it then? I don't know if I can be fucked. Fucking come on now, Jock. Think of the extra money you'd have. It'd certainly help with all the child support you've got to pay. And you get a new van. Fucking proper white this time. Oh, aye. What about a new chair for out front? Aye, if you want. 
So I said I'd think about it. What's there to fucking think about? More money, a proper white van, and a new chair for out front, you'll be fucking landed, Jock. Aye, but the extra work beat. I don't know if it's worth it. Normally, when you rise in management, you delegate the work to those you're managing. Do you? What do you think about that, eh, Jock? Brains as well as beauty. Ah, you're a lucky man, Beat. Is he now? Well, yeah. What about you, Beat? How's the call centre? <sighs> I don't even know where to begin. Right, that's all sorted out for you then. That's a U6 gas meter and a free phase electric meter, both going in for next week on Friday between 12 pm and 2 pm. Is there anything else I can help you with today now? Oh, thank you very much. Um, don't have the uh, winning lottery number there, do you, boy? Uh, I, I, I don't, mate, sorry. Right, so that's all booked in. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Thanks for your help, but uh, you don't happen to have this week's national lottery numbers, do you? All sorted, is there anything? Uh, you don't happen to have the national lottery numbers there, do you? Hey, cheers for your help, mate. Uh, you don't happen to have the uh, national lottery numbers this week, do you? I do suppose you have the winning lottery numbers, do you? Not having to have this week's national lottery numbers at all, do you? <laughs> Thanks very much indeed for that. Um, you don't happen to have this week's national lottery numbers, do you? Charmed. Oh, and, uh... One other thing I might inquire. You wouldn't happen to have the winning national lottery numbers there, would you? Al, what's this shit with the lottery numbers then? They fucking love it. The cunts. Yeah, but every customer, Al. Every customer makes the same fucking joke. Just don't think about it. Just do what I do. Zone out, deal with the customers, and then think about the tinny. It's the only way. Yeah, but it's not just that, Al. It's every fucker around me. I got fucking Dan sniffing around me all day. Fucking, I sat there earlier for the straight fucking hour mind and listened to Val talking about how she fucking shaves her fucking tits. And that fucking Mike Diamond guy. What about him? He's the most depressing fucking cunt going. All he fucking does is moan and eats. Fucking moans and eats. Of any fucking moans about being fat. You're not wrong, boy. You're not fucking wrong. Oh, anyway... Fucking one more for the road or what? Aye, go on. Second one's always better. <laughs> oh, there you go, boy. Get your choppers around now. Oh, it's fucking lush, Al. Oh, oh, I'm taking too much of my mouthful then. It's all down me. Oh, Al, I've been craving this all morning. It's just sliding down my throat, it is, boy. Of course it is, but don't take it down too quickly, of course. But uh, don't forget, we have to be back on the phones in five. Sorry, Al, I just, I just wanted to last longer. Of course you do, mate. Of course you do. I think it is better because we shouldn't be doing this. It is what it is, Jock. Just trying to make the best of it, like... Anyway, fucking change the topic. How do you two meet in? Do you want to tell him, or shall I? I'll tell him. So I was driving over from Llanganada. I was having one of my night drives, when what do I see? The fuck's this? Fucking 84 year old bloke like. Some teenagers had tied him to the lamppost and were firing fireworks at him. I rushed over to him and set him free. Oh, thank you. Uh, Would you please take me home? At first I thought cheeky bastard. But then I thought that he might have a hot daughter or a home nurse that looked after him. So we hopped in my car and headed back to his. So we got in the house and then I heard his voice. Daddy. Who was it? His daughter? Aye. Oh, was she like smart, was she? Well, no. His daughter, he's 84 years old, so she was about 65. Oh. But then this other voice. Oh. Grampy. His granddaughter. You're a fucking hound, I jock. Yeah, but the thing is, Pete, she was too old as well. 48, like. Oh. But a few generations later, in Moke Pauline, and it's been happily ever after, ever since. Haven't it, babe? Oh, he's a snob, you get, didn't he? What about the pamp like? How's he holding up? Oh, he died. Yeah. Oh, fair play. So, uh, what are we doing after this then? A couple of drinks, bit of dancing? Oh, not for us, boy. We're going to be on our merry way, I think. And we, babe? Fair enough. 
You want to still carry on, though, don't you? There's no cut about it. We are. Oh, not a bad evening, now. Nah. I wonder what Jazz is up to. Oh, Sand, grab us a mouse, will you? He looks starving. Don't you worry, handsome boy. You'll have some din dins now, but. Oh, who the fuck's this now? Who the fuck are you? Is Tony there? What? Toning. I'm here for toning. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's here, like, but. Uh, yeah, come on in. Okay, thanks. Tony, I know you can hear me. I can hear you breathing in there. Look, I know I'm probably the last person you want to see or speak to right now, but you've deleted all your social media accounts. So I, I just want to tell you that I broke up with Rich. I hate him for what he did to you, and I wanted you to know that if I had any idea he was going to do that, I would have stopped it. Fine. I get that you don't want to talk to me. It's probably just too hard for you. But before I go, I, I just wanted you to know that you're my best friend and one of my favourite people ever. Please don't do anything stupid over this. I suppose I better go. Just let me know you're okay. Yamaguchi, why do you stand before I, the almighty Ute? Have you forgot the last time I defeated you? Father! Don't remind me that you are my son. Ah! Now I will finally destroy you! Morning. What's happening? (sighs) 
These blooming things. What? These things, these lifts, they take forever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take forever, yeah. Just waiting for my lift. Ah, here we are. Better late than... That's what's going on. Nothing's fine, I'm torn. I'm all out of faith. This is how I feel. I'm cold and I'm ashamed. Lying naked on the floor. Wee Jock, were you right? Oh, Jock, I was just saying to Viv, no. Should I tell him? Ah, oh, but, ah, oh, but. Wait till you hear this now. All you'll be able to think is, fucking, can you imagine that? Uh, fucking, <laughs> tell him, guts, fucking tell him. Fucking met this bird off shag. Off what? Shag.co.uk, fucking best site out there for funny boy. Thought you'd be all over that. Anyway, I met this bird. Ah, oh, but. Wait till you hear this now. All you'll be able to say is, fucking, can you imagine that? Uh, fucking tell him, guts, fucking tell him. Listen now, Jock. On her foot, she looks smart, blonde hair, nice round tits. Fucking smart figure. She turns up and fucking watch my lips here now. 37 stone. 30 fucking 7 stone. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine it like? And you know what I did? Oh, Jock, try and imagine this now. I don't care. I fucked her anyway. I'm fucking gutsy. <laughs> He's fucking gutsy. Anyway, you fucking Scottish ginger cunt. Don't worry, it's only bounce. You fucking join us for a fucking slurp after the war? No. Ah, oh, good one, Jock. See you later. Can you fucking imagine if Jock didn't come to the pub? Can <laughs> you imagine that? Come on, no man. Come on, Rich. It's not the end of the world, man. Well, why does it feel that way? Come on. I heard from one of the boys of Charlotte Morris has a thing for you anyway. I don't want Charlotte Morris. I want Kate. Oh, but Rich, this is Charlotte fucking Morris, man. She loves it up the poo tube. You know, bum like. Oh, Greg, just, just leave me alone. Oh, come on, Rich, man. You're one of the hardest boys in the college. The world's your oyster. You don't need Kate, man. She was bringing your rat down oh, anyway. Greg, just fuck off. What? Just fuck off. You're doing my fucking head in. I don't care about being the fucking hardest boy in the fucking college. Why does that even matter? Don't care about being it. Uh, look, uh, you're clearly not thinking straight, but I'm going to give you an hour to settle. I'll be around later. I hope Tony's okay. Yeah. I feel so guilty about this entire thing. I feel like it's my fault that Rich did what he did. Yeah. What? What? Deacon, I feel so confused about it all, and I just need to get it out. Do you, though? Hey, guys. Hey, Deacon. All right. Have, have you seen my new hoodie? I I bought it with my birthday money. Ah, uh, yeah, right. I, I think they're a great band. Yeah. The artwork on that top is from the Pulverizer album. That's when they sold out and went really shit. Only like their first two albums. I think you look really nice in it. Thanks, Kate. How are you doing anyway? Have you heard from Rick? He keeps trying to add me on Facebook with new accounts, but I'm just blocking him, to be honest. I'm really struggling to cope at the minute. My head is everywhere. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I don't think you need him. I know, but it's still hard. I wish I could just flick a switch and completely blank out all of my feelings for him. Oh, fuck this estrogen fest. I'm off. What the actual fuck are you wearing? Not now, Deke. Is Pat you? No. Why? We're supposed to be going to Mucklesborough today. Mucklesborough? Aye. Why Mucklesborough? For an anime convention. An anime convention? With Pat? Yeah. How much did you give him? Well, it's it's not about that, is it? How much did you give him? I, I don't see how that's relevant right now. How much did you give him? Maybe I should just try phoning him and ask him where he is. How much? Deacon? How much? About a hundred? About a hundred. A hundred. And fifty for the costume. Oh, ho, ho. fair play to the twat. 
He knows what he's doing. This isn't just any anime convention, Deke. It's supposed to be the Glastonbury of anime conventions. And quid's a good deal. Oh, he fucking ripped you good and proper, son. And that costume, that's the fucking cherry on top, that is. Shut up, Deke. He'll be here soon. You'll see. <sighs> Tinny time, I think. You fucking, you fucking imagine that then? You imagine that? Of course I am, you fucking get seen, are you? I don't fucking believe this. Oh, Jock, you know that bird I was talking about on shark.co.uk? I think I caught beautiful ice from it. It's mega scabby down there. And he shot it. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine that, Jock? What are you thinking, Jock? Can you imagine that, Jock? Jock, Jock, Jocky, Jocky. Can you imagine that? Jocky, Jocky, look at me. Look at me when I'm saying, you know. Imagine that, Jockey! Can you imagine that, boy? I fucking hate you both. Can, can you imagine if he actually hated us? <sighs> can I just get the Empan number, please, mate? The, the what number? Empan. It's on the letter you have, the long one. Oh, le let me just see you. Oh, come on, like I haven't got all fucking day by you. Sorry? I'm just waiting for the M pan. Oh, uh. One. Five. Six. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, the letter's upside down. Oh, fucking hell, man. Sorry? Oh, oh, by the way, uh, do you have the winning lottery numbers there, mate? I need a fucking tinny. I can't fucking cope in there. We can't, but the toilets are swarming with plumbers. Oh, Al, mind we fucking see him there now? Don't worry about Fletch, man. He won't say anything. Good as gold. Plus, I've got five kids to feed. I'm consumed. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Anyway, um, you seen the boss man around? Apparently I'm being too aggressive to the customer or something. All the managers are up on floor five. Big meeting about the flooding. Look, I agree. As long as we are nice and dry, it doesn't matter how the coal takers feel. But it's only a matter of time before these floods affect the electricity and then the computers won't work and no coals will be taken at all. That's all I'm saying on the matter. Yeah, that happened back in 1998. Yeah, they had to temporarily shut down Swansea office. Yeah, and they ended up rerouting the lines to people's homes. Yeah. It meant managers had to take calls as well to help ease the queues. Yeah, the queues. No way! That's a country. Yeah, yeah, a country. Chelsea travelled there. Chelsea. We went with them. Lit with football. 
Fantastic. Season tickets at the ready. Chelsea. Chelsea. Liquid football. Chelsea. Look, everyone, calm down. All this is getting us nowhere. It's just getting us more wound up. Now, Paul has been working with his team all morning to get to the root of the problem. Paul, I believe you've prepared a presentation for us. Hi, everyone. I believe you know me as Paul the Plumber. But my surname isn't actually the plumber. It's Plumley. I feel the need to address that now, as it has been too much mirth centred around my name. So, moving to the situation at hand, we have done a full inspection of the plumbing system from the inside and out and have found a severe blockage stemming from floor four. Dan, I believe that's where you work. It is. What is that? Excellent question. It's a canberg. It appears there has been an extreme dumping of cans of brown lager down a toilet or toilets and forensic tests have indicated that this hasn't been a slow and steady build-up. It's actually happened within the last few days. Good God Almighty! Quite. It's the biggest one we've ever encountered. Close to 8,000 cans in total. The only thing that comes even remotely close is the Great Syringeburg of 06, found in a Childline call centre in Glasgow. Is there any way of finding out who's responsible for this? That depends on how good your CCTV stroke closed circuit television is. Moving forward, I would recommend finding a way to police and or ban any can of any sort from entering this building. Right, for this project, you are writing it on environmental awareness but it needs to be relevant to Wales in some way. Look, I know you all hate Welsh back. I hate teaching it. But let's all pull together on this, and we can get it done, and we can get it out of the way. Come in. Hiya. Uh, can I borrow Kate for a minute? Kate. No. Oh, please. No. Oh, but Kate, it'll only take a few minutes. No, I'm not speaking to him. Oh, but Kate... All he's doing now is lying on his bed and crying all day. I'm having to roam these corridors on my own. And it's a two-man job, being hardest boys in the college, right? I don't care. He shouldn't have done it. Oh, but he's crying all the time. <sighs> is he really that cut up over me? Yeah. Well, tell him to meet me at the bus stop after college. I'll have a chat with him then. Oh, Kate, that's brilliant. Oh, and he told me to ask you. If you have any of his dirty pants or socks or anything of his, you want me to pick them up for him? Well, I can bring them in for him if you want. No, no, no. You give them to me, like. You have enough to worry about. What with his feelings and all. Okay. I don't need to wash them either. <laughs> if they're all dirty, I'll take care of that. <laughs> I've got to go back to class now. Right everyone, so as you all may have noticed, a couple of the pipes have sprung a wee leak. We've gotten to the root of the problem, it appears that some members of staff have been consuming alcohol in the staff toilets. Now, I have a pretty good idea of who this might be, yet I cannot prove it. Oof, fuck fuck for that. I cannot prove it, because Farouk, our chief of security, unplugged the CCTV in order to plug in his Xbox. Actually it was a PS4. Or whatever. We're getting metal detectors installed tomorrow on every doorway and we're imposing a ban on any consumable items contained in cans. In fact, cans of any sort are banned from this building with immediate effect. Anyone caught with a can or alcohol will be sacked on the spot. A fucking can ban? Or a fucking can That's all. Now back to work. Sick, ma'am. I can't help it if you keep buying me these fucking white pants. 
I told you to fucking back. Only get the dark ones. For obvious fucking reasons. Uh, look, I gotta go. I gotta go. I got work to do. The fuck's wrong with you, Jock? Yeah. Nothing. Tell your fucking face head, will you? Blaz. What? About that promotion. I'm so nervous. Don't be cake. You'll be fine now. This will give you the closure you need. Fuck! It says here he was only online five minutes ago. You must have seen my messages by now, Tim. You just need to let it go. Fuck! I can't believe he went there without me. He, he must have given my tickets to someone else. There was never even an anime convention to begin with. I wouldn't even be surprised if Mucklesborough doesn't even fucking exist. Fuck me! I'm fucking tamping over this. Where do you reckon he is now? Or fleecing some other dumb cunts, probably. Right, girls. Before we get started today, I would like to introduce our newest pupil to Crochet Club. Let's all give a lovely, warm welcome to Pat. Ah. Hello, everyone. Oh, I feel like a right dozy sword, I. You are. Kate! Be strong. Hey. Hey. So, um, you been okay? Not really. Look, Rich, I know this is hard, but you did this. I know. I, I just hate that you did that, beating someone up for me as if I can't deal with that sort of thing myself. I know, it's just, I thought, when I, when I heard those things... <laughs> you should have just let me talk to him. But anyway, look, just, just, look, you'll be okay. You'll get over this. This whole thing just made me realise we're just different people and it's for the best. K Kate, please. No, you'll be fine. In a couple of months, you won't even think about me and you'll have some new girl. Someone who will get a kick out of being fought over. I don't want anyone else. Goodbye, Rich. Oh my god. What are you doing here? Oh, you fat fuck. Fuck off. Can't you see the mess you've caused? <laughs> Tony, no, stop it. Rich, Richard, help. Fuck it all. <gasps> fuck me. I think you just killed him. Whoa, Tony, I, I, I think you've really hurt Greg. I'm about to destroy you. Tony, don't do this! Kayo! T Tony, please, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I just want to settle this now. Oh, we are going to settle this. Fuck is going on up ya? You! With me now! You wait and see what I'll do to you if Rich can't play and we lose against Tread Eager next week, boy. You won't have an arse left! Tony! Here, you can take this back. But. Kate, I. I... You're just as bad as him, I never want to talk to you again! Come on, by here now, boy. You keep walking, you prick. Fuck me, I needed that. I was fucking shaking before we finished, I. Aye. I tell you what, things are only getting shittier in that place. Aye, I... I know. Beat? You... You're crying. 
No, 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 I've, I've just got an eyelash in my hair or something. Uh, no, no, I haven't got an eyelash. I, I, just, I just missed the way things were. I, I want to go back to the building site. I, 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 I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can take the call center any longer. It's just the fucking same thing all the time, Al. Reading the same fucking contract. Having the same exact fucking phone call over and over again. The only, the only thing I'll be caught with a fucking titty and a little as well. Come on, Beat. It's not the end of the world. Why does it fucking feel like that, Al? It's fucking bollocks in there. And I swear to fuck if one more fucking cut asks me for the fucking winning lottery numbers in there, I'm gonna go fucking apeshit in their eye. But, Beat, what are we supposed to do, though, Beat? You know, Bled, you'll never take us back on that site. <laughs> Beat. <laughs> Look! Hello, boys. What is going on up here? You! With me now! You wait and see what I'll do to you if Rich can't play and we lose against Tread Eager next week, boy. You won't have an arse left! Tony! Here, you can take this back. But, Kate, I. I... You're just as bad as him. I never want to talk to you again. Come on, by you now, boy. You keep walking, you prick. If you fucked our chances, then I'm gonna fuck you. Fucking kill him when I see him now. I was trying to have a fucking pint with Alan and Jockey. I've got a fucking enough of my plate, is it fucking his man? Where is he? I'm gonna fucking ba- Fucking hell, Ton. Hello there. Uh, thanks for coming in, Bo. Fuck me, Sand. Look at the fucking veins on him. Sorry, could you just... This is quite serious. Tony has been in a fight today. T Tony? Fighting? Yes, it was Richard Williams and Greg Winton, two prominent members of the rugby team. Two boys of the rugby team? Fucking right, Tone. Taken after his stepdad, any? he? I've raised him not to take any bullshit, see? Haven't I, Tone? Actually, sir, they're both currently in hospital. One of them was the captain. To say their coach is upset would be an understatement. We gotta get his ass. I don't know why you've all got your fannies out about it. Just get him as your captain, man. He's fucking built like Jimmy Roberts. Minus the head. Excuse me, but violence is something we do not tolerate here. I'm sorry, but we are going to have to expel Tony as a result of his actions. Uh, uh, expelled? I... I can't, no... I, I, I can't be expelled... I... I... Uh, oh. I don't think he is Captain Material. Fuck's sake, Tone. It's fucking humming in you. It smells like a fucking tramp's cock. Earth to fucking Tony. Don't pretend you can't hear me. You gonna move your ass today or what? Everyone hates me. Never mind everybody else. It's me you don't want hating you. 
Fuck me. What happened to you, man? Two months ago, you were the apple of my eye. You were built like a fucking brick shit house. Ugh. And now look at you. A fucking fat shit house. I want you up and out of this house today. Why? There's nothing to do. You can go shop to shop looking for jobs. I still got that CV I wrote for you. Now I'm off to work. I want you up and out of my house. Your mother will tell me if you haven't. <sighs> oh, and uh, next time there's no bog grow left, go to the cupboard and get some tissue. Don't use your fucking socks. You're a stinking little cunt, I. Come in. Right. Is this another day of you staying in, or are you going to come to work with me today and earn a bit of money? Ma'am, I'm not working in a hair salon. People will think I've gone gay. Well, if you're not coming to work with me, you're still getting up and out of this house. I need some stuff picking up from the post office. You can do that for me. Oh, what? Ma'am! Fresh air and a walk will do you some good. Ah, <sighs> fine. <sighs> I am so happy we've got our old jobs back. Aye. Perfect timing as well, considering the call centre burnt down the day after we left. I was watching it live on Evervale News. At least there were no fatalities. Uh, yeah, except for Dan. You're counting that, are you? Well, he did die. Yeah, but not while it was happening. Al, he was burnt within an inch of his life. And two days later, he died from multiple organ failure and septic shock. The doctor said it was the most painful death they'd ever seen. I read in the paper they didn't even need to cremate him. They just swept him up from his hospital bed into a cup. Morning, my handsome boys. How's it going, Blair? All the better now that you and beating are back on the site. My two beautiful sunshines shining in a beautiful blue sky on a crisp summer morning. Oh, Blev, you're going to make me blush. Making you boys blush has become my favourite pastime. What? Both of us? Aye, both of you. Laying bricks and mixing concrete, it's Alan and Beaton. Now you boys are back. My life is complete, it's Alan and Beaton. I'm feeling so happy, I've jumped to my feet, it's Alan and Beaton, and Beaton, and Beaton, 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 wake up now. Oh, 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 uh, Dan, sorry, uh, sorry, Dan, uh, I was just, I was just resting my eyes. Oh, yeah, sure. If there weren't 500 calls in that queue, I'd be giving you a disciplinary right now. Now get back to it! <sighs> this end the same, Al. What? This drinking lager from plastic bags, man. I'm not being funny, but I, f I feel a bit fucking low-like. And it's fucking warm and horrible. Aye, it's the constant skin contact. Absorbs all the body heat. Fucking lukewarm, flat lager. It's not the same, Al. I miss the feeling of the cold metal against my lips. Beaten. We can't bring cans in anymore. Not since Dan got those metal detectors in. Look what happened to Carl. Next. Next. Stop this instant. Farouk, pat him down. Um, he hasn't got any tins, boss. Aye, uh, it's probably just my belt buckle. I, I best get you, eh? No, no, you're not going anywhere. Farouk, check every crevice. What, what do you mean, check every... Trousers down. I, I don't think I understand. Trousers down! On all fours, please, mate.
There's, there's nothing up there. Oh, for God's sake, Farouk, get out of the way. Come on, all fours. Oh, 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 How many times do I have to show you the proper technique? Oh, 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 my God, it's like an off license up here. Oh, 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 oh. They've still got the ring poles on them. Oh, I don't know about you, Beat, but I'd rather avoid Dan the Impaler. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Nazi Germany. Do you want to just leave this drink, then, if you're not enjoying it, like? No, fuck up, you mad cunt. I fucking earned this slope, I have. Look, don't worry, Beat. Just think now. Jockey's probably asking Bledin about hiring us back on that site as we speak. Aye, oh, you're right. Come on. Let's get these down us and get back to her then. Oh, I hate myself for doing this, but I just can't stop. Fuck, you were right, boy. The sack is a bit warm when it hits the chin. Oh, you've already emptied that sack all down your gob, have you? Ooh. Just cup your hand underneath as you bring it up to your mouth, but you might get it all down you otherwise. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, Greg? Hey, hey, Greg. Uh, How's it going? Oh, uh, ah, oh, I had it. How have you been? I, 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 I messaged you on Facebook a few times. You're out of hospital now, then, is it? Oh, well, you know, in and out all the time, and I? Having tests run and all that. This is the third head brace I've had. First couple of neck braces I bust out of. Had to strengthen it. Tungsten this one. What about you? Uh, I've just been taking a bit of time off just to, you know, think and that. Yeah. You always did like you th- thinking. Yeah. Well, yeah. But um, I was thinking, though, I, I, I'm just I'm just picking something up from the post office with my mum. Uh, after I've done it, do you want to stick around and go for a wander or something? Or? Hey, Greg. Is everything okay? Uh... Aye, yeah, fine. Is this boy bothering you? Oh, no. You, you just saying ta-da, are you? Well, all right then. Come on, or else I'm going to be late for my tie. Ha, huh, he, he seems nice. Yeah, he's the hardest boy in the college. But, uh, anyway, nice to see you. Take care. Oh, oh, Blaine, wait that bad... You know I can't run fast with all this metal around my head. <sighs> I'm so sick of Ebu Vale. How can you be sick of it? You never fucking come out. <sighs> I don't know, I'm just... I'm just so depressed. I'd be depressed if I sat in a dark room all day watching Pokemon non-fucking-stop. I don't just watch Pokemon non-stop. Plus, I would go out more, it's just... Why don't you go on that Pokemon Go game, then? Oh, yeah, well, nah. That's a bit too normy for me. Plus, last time I went, these Year 7s were following me around and giving me grief. It got a bit too intense. I tell you what, if you get it, I'll come with you. You'd play Pokemon Go? Fuck no. You can get that out of your head right now. You can play it, and I'll go for a walk which will coincide with your playing of the game. I ain't no fucking weeb. All right, mate. All right, Tim. Any news on Pat? No. I haven't got a fucking clue where he's gone. No one knows where he is. Ah, just let it go, man. Do something to take your mind off it. Me and Tony are off out and about one night in the week. He's playing Pokemon Go. You in or? I can't, man. My, uh, 
My mother's got a new job, working nights. And I'm uh, minding my brother. Fair enough. Yeah, I've got to be going soon anyway. Otherwise, Beaton is going to go crazy at me. He said I have to go around shops looking for jobs or else he's sending me to Ebervale Horizons. What the fuck is that? Ah, it's this place you go to. It's a bit like college, except it's just about finding work and jobs in the area. But you get like £30 a week for going, so... £30, you say? That's not bad. Yeah, i got to be honest. I just wish I could go back to college. I miss seeing everyone all the time. Do you guys still see much of Kate and Sonia? Who's Sonia? What do you mean, who's Sonia? Yeah, you know, she's always with Kate. Has braces and a weird voice. She has blue hair. Oh, hair. I really miss Kate. I've been trying to reach out to her on Facebook and that, but she's blocked me on everything. I just want to say sorry. Oh, just leave her be. Bit of a bitch move, her blocking you if you ask me, though, Tom. I'd just give up on her if I was you. What about Pat, then? You gonna give up on that? Fuck's sake, Deke. I'd love to get hold of him, I. I'd love to smash him out. Fuck off. Pat would knock you flying, son. Fuck up, Deke. Tonight on The Badger, a surge in illegal second-hand mattress sales in Bryn Mawr triggers a spate of leprosy infections. Well, there are definitely a few more leprosy cases than usual, and tests have directly linked this to those who have purchased second-hand mattresses. Cowboy builders! But not as you think. I find the term incredibly offensive. It cost me thousands in business over the years. I don't see why I need to alter my lifestyle for other people's prejudices. But first, tonight, due to the popularity of internet porn, more and more of you have decided to throw out the old stash. Unfortunately, this has come at a cost to many residents of Ebervale, who have become victims of porn tipping. Dodgy waste companies have been tipping tit up and down the country, and what started as a 1993 copy of Razzle found under a stone on Gwyn Davis's front rockery has now become a more severe problem. At first, I thought, oh Christ, what's she ordered now? But when I opened the door and saw what spilled in, I thought, oh Christ, what have I ordered now? Turns out, we're victims of this titty tipping. Hey, Tony. Hey, Mum. Tony! How'd the job searching go? Yeah, yeah, it, it went well. <laughs> What's that smell? Uh, I, I don't know, I've been walking around all day. I, I think I'm just a bit sweaty. That smells like a burger to me, Tony. It smells like you've been sat in there all day with your fucking friends! Uh, no, I... I... Ebu Burger with a little sprinkle of fucking bullshit. Don't like to me, boy! Right, right, I'm, I'm sorry. Fucking wrap up and listen to me now. You were getting that fat, podgy little fucking ass into my van and you were coming with me to get that fucking haircut for fucking Horizons tomorrow. Uh, no, I, I don't want to have my haircut. Tony, you look like fucking Coley Nolan. You're having a cut. But, but I... Get in the van! Sandra, I'm going to whisk him over to Jockey's place so his bird, what's her name, can give him a trim. Pauline. Aye, that's the fucker. You, yeah. will you mind him for me? I'm going to go grab a top and then take him over to uh, have his hair cut. How do you want it then, babe? Uh, just a really, 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 really slight trim. Okay, let me just... Uh-oh. That didn't feel like a very, very, very slight trim. Fuck! I know, Pete. I did try. And you and you proper asked for us to go back. Like, you proper begged and pledged your case and all that. Of course I did. Everything all right there, Jock boy? Aye, but I was meaning to ask you, Bled. I could do with a bit of help. Any chance we could get Alan and Beaton back on site? Fuck! No! Don't ever ask me that again, boy. Uh... I was on my hands and knees, beat. Fucking shit in hell, man. I'm off out. Oh, Prosecco, this is beaten. This lad who's here your mum's doing is joining Horizons with you tomorrow. I don't really care. Can I have a turn at her? Why don't you ask your mother? She just said to ask you. What's it for? I don't know, food. <sighs> oh, 
you by then. I'm guessing she's one of the reasons why you don't want to live here. She'll be halfway through a flag and a cider with her knickers round her ankles in an hour now. It's a nice roof over your head by you, man. And she's got your photo up on the mantelpiece. Bound to be better living in your van, well, a van. The heart wants what the heart wants, beat. And you haven't seen the van yet. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, Chuck. I was fucking banking on getting back on that site. Why don't you just quit that call centre if you hate it so much? Bound to be other jobs going. Well, that's the thing. Look, all we ever fucking do is whinge about working in that call centre. Why don't we just find a new job so we can fucking pack it in? Hey, I can't believe we haven't thought of it before, Al. Go on, have a look on your phone by there. Right. All jobs. I'll set it to a 20 mile radius. Oh, but I got a van. I'll drive however long each morning, as long as it's in that fucking call centre. I don't give a fuck. Okay, fuck it. 50 mile radius. All jobs in Wales and Bristol. Okay, over a thousand listings. Go on then, let's hear them. Okay, that's a call centre. We'll nix that one. Okay, another call centre, call centre. Call centre, call centre, call centre. Oh, 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 call centre. Call centre. <sighs> over a thousand listings. And every single one was a call centre job. We are fuck jock. We can't escape it. Well, what if we come up with a plan? What do you mean? Well, there's bound to be a way we can trick Bled into hiring you back. How the fuck are we supposed to do that, though? Hold well, then. Come on in, Tony. Don't be shy. <whistles> Looking sharp there, eh, boy. Oh, beat. He's got the same trim as you now. Fucking fuck's sake. Fucking fuck. Like a fuck, I can't take that fucking call send a fucking shit. Uh, hey, hey, Beaton, uh, hold up. Uh, Beat, the door's locked. Uh, uh Beat, can you open the door? Uh, look, I need to be alone, boy. Go on, walk home. Fucking straw will burn off some of them rolls for tomorrow. But, but Beat, I, I... <laughs> Don't know the way home. Beat, the door's locked. Uh, uh, Beat, can you open the door? Uh, look, I need to be alone, boy. Go on, walk home. Fucking straw will burn off some of them rolls for tomorrow. But, but Beat, I, I... <laughs> Don't know the way home. <sighs> With a length of up to one meter... Took your fucking time. Come on, fatso, get in. And if you can't make it on your own, get your two fucking boys to bed. Fucking roll you in. Fucking hell, he's a round little fucking bastard, isn't he? Fucking look at him. He's like a little beach ball. Tony is the guy I was telling you about. He helped me get set up in IT class today. He's fat, 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 fat. Oh, you fat fuck. Fuck off. Can you see the mess you've caused? Oh, stop, stop. Tony, you look like fucking Coley Nolan. 
Don't listen to him, Tony. Your tears aren't butter. What, you don't spill that lager again now? I won't. Well, you did yesterday, and you just left it there for me to clean up. Well, I didn't notice. Well, I did. You would. I've got two. Have you? Why don't you? Because you are. I know. What? Ah, <sighs> never mind. Fuck's sake, man. I heard that! And I heard that! Don't think I can't see your lips moving now. Upside inside out, she's living la vida loca. She'll push and pull you down, living la vida loca. Hey, Jock. All right, boy. I got that Sly Arnie film you wanted to see. Boys in blue. Aye, on the stick by your look. Have you watched it? Aye, it was um different. Tar boy. I'll watch it on my tip top later. She's living la vida loca. I was just a plus 17 year old who used to hang around the supermarket car park causing trouble and bullying the trolley boy. Now look at me. Now I'm the trolley boy. Can you see your horizon? I never thought there'd be any opportunities for me in Ebervale. Now I work in a plastic bag factory. Can you see your horizon? B back when my teacher had expelled me from school, I, I never thought I'd amount to anything. N now I work in Ebervale sl Slaughterhouse. T -t this, Mr. Forrest, is this art? Is this artistic fun of you to play myself to fucking bitch? <clears throat> oh yeah, um, um, um. Can you see your horizon? We, we saw our horizon! Right, so that's the introduction video done. Right, so uh, excited to start? Yeah. Nervous are you? Don't worry. It ain't that bad when you get in there. They're a nice bunch. You hear that, Tony? They're a nice bunch. Yeah, well, I mean, they have their histories and that. The one in there, well, I won't get into it. But I'll say this one bit about it. We had this lad the other week. Well, I say the other week, he's still here, like. Had an absolute meltdown. Stripped down. He was arse bollock in the buff. He was, you know, naked in that. Then Sarah, our career opportunities manager, tried breaking it up. He went absolutely chaotic on her. Started biting her, he did. She had to go down to A&E in the end because of uh, something he had in his mouth. I tell you what, little question for you, Tony. What do you think was in his mouth that meant she had to go to A&E? Uh, glass? Something sharp? It was his own shit. But like I said... I won't go too into it. Better left and said sort of thing that was. But you know, aside from that, we have a cracking laugh. Plenty of bants. Maybe I could get you some work experience there. Tony, this is your class. Hiya, boys and girls. How are you all doing? Fuck your mother! Oh, nice one. See, Tony, they love banter. <sighs> another one. All right, another one for you. This is Tony. Go on, go take a pill, but I need to talk to Deborah. All right, Tone. Deacon, what what are you doing here? Money, innit? You said they paid for people to turn up, so I'm turning up. Well, what about college? Thirty quid a week is thirty quid a week. And and uni, you you were going to do advanced computer science, and and your career, Mister Faden said you had a stellar future in IT. Uh, how can you just throw all that away? Shh. Just let it be. Oh, you miss. Are you going to fucking teach us something or what? Brainy, just a minute. I'll be there now. I'm going to give you fucking one minute before I start fucking putting shit in my mouth and biting cunts again. Ugh. <sighs>
Oh, I'm fucking gutted Jock couldn't get us back on the site. Aye, well, it's not the end of the world. That's precisely what this is, though, Al. The end of the fucking world. It won't be that bad, man. Fletch, how long have you been here now? Been here since 2002. There I am, on the newbie board. That was me just before my dreams died. Haven't smiled since 2011. Oh, this is fucking bullshit, I. Mind you, though, Jock did suggest what if we all get together later for a beer up in the reed. See if we can, uh, get some ideas together or something. Ideas? You know, to get back on the site, man. Ah, uh, I'd love to, but Sherry will only have her ass out if I go to the pub after work. Oh, she's still riding your bollocks, then, is she? Like you wouldn't fucking believe, Pete. She wants me to iron the curtains later. Oh, I think your lager bag is broke. What are you lot all doing in here? There's calls in the queue and I need... Alan, you seem to have... I've pissed myself. Oh, I'm, I, I thought you just spilled some coffee on you. Yeah, that probably would have been less humiliating. Mm. Okay, well. Beaten Fletch, you two back out there now and Alan, why don't you go home and get yourself cleaned up? Mama always said laugh was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. It's a matter of shame. Your partner ain't here to save you. Wrong. Who? Huh? You're one ugly motherfucker. You're supposed to be dead. I lied. Fuck I. Jenny, I'm coming. <laughs> I guess we're not taking him in for questioning. I'm glad to get back, Peach Cake. Yeah, love finds a way. You know, uh, I think we make a real sharp couple of coconuts. I'm dumb. You're shy. What do you think, huh? Shut up and kiss me. What the fuck is this, Snowblad? I had to think about what you said about needing some help. So I brought you these two. Jocky, you can't check this out. Jock, Jock, <laughs> fucking, fucking, can you read the hardest topper there? Dip me in chocolate and feed me to the lesbians. <laughs> can you imagine that? Oh, enough of the lesbians a minute. Before I fuck off, you pay, report to Jocky first thing every morning. I'll leave you to it, Jock boy. Do with them what you want. Uh... Oh, oh, Jock, Jock, they can, I said to him earlier, they can, they can fucking tip me the chocolate and chuck me to the lesbians. Can you imagine now? Uh, fucking lesbians all over me licking me like, yeah. Fucking hell, man. Jock, you dropped your cam. Is this mine? I know this ain't mine. Size extreme. This definitely ain't fucking mine. Shay! Al, Al, uh, w w what are you doing home so early? I got sent home. I spilt lager all over my balls again. What's that smell? I, I smell? I, I don't know what you're on about. Someone's up there with you. No, I, I was just about to have a bath. No, Alan! Whoever's in there is fucking having it. Hey, Al, you alright, boy? Bricks? Uh, hey, yeah, I'm good, good, yeah. You, uh, you still, you still doing the boxing then? <laughs> yeah, boy. Well, you know, when I can, like. Okay, well, I just came home for a change of clothing, so, uh. Oh, yeah, 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 no problem, son. I'll give you guys a bit of space.
Jerry Bay, let me know if you need me. Alan? Uh, I know this is hard for you, babe, but... Can you please make sure you iron the curtains after, please? That went on forever. Just think about the money. It's not worth the money. All right, gay boys. Uh, all right. Are you, uh, are you Conker's cousin? Uh, no. Good, because I'm after him. And uh, by the way, I'm brainy. You ever need anything, you come to me. It's a jungle in there. Says the boy that was going to eat his own shit. I was going to as well. I was this far away. But anyway, fucking, I'm brainy. And this is Justin. <laughs> I'm going to be a cobber. Fucking hell, Just. Wrap up with that copper shit. That's all you ever fucking tell people. You sound like a fucking flidman. See you tomorrow, guys. Oh, hey, uh, uh, see you later. Oh, I would. I'm not going to lie about it. But anyway, uh, fucking, even if you pay fucking smoke green in or what? Uh, no. How about it when? You look like you get involved, have a dabble on the sash, like. I'd never smoke any of that shit. <laughs> I fucking love the blaze, I do. Last time you smoked it, or you whitey off one drag. Shut the fuck up, Justin. Uh, so, um, how long have you guys been here for, then? Two years. It's fucking shit. I'm just in it for the coin. And because my foster mum forces me to come in, you're like... Two years? But they said we need to go on work placement after a couple of weeks. Ah, oh, but it's a lot of shit. But they said you need to go on placement or else you'll get kicked off the course. Nah, fucking lying, man. I do it all the time. As soon as I get me on one, I just make sure I get sacked. First place they put me in was Ebu Burger. Five minutes into my first shift, I was like, fuck this. I can't cope here. So I blazed up a fucking 12 Skinner. Excuse me, what the hell are you doing? You can't smoke that in here, man. Put it out now. Fuck off, then. (laughs) You little fucker. Then they had me fucking stocking shelves in 97p land. Oh, hello, young man. Oh! Fucking stop fucking gabbing on then! Bloody hell, man, boy, she's fucking dead! Then they had us in this fucking orphanage charity shop for cancer sort of thing. Ex- excuse me, uh, do, do, you, do you sell book books here? You didn't head but the little sick kid, uh, did you? What? Oh, of course I didn't. I give him a fucking jackknife powerbomb. Uh, uh, n- no, please! You fucking have an boy! <laughs> See? I don't take shit, I don't look. Yeah, you look like you can handle yourself. I just know that right now, in that house, my own, my sherry's getting... Fucked from wall to wall and from room to room. And you should have seen that knob. I can't get it out of my mind. Every time I close my eyes, it's all I can see. So I'm good. Aye. And a cider for him. Whoa, man, what are you doing, man? Listen. And understand. Brex is out there. He can't be bargained with. He can't be reasoned with. He doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. And he absolutely will not stop ever until you're dead. The dead? Or, you know, until he's pinched your messes and your house from you and you, you know, your entire life and that. That fucking cunt had my jaggy, didn't he? Should have seen her after he got her. It was like chucking a hot dog sausage down a corridor. You can't love a woman who's been broken into you like that. One huge all-in cock and ball combo.
Right. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, no. Oh, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't have to have the winning lottery number there, would you? No, I don't. Goodbye. <coughs> fucking lottery fucking numbers, I... What's the matter, bud? Oh, these... These fucking cunts asking for the winning lottery numbers all times. Do I fucking head in? Oh, 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 uh. Hello, you fruiter. Welsh utilities. How can I help? You wouldn't have to have the winning lottery numbers, would you? No, we, we don't have them here, we... <laughs> Do you have the winning lottery numbers? Oh, fuck me. They, they won't stop asking. Uh, Alan, what's happening to you? What in God's cock is happening? You end up to have the little alarm number through you. Fuck this! <laughs> What's the matter? I had that fucking nightmare again. The one where Nickelback replaced Charles Kroger with Ed Sheeran. No, not that one. The Lottery Balls one. Fuck me, Sand. I've got to get out of there. I, I can't take it up more. This is Valley's Radio, giving you the rockiest rock classics. And now some sweet vocal stylings from Chaz Kroger and a cult of classic. If I bleed tonight, I'm dead to death. Do it, bear, 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 damn girl. Hey, good morning, Mr. Potato Head. Why do you always insult me? It's because I love you, man, and I want to keep you grounded. You having a fry-up or what? No, I'm, uh, sort of on a diet. You're on a diet? Fuck me. They'll have to close down two wagon wheel factories now. I'm fucking winding you up, man. Well done, Torn. This is good for you, mind. Nah, I'm okay, thanks. I'm, I'm going to go and meet Deacon now. I'm just going to have a rive eater. Well, if you need any tips or advice on keeping in shape, let us know. I mean, look at this, Torn. Fucking look at that. This is sex. Your mother can't keep her hands off me. Mm, yeah. Sandra likes a bit of you, don't she, boy? Mm, yeah. Who's looking good today? I'm just going to go Who's now. Rub mm, Who's a bad little boy? This is Meringue News. Your place for everything metal. Boom, da, 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 boom, da, 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 boom, da, 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 Later, we'll be premiering Korn's newest single, Boom Jack, from their new album, On the Cob. But first, we catch up with Birmingham's finest, Satan's Tits. So, your new album, A Nazi Pedophile with AIDS and No Remorse, is due for release shortly. I've listened to it. It's incredible. Sublime. Pure rage. So what can you tell us about it? The entire album is actually an allegorical cautionary tale about the ozone layer. Ozone layer. If it's the bailiffs, tell them I'm not here. All right, ma'am. I wish there was someone to come and take you away. Bitch. Hey, Dick. I thought we could play Pokemon Go on the way to Horizons. We've been through this. I'm not playing Pokemon Go. I'm just walking with you to Horizons. Alright, sorry. Mum! I'm off to Horizons! Bring me back a pack of fags! <sighs> this game is fucking dumb. You said you didn't want to play it. I'm only on you until I get some sort of owl Pokemon. After that, I'm just deleting it. 
I feel dirty having it on my phone. Deacon, I, I don't get why you hate this game so much. Pokemon Go is a normal game. Tons of regular, normal people play it. Oh, what Pokemon team are you on? Uh, we're yellow. Ugh, we're red. Do I wrong, Griff? I don't want to be seen associating with yellows. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not too fast, though. My eggs are incubating. If virginity has a smell, then that car fucking reeked of it. Yeah, but did you see how many players they had? We need to get Tim out with us. You spoke to him lately? Nah, he's uh, he's deleted his Facebook for some reason. Hey, I see you knew the owl ones are over there. Why are you suddenly so obsessed with owls? Haven't you ever seen that film, Legends of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul? No. I can remember the first time I saw it. What do you think of that then, babe? It was alright. It changed my life forever. I forgot that film even existed. Come on, let's fucking go. We're gonna be late. What was that? Did you just fart? Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't hold it in. Oh, I bet you think I'm minging now. Oh, babe, don't be stupid. We're a couple. We're meant to be comfortable in front of each other. It's okay if you fart in front of me. Really? Aye. It's only a bit of air, man. Oh, great. <sighs> oh my God, that is owling. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna chuck up now. Come on then, babe. Time for work. Yeah, I'm coming now. Right, bit of a change up today, guys and girls. We have uh, Justin. Why are you late? Oh, sorry, sir. I, I I was late because I was I was I was looking after my mum, see, because she's really ill. Okay, hope she's all right. Just have a seat. You haven't missed much. Anyway, everyone. Bit of a change up today, guys. Uh, we have PC Savile. Um, sorry, lovely boy. It's Savile. Sorry. PC Savile. Yes, you did tell me. I'm very sorry about that. PC Savile has been so kind to just come in today just to have a chat with you guys. Now, you best be quiet and treat him with respect or else he'll, uh, he'll get the cuffs on you. Ha, 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 Go on, they're all yours. Thank you, lovely boy. And before I begin, I'd like to make it abundantly clear that I have never cuffed a young person without lawful intent. Right. Question for all of you. What is the greatest threat to modern society? You, boy. Um, like murderers or terrorists or something? Not quite. What about you, gingerbread boy? Um, uh... Um, don't ask him, sir. He still breastfeeds. <laughs> nice one, bro. I don't. I don't drink from a boob. Ah, oh, here's a man who seems to have all the answers. Go on, then. What's the greatest threat to modern society? I don't give a fuck. Drugs. It's always drugs, man. Now, we're going to watch this film first, and then we'll have a discussion afterwards. Mitchell, lovely boy, get the lights, please. Hi, I'm Phil White, and this is Drugs and You. This is a drugs den. That is a dead smackhead. What I and Blaine Gwent Police want to avoid is this happening to you. I'm absolutely annihilating you on this Xbox 360 computer game. <sighs> what's the point? Hey, what's the matter, bro? It's just, since failing my A-levels, I just feel so depressed and uncertain of my future. I used to love playing this Xbox 360 computer game. 
but it's not taking my mind off it. Here, let me show you some. Yeah, we should try this. What is that? A little bit of sniff. My brother does it with his mates. I bet it'll cheer you right up and stop you from feeling upset about your results. An all too familiar scenario. It's a slippery slope, and believe me, I know. I remember doing my first line of cocaine off the back of my compact disc copy of Terence Trent Darby's seminal album. It's just something I do to make the nights better, I would tell myself. Flash forward a couple of years and there I was. Three divorces and thousands upon thousands of pounds of cocaine debt on my shoulders. And if that doesn't sound bad enough, in order to pay off my debt, I had to participate in the adult film industry. Or to be more precise, the homosexual genre. Which, by the way, in case you're interested, they're still available via www.philwhite.com. And then I saw his knob and... Oh, fuck me, Pete. It was amazing. Oh, Al, I'm sorry, but... I, I never would have thought Cherry would do that. Yeah, me too. Do you want to come to the pub with me tonight, eh, or Ah, I'd better not, beat. I, I still got those curtains to iron. Oh, come on. Fuck her, man. Come with me for the sip. We can have a chat about how we can get out of this shit all. Oh, I know it's shit, you, yeah, but it could be worse. How the fuck could it be worse? This place is fucking horrible. Like, over there. Perfect example. Ooh, Carl. He ain't that bad. He's all right, man. Is he fuck? All he ever fucking does is whinge about what day it is. Hiya, right, Carl. You right to what? Ah, uh, how can you be all right on a Monday? Oh, I wish it was Friday. All right, Carl. Oh, I can't believe it's only Tuesday. Wednesday, hump day today, beat. Yeah, I. Thursday today, beat. Only one sleep until Friday. Hey, Carl. It's finally Friday. We made it, boy. Yeah, but it'll be Monday again now before you know it. Oh, fucking hell. Proper boils my fucking piss, that shit does. Monday again, beat. See? Absolute cunt of a man. I know how it looks, but to tell you the truth, I'm happy now, Trace. I'm happier than I've been in years. I've got to be honest, a bit of me's glad we got caught. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Everyone knows where they are now, don't they? It's all out in the open. Ma'am, I'm so bored. And there's no air to sweep. Can I go home? Oh, rich man, you're doing my head in. Sorry, Cher. Oh, it's all right, man. Well, you wanted me to come, you. Oh, go and ask that woman over there if she wants a cup of tea. Make yourself useful. <sighs> Fine. Hey, uh, do you want a cup of tea or coffee while you're waiting? Hello, Richard. Sir? Well, I had to see it to believe it. What, 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 what do you mean? How you've turned your back on the greatest game known to man. To work with your mother. In a hair salon. You should know better than to turn your back on me, boy. But I, uh, I can't go back to that life. And what about the boys? <sighs> uh, if, if, you, if you don't want a cup of tea, then I, uh... But you were the best player I've ever had, boy. Since you left, it's been a complete shit show. We, we lost to Tredega. It was annihilation. They took an absolute... Fucking pounding. Doing and after the game. Come back to us, kid. The team needs you. I need you. If you, uh... Just tell me what happened, boy. Don't I deserve an explanation? I've... I've got some hair that needs to be swept up. As Scott Quinnell is my witness, I will... Find out what happened. Oh, look what you've done now, young man. Do you have anything to say in your defence? I can't believe it's come to this. I was just a hapless 17-year-old who was feeling low about not getting the A-level results I was hoping for and was feeling uncertain and scared about my future. I thought taking a little bit of sniff would help ease my worries. But now I'm addicted to heroin, meth, crack, PCP, and MCAT, also known as Meow Meow on the streets. And to top it all off, I've even resorted to smashing my mother's head in with a sledgehammer just to pay for my next hit of street drugs. And your best friend died of a weed overdose. 
You should have listened to the three Ds. The three Ds? Don't do drugs. Phil, I was going to say that line. It's Mr White to you, arsehole. I think we can all agree that that was hard-hitting, but necessary. Do you have any thoughts or questions? Yes, lovely boy? Is it true that in the Ronda there are guns on the street? What? Are you in the Ronda? It's like Syria. My mate was telling me they have open gunfights on a nightly basis. This is meant to be an open forum on the issue of drugs, boy. Oh, but there was a bit in that video, N, where that boy shoved the needle up his ass. What did you have for? That, lovely boy, was a man injecting amphetamine and water into his anus. Why, though? It's believed by some users that that method provides a more sufficient hit. What do you mean, sufficient? What's that mean? Sufficient? How come you gonna know what that means? It's stronger! It's faster. It's better. Fuck I. Fair play. Fair play? Aye, it's like that one time when I was out by the spa and I saw that smack head eating a fucking yoghurt with a credit card. It's fucking clever, isn't it? Okay now, listen up. I don't like doing these sessions. And I especially don't like doing them with the likes of you. But the reason I have to do them with you is because you are seen as the most vulnerable and the most at risk. And there's a reason for that. And that is because there is no hope for you You are the gutter of human society. In fact, I don't care if you take drugs or not. If you take so much smack, you burst from the inside out and pop the clogs on the back of home bargains. Well, that's one job more for the coroner and one less for me, boy. Okay. PC Sir Veal. Thanks for that. Very informative chat today. Oh. Chop a chops. You quiet over there? <sighs> I'm fine. When is that horizon's going to have you working then? Uh, I don't know. We were just learning about drugs today and how we're all worthless. Drugs? Yeah. They teach you the 3Ds? Don't do drugs? Yeah, they, they said that. Good. That's what I like to you. See? It's doing him good, that place is, Sand. Well done, Tony. I've always said you don't need drugs, look, boy. Get eye on a free skin of a life. That's my bamboo, which you to tell me. I'll tell you a story about someone that has, uh, dabbled with drugs. Who? Your Uncle Jockey. I remember this one time when we were teenagers, and we were offered drugs. Me and Jock were down by Eugene Cross Park. He was copping off with this bird at the time. Lisa Bridgman, her name was. Fuck knows what happened to her. Oh, boys, I got some cork gear. You fancy a line or what? Fuck, guy. You know me. I give anything a go like. Woo! You getting on a beat? And there he was, staring me in the face. I knew I had to do something. Ah! <laughs> and I just kept running. No fucking way was I doing that shit. Yeah, and I thought I saw him doing something once. Aye, and not just the once. It's all the time with him. Practically ruined his life. Poor fuck is living in a fucking van. But you said once he's been with the most women out of anyone you've ever met. Well, all right, there's that one thing going for him. And he's with Pauline. All right, yeah, and that as well. And doesn't Jockey work on the building site? You know, the one you were always saying you want to get back to? Fuck me! All right, Jesus! I'm not going to sit here and have you fucking chatting me back all night. I'm fucking going in there. Fucking not even my fucking kid. Fucking trying to set him right and he's fucking answering me back. Fucking know it all. Fucking la da Fucking fat fuck. Hey you, feeling lonely? Why not call me? We can talk about anything. We're just going to have a quick break, but I'm not going to go anywhere, and neither are these.
And don't forget, you can still call our hot sex ladies during the adverts. Calls cost £7.89 per second with a £20 connection charge. Fuck sake, man. What is the true meaning of life? Well, some say it's love. Our lives are better when they're filled with love. But when negative feelings develop, that love can be lost forever. Maybe you're on this path. Maybe your marriage isn't what it once was. Maybe you're no longer holding hands. Maybe your marriage has been breached by a third party and now you're up late watching phone shag channels. If this is you, then why not call Ebervale Marriage Counselors? We're here to give your relationship the reboot it needs. Jones, Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones, wake up now. Wake up now. Permission? What the fuck do I need permission for? Oh, it's my sight. I'm not having you telling me what I can and can't fucking do. Uh, look, I gotta go. My assistant manager needs me. Everything all right, Bled? Everything's as good as my unsoiled undies. I need you to do me a favour, Jock Boy. What's that, Bled? I need you to drive to Bristol. Pick up a load of washers and two men. Merchant Shutsy. Fucking owl can face his dad died, apparently. Aye, no worries. You're a fucking peach boy. Uh, I've got your two lackeys out there getting ready to join you as well. Can you imagine that? Fucking hell, Bled, can't I go on my own or what? It's a three-man job. I got these cunts on to me now, Jock. Just go. Take the old LWB van. I'll see you later. You better tell me some good news, man, or you got a pair of soiled underpants with your name on. It don't cost me nothing to smoke fags. Fags are free. What? Because you steal them? No, I just pick a nips up off the floor and make second-hand fags. Look at this. Pockets are full of backy. Ew. Fucking arc of these by you now. Fucking talk. Wh- who's talk? Ah, he's fucking solid, boy. Sound as fuck, oh. But, uh... He's from Hilltop, isn't he? And he's just banging a 16-year-old. He's about fucking 30. He's not 30. He's only 29. Ah, oh, I'd love to be him. Prosecco is fucking beautiful. Oh, I'd love to finger her with my dick. Oh, talk, boy. You are too Ah, he's just messing, he is. Hey, she's fucking milky. Have a nice feed this morning, milk. Oh, oh. Milky! Milk clips! Milk clips! Oh! Oh, come back and answer me! Now listen you, I'm not gonna beat around the bush on this. The pair of you do my fucking head in. I've told you several times that I hate you both. But no matter what, you won't take it on board. I'm gonna lay down the rules right now. There's not to be a peep from the pair of you during this trip. Not a single fucking word. I swear on my mother's life, if either of you start talking, I'll stop that van, drag you both out onto the side of the road, and beat you with this rusty metal fucking pipe. Do we understand each other? Oh yeah, we'll be quiet, don't you worry. Just fucking nod. Now get in the fucking van. Yes, Gutsy, go on. I know you said no talking, but I brought this mixtape we made. Bit of music for the road, won't it, will it? <sighs> go on then. As long as you're not talking. This is DJ Gutsy, coming at you with a precious remit. This is Techno. Fuck you! Nothing but silence.
First and foremost, I believe the first step in these sessions is to just become free and open with ourselves. I don't refer to myself as a counsellor. I refer to myself as a spiritual cleanser. Whereas a so-called counsellor may use rigid, outdated methods such as psychometric measures and clinical interviews, I instead use a more free-formed approach which allows you to find your inner you. Well, this has just cost me 200 quid. I, I want you to fix our marriage. Marriage? No. You see, that's another word that's banned from this space. Instead, I refer to it as two souls who share their destiny's pathway. Hello, you're through to Welsh Utilities. How can I help? Oh, look at this beat. How long do you think that is? I don't know, Mike. Well, I just measured it, and it's seven and a quarter inch. The cut from the place near my house is always satisfyingly long, but USA Chicken is not half as long. Me and my mum ordered a kebab from the uh, local last night, and while I was waiting, I asked them about their cut, and you'll never guess what they said. They said they used the traditional knife to cut the meat, not the easy line twin jet meat slicer that Sal uses. 230 volts, see, so it packs hell of a punch, or a <laughs> hell of a slice, you know, instead of punch, you know. For fuck's sake, Mike. <sighs> oh, I don't know about you, Val, but whenever it's this busy, I just can't be arsed, dude. Yeah. Only time I like to see 40 in the queue is when I'm up the car. Oh, what are you reading anyway? I'm reading about this woman who thought she had three tits, but then it turned out it was a tumour. But then it wasn't a tumour, it was a leftover dead Siamese twin sister. Why are there 40 customers in the call queue and none of you are doing anything about it? Why don't you muck in then, Dan? Help us out, like. I'm not a call taker. I am calling an emergency team meeting about this. I want to see you all in the F9 room. In the meanwhile, I suggest you sort it all out! Who the fuck does he think he is? Fucking shout in like that, man. Yes. I got a chuggy. We'll get rid of it then. Can you open the window for me to chuck us out? <laughs> Fucking hell, man! Got you, dull cunt! Stop the window! Oh, oh. Fucking hell! Sorry, Jock. How the fuck did you manage that? Oh, look at this shit now, man. It's fucking manging. So, what's the health and safety hazard in this photograph? Um, I think all of it's a hazard. Okay, and why is that? Deborah, um, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to say this. Um, one of the, uh, special needs learners as a... Uh, there's a turd on the roof. Is the learner up there as well? Deb, just come with me. I need all hands on deck for this. Okay, guys, I'll be as quick as I can. Just chill out for two minutes. Milky boy, you had a good slurp of your mother's tit milk this morning, then, or? No. I know I would if I was you. Hold on, you suck your own mother's tits? No, is your mad head? But you said if you were him, you'd suck his mother's tits. So that means you'd suck your own mother's. Ah, oh, fuck off, you know what I mean. Why are you always asking him about his mother? 
Because he's a fucking sick in the head cunt who just fucking sucks his mother's fucking tits like. How do you know that though? Well, it all started back in primary school. Milky invited Terry Thomas over his when they were both about five years old. No, they were six. Aye, even worse. Anyway, fucking Terry and Milky go over his like. It's all just going normal. But then... Milky... What? And his own mother calls him Milky, does she? Fucking listen now. How was school today? And who's your friend? His name's Terry. Can we play Simpson Sit and Run? Yes, after you've had your dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Terry was just standing there, and then things went from zero to a fucking billion. <laughs> <laughs> Drink my milk. Drink all mummy's milk. <laughs> and Terry just kept running. He was never the same after that. And you don't think he could have made that up? Why would Terry make something like that up? He's never drunk milk since. And look at him by there now. He's someone, obviously someone, who still breastfeeds. Don't you, Milky? Come on, own up to it, you fucking shit cunt. Brainy, just lay off him like he's never done anything to you. I'll be another couple of minutes. So, Sherry, what it sounds like is that Brix has entered your realm and you feel more enriched taking a step from Alan's pathway to start your own journey. Oh, he's fucking entered her realm, all right. Pardon me, Alan? Nothing. I feel so relieved. <laughs> no one else has ever seen it from my point of view, Luxy. <laughs> my aim is to make sure everyone leaves here at peace with their decisions. Whoa. Hold on now. We're supposed to be stopping all this business with bricks. We need to get back to square one. Alan, square one is a toxic environment. But... I paid 200 quid for this, and you're just agreeing with everything she's done. Alan, 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 look, as we've gone over, you're over-drinking and you're distancing yourself from Sherry's central inner core. Look, speak English for five minutes, man. (sighs) You drink too much. This has caused you to become distant. You act on impulse and don't think about anyone else around you. These traits have been catalysts in Sherry making this choice. So what now? That's it, is it? My marriage is over. No, 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 no. The sharing of your destiny pathways is over. Sherry, before Ellen interrupted, you were going into detail on Brix's girth. Could you please embellish? Of course I can. Yeah, my day's been all right. I tell you what, mind, uh, Wilma on Billin, she emailed me one of those, uh, those internet memes. It was, a, it was a photo of a tennis player who'd been hit in the face of a ball. Right, listen to this now. And on the top, it said, When Monday. And then at the bottom, it said, Hits you too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Meme. <laughs> Monday. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fuck me, that's hot. Beaten! What are you doing? It's fucking half past three. I'm having some grubman. Your lunch was at 1pm. Aye, but I was stuck on a call. I don't care. We'll address this in the team meeting. Oh, he's fucking testing me today, he is, I. I won't have fucking anything in. <coughs> hey, Carl. It looks like Monday just hit you in the face. Oh, it's all hot and cheesy. <sighs> Sorry, Carl. What a load of bullshit that was. Well, I feel much better. You can't honestly just tell me this is it. Well, I'm sorry, Al, but I think... I think after that, we just need to be honest with ourselves and just face the reality of it all. He was a fucking space cake, man. He was talking out of his arse for most of it, saying I'm drinking too much and that. You're drinking right now! Well, what about Terry? Who's Terry? Our son. His name is Jerry. Well, whatever. Are you going to be the one to break it to him? Me? And you? This? It's all he's ever known. Look, I can't talk to you right now. I'm driving home alone. Just get a taxi. Sure. Oh, Alan. 
Let me know if you want to book any more sessions soon. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is this? Can you imagine how quiet it would be in that van today? Can you imagine that? I'm fucking gutsy! Hey, duck boy. How are you, you lackeys? I heard you had a road trip today. Oh, pie! Fucking get your face off the window. I'll tell you again. Sorry, Risty. No, no, Rist. Best friends with them now, any jock? Make sure you look after them, boy. Hey, hey, boys. Hey, hey, Best friends now, are they? <laughs> Fuck my life. Right, everyone. So, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. I have had enough of this department. Sometimes I can't tell whether I'm managing a call centre team or minding a crash. What do you mean, dude? I mean, Carla, you're sat there reading a magazine article on the woman with eight tits when you should be working, and I've got you, Val, constantly chatting away about your degenerate dog in escapades up the coch. Aye, and I've got to go over there tonight before Big Dalith gets up there and takes all the best meat. And Shut up! If it was up to me, there'd be no more coch. And then there's you, Mike. Newsflash, you're not paid to sit there constantly eating kebabs, and if it's not that, it's you taking another bereavement day for your dead dog. Look, hang on, Dan. It's been really tough for me, actually. So... It was seven years ago. No wonder it killed itself. <laughs> and then there's Fletch, the only one of you that grafts around here. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, beaten. A man such as yourself, who proclaims to be a grafter, yet does so little of it. I'd be surprised if you have ever grafted a day in your life. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm your manager, Beaton. I'm the boss of you. Do you know what you are, Beaton? You're this. This. You're worthless to me. You're a cunt. That's it. That's it. That's fucking it. <coughs> I don't give a fuck about that job anymore. No one says I don't craft. No one calls me a kid. I get a kid. You fucking. Oh, fuck me. Uh, oh, oh, I bring up. I bring up. I bring up. Fucking heart attack. Oh. How do you find the risings today, then, misery guts? Yeah, it was all right. It's it's getting better in there. The only thing I feel bad about is that milky kid. Well, that's brainy for you, isn't it? He's a bully. Or at least he's trying to be one. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, hang on. The same as our Pokemon are down there. Give me a mo. <laughs> a Pokemo, more like. Don't ever fucking say that to me again. <laughs> all right, well, there's a Jigglypuff down here. I'm, I'm going to see if I can catch that. Oh, it's, it's Kate and Tim. What's, what's, what's happening? What, what, what is this? Oh. Don't go killing yourself now, Torn. It has been difficult, aye. And that marriage guidance counsellor we saw, fucking Rainbow, fuck knows, whatever his name was, well, he didn't help. To be honest, I should have phoned you in the first place. Ah, oh, babe, I'm sorry to hear that. It sounds like it's been really tough. Oh, I don't know. What if 
I get my fanny out for you. <sighs> Aye. It's bigger in this van than I thought it'd be. Aye. It's amazing what a couple of throws and some cushions for Wilkos can do. So, you and Sherry then? Aye, well, we saw that counsellor this afternoon and she stormed off. Just got off the phone with her now and um, said I can have a couple of nights in the house, but then it's best if I find a new place to stay. Sorry to hear it. Do you know what really fucking pushes my dick in though? It's always a woman who comes off and scathed. She gets the house. No inconvenience for her. Well, it's her house. She pays the mortgage. Yeah, all right. There is that, aye. And your car's in her name. She more or less bought it for you. Aye, all right, Jock. Still, though. How's Jerry coping with it? Who? Your boy. Oh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's all I think about, to be fair. Hmm. I was going to say, though, this place. If you'd be up for it, and I chuck you a few quid, would I be able to... St- like, keep you here for a bit? No. But you're at Pauline's most nights, Jock. Aye, which means I'm here the other nights. That's probably you now. Go for Jockey. Oh, you alright? Oh, well. That was Sandra. She said Beaton's had a heart attack. What's happened? I, I don't know. My mum said that Beaton just had a heart attack in work. Where's she to then? Uh, she's with Beaton and the doctors. Best make ourselves comfy then. Has anyone rung his mother? Uh, I, I don't think so. I'm not ringing her. Uh, I'm not ringing her either. Yeah, best leave it then. I remember when I had a heart attack. My family were waiting I was. You had a heart attack? <laughs> Fuck I. I've had about seven. That last quadruple bypass, or titanium, steel iota, and copper cased arteries. No fucking stopping me now. You think they'll do the same for Beat then, or? Fuck. What if he dies? Oh, well. Come on now. Oh, Tone. Don't you worry, kid. Oh, yeah. He'll be alright. He's a fighter, Beaton is, man. He's a determined man. He'll appreciate you waiting here for him as well, Tone. He thinks I love you. Really? But but he's always making fun of me and calling me potato head and stuff. Ah, he's just saying that to keep you grounded, man. Aye, you and your mum are the best thing that's ever happened to him. I remember when they met. Oh, why? You ever heard about how Beaton met your mother, Tom? N- no. He's never told you? No, no, they've, they've never told me. It was when we went to Mutlins, in Bainhead. It was a fresh summer morning. Beaton had just broken up with this Bill Gloria. He was in a bad way. I don't know if this trip is right for me, Jock. I'm not in the right headspace. Beat, I'm not going to tell you again. Fanny helps. Fanny is nature's antidepressant. Don't forget I was there as well. Hey, boys. How's it going? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think you're doing? I'm the one telling this story. I'm just bringing myself into it, man. Well, you weren't that tall. All right, all right. And your package was smaller. 
All right, all right. And your hair was done like... Don't bring that up, Jock. Well, I want to give an accurate account of what happened for Tony. Alan was going through his Justin Lee Collins phase, see? Why don't you open a tinny now, Beat? No, I'm all right. I'll have one in a bit now. Oh, Beat, I never did ask what happened between you and her. <sighs> Where do I begin? I... I, uh... It's just... I, I can't see this working and... It's why I have to make this choice. F- f- fine, fine. Good, good, good decision. Good, good decision. The, the thing is, it's just a, uh, you know, I, I, I don't forget. I'm a, I'm just a boy, standing in front of a girl, asking her to love him. Goodbye. That's the hardest thing I've done in my life. It would have been our one month anniversary today. Sort you that, Pete. The women here will sort you out now. I'm staying well away from him. I couldn't do that to Sherry. You uh, doofed her yet then, or what? No, no, not yet. She wants to take things slow, so you know, I'm just going to go at her pace, man. I did go round hers the other day, mind. I her curtains. I her curtains? Fucking hell. Out of boy. You should see him now. Hanging straight and soft as silk. Silk what? Yeah, they, yeah, they were maroon. Pencil pleat drapes from home base. Fucking hell, Al. I thought you meant the beef curtains. Fuck me, no. Not a sniff of those yet. We've only just got old in hands. <laughs> beef. Here we are then. Looks nice and plain. Bagsy the bed. What do you mean Bagsy? There's only one bedroom. Oh hang on, that's not very fair, Jock. Alright, well, whoever pulls can have the bedroom. Fuck's sake. Oh, fuck's sake. You alright, lads? Knock knock. Alright, boy. I just thought I'd uh, pop round and introduce myself. <laughs> My name's Jeff. Or as they call me around here, Sexy Jeff. I'm a rep for this zone, so anything you need, you just come to me. And just remember the Mutlins motto. Whatever happens in Mucky Mutlins stays in Mucky Mutlins, eh? <laughs> ah. But I, I've been volunteering around here since 1998. You three strapping lads have come to the right place. If you fancy a little bit of ours, your auntie's daughter... Hey, hmm? Oh, I'm on you for the piss up. I'm taken. I'm in love. <laughs> right, yeah. Like I haven't heard that a thousand times before. Here, come with me. Here, lads. If you're ever feeling a bit randy. Daryl, uh, can I bang your missus? Ah, she's already busy, mate. Ah, oh, you bum me if you want, though. Ah, oh, go on then. We've got it all. Fanny fucking bum licking. <laughs> the Aussie rolls felching. <laughs> the stinking ball play, if that's your thing. <laughs> Australian rules felching. What's that? Yeah, you know that's when you snort a wad of. <laughs> and then rub it into their eye sockets. Huh? <laughs> Oh. Oh, where's Jockey? Oh, boys. It's all right, then, you? Yeah? And then I dove back in and just started going deep in. <laughs> yeah, have a bit of jock cock. Why are you telling me this part for? Well, this is what happened. Why wouldn't I tell you? Ah, uh, it's a bit, it's a bit much, Jock. <sighs> Fine. I leave out the gold then. So that evening. We chucked on our fancy dress clobber and we headed out to Club Mutlins for 80s night. Shots! Pa-
I'm shot. Shot. Yeah, but can I have two pints of brown lager, please? How are you feeling now we hear them, bud? Ah, uh, you know, still a bit raw, like. All right. What the fuck are you supposed to be? Sporty, from Super Ted. You look like you got the plague. Well, who the fuck are you, then? Zardoz. That's the fucking 70s jock. Wrong era. People will think you're simple, man. Here's your pants, boys. Don't worry about paying. The ladies across the bar covered it. They love the Zardoz costume, as do I. I'll, uh, catch up with you in a bit, then. <sighs> I'll... I haven't got the head on for this place. I'm not being funny, like... Why's that, beat? It's just fucking sex. 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 It's not me, Al. I can't look at anyone. I'm still too... torn up over Gloria. <gasps> oh, I, I do... I, I just miss it, Al. I, I just... Fuck me. It's fucking Sandra Reed. I went to school with her. Ooh, the one dressed as boy George. She's Cindy Lauper, you dull cunt. Oh boy, I used to fancy the fucking arse off her when I was in comp. I can remember it like it was yesterday. I was at rugby practice. Come on out, beat, get into it for fuck's sake. <gasps> oh. That's how you do it, boys. That's what I want against Tradiga next week. And then I saw her. She was over on the netball team. She looked absolutely stunning. Thing is though, she was going out with Julian Winters, the only boy on the netball team. <laughs> I had to catch the ball and knock my finger and bent it back. <laughs> there, there. Oh, be done! Stop fucking daydreaming at the netball girls. If you don't back up and get involved, I'll fucking shag that ass. Ooh. She looks better now than she did back then. I'll tell you that right now, boy. Ooh. Go and say hi to her then. She's bound to be single if she's you. Aye. Ooh, a bit nervous now. Oh, she's so beautiful, it's daunting me a bit. Now then, Beaton. Oh! I just came over to see if you'd be interested in signing up for tomorrow's karaoke competition, eh? No! I fucking hate karaoke! What about you? Aye, I, I might jump on for a bit, yeah. He's not hes not interested either. Look, mate, I'm not being funny and no offence to this, right? But will you just fuck off? Well, I know when I'm not wanted. See you later, lads. You know where to find me. God, I fucking hate that guy. Fucking creeps me right out. Is it me, or does he smell like tin carrots? But anyway, back to her. Fucking hell, Al. Oh, what I wouldn't give to take her back to the chalet right now. Unbutton that dress. Get on all fours, and... Uh, um, um, sorry, sorry. Uh, could you skip this part as well, please? Aye, no worries. Up her ass! Right. Ugh. I'm going over. What, what, what the? Where is everyone? It's ten past three in the morning, beat. Everyone's back in the chalets. You just kept going on and on. And on. Oh, fuck's sake, man. I can't believe Sandra Reed is you. So you're okay about Gloria now, then? Who? Oh, who? Oh, fuck her, man. <sighs> I can't stop thinking about Sandra. All that's going through my mind right now is me imagining our life together. You can stop playing now, Al. I'm off to sleep. Hope I get to bump into her tomorrow. Um, do you want jam or marmite? Marmite. 
You've got my number, haven't you? Aye. I had a really good time. Aye, same, yeah. Chloe! Hurry up! All right, Mum. Bye, Jockey. Don't you dare tell your father about this. You're a fucking dog, you are, Jock. Don't think any less of me now, Al. Oh, Al, well, give us our toast then. Yeah, you are, Beat. What the f- This is fucking bread. Aye, uh, well, the toast is broken. I can't eat this. Why not? It, it's fucking weird, man. You don't eat bread in the morning. Bread's just raw toast, though, Beat. No, it's not. Bread is bread. Toast is toast. They're different. But toast is made of bread, isn't it? Oh, uh, fuck. Fuck this. I can't argue with this logic. I'm going to go out and get breakfast. I'm going to have something normal. Oh, it's like a fucking prison in that fucking chalet. Fucking bread for breakfast. Fucking weirdos, I. Well, I think I'm a fucking dog or something. I'm a fucking animal. I'm fucking eating bread. Sandra, you love karaoke? Why don't you sign up for her? If you do, I will as well. Okay. Hey up, having a good time? Oh, what was all that about? They're uh, signing up for the Mutlins Got Talent. Why? Interested now, are you? Shut up and give me that form. Now get the fuck out of my sight. But this is my stall. This isn't over. Oh, I'm glad they're hanging well, love. It took me an hour to iron those pleated folds. <laughs> Aye, but anyway, Sherry Bear, I best be going. See you when I get back. Love you. What about Candle in the Wind? Is that a karaoke song, Robert? Why don't you just do How You Remind Me? It's your favourite song, isn't it? I want to push myself. What about that one by Chesney Oaks? I am the one and only. Fuck no. You ain't singing anything by that prick. Why don't you just have a dip in the pool for a bit and relax, man? Might help you think. Uh, I don't know, Jock. That body's been face down in there for about an hour now. It's looking a bit spunky. So, what song did he sing? Don't worry. We'll get into that now. When the working day is done Oh, girls, they wanna have fun that's all they really Shots! Want. Shots! Pound a shot! Anyone want a shot? You all set for this now, Beat? Oh, fuck, guy. Sandra's not gonna know what's it do now. Oh, girls, they wanna have fun. Thank you, Doreen. That was ravishing. And next up we have... Oh, I like this one. Time to Say Goodbye by Andrea Bocelli. And it's performed by the gorgeous, give her a hand, Sandra Reid. Oh, here she is. What was, uh, what was my mum like singing? I, I can't imagine her singing. Ah, oh, Tony. Your mother was put on this earth to sing. I, in a word, breathtaking. Anyway, back to the story. That was beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you got me going there. Incredible. And isn't she just a beauty? All right, well, next up, I don't know how they're going to follow that one, but okay, let's have a round of applause for Beaton. Hi, everyone. This one's for a very special lady out in the audience. Hope you know who you are. Hit it. Freak me, baby. Freak me, baby. Freak me, baby. Let me lick you up and down till you say stop. Let me play with your body, baby. Make you real hot. 
Let me do all the things you want me to do Cause tonight baby, I wanna get freaky with you, yeah uh, What? Miss Reed! Why have you stopped singing the song for? S sorry everyone, I, I can't do this. What a fucking knob. No, no, put in part. We've stayed in the chalet tonight. I can't fucking believe she went off with our sexy Jeff cunt. Well, what are you going to do about it? There's nothing I can do. That stinking little bastard just swooped in and stole her right from me. Well, at least he had the balls to go and talk to her. What's that supposed to mean? I have balls, Jock. Do you? Of course I have. Show me how men. I'll fucking whip him out right now. No, I mean metaphorically. As in fucking get after her. Show her you've got the balls, but in your heart. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Jock. Go on, boy. Go fucking get her. I'm gonna go find her, and I'm gonna show her the big beating balls in my heart. Cheers, Jock. No, like I said, I'm not interested in anyone else. You are my one and only, and I'm your one and only. Jock! What did we say about being out with the lads? She'll still be there in the morning. <sighs> what are we doing then? Beating's gone. Where's our shock girl gone to now? I'll get her some drinks. If he's fucking laid a finger on him, I'm gonna fucking brain him now. He's fucking meddling with my future, the fucking weird looking, crispy, fucking lipped cunt. What? Oh, alright. What are you doing out here then? I'm just waiting for my friend. She's inside doing Australian rules felching. Hey, up! <coughs> Oh, that's fucking buzzing. Ugh. You went to Glencoid School, didn't you? Yes. You're Sandra Reed, aren't you? Yes. I bet you can't remember me, can you? Go on, have a guess who I am. I tell you what, I'll give you a clue. I was on the rugby team. All right, well, I'm beaten. Okay. So you do remember? Yes. Oh, fair play. I fucking loved playing rugby, I. Apart from uh, when we lost to Tradiga, I still have nightmares about that day. 28-27 we lost. The coach went fucking mental. It was like Vietnam in those changing rooms. Okay. So you were uh, single like then, or? Yes. You um, still living in Ebervale these days then, or what? Yeah, but I live with my son Tony. Here is a photo of him. He's a chubby little sausage, any? Yes. So, uh, you been enjoying Mutlin so far then, or? It has been okay, but sexy Jeff smells like tinned carrots. That's what I said! That's fucking mad! We think alike. Look. A shooting star. Maybe you should make a wish. I know I did. What did you wish for? For this moment to last forever. And we never left each other's side after that night. Beaten. Guilty as charged. What happened? We've all been worried sick, man. Oh, it was nothing, just a bit of air, man. Well, to be more precise, it was a bit of air. Trapped around the micro crevices of your heart which induced a phenomenally aggressive, yet entirely benign panic attack. S so it was... it was just anxiety? No, it's not anxiety, man! It was from me being fuming! No, it's just I meant... you you didn't have a heart attack? No, it wasn't a heart attack, but the panic attack was caused by stress and anxiety from work. Oh, yeah, he has to say that because it sounds more medical, but... it weren't anxiety, it was from me raging at that fucking cunt, Dan. But aside from that, tell him the good news, Doc. Well, I wouldn't exactly phrase it as good news, but I will be sending you off work for two weeks. You hear that, boys? Two weeks from that shithole. You jammy bastard. Come on, everyone. Let's go get a fucking tinny. Oh, potato head, come on! <sighs> Thank you.
Are you going to fucking ease up or what? This is all human nature, man. Human nature? That bloke's having his ass licked out and getting wanked off at the same time, man. It's only a rusty trombone, Al. Stop being so uptight. Just drink up and enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it while you can, lads. I'm off in for a dip. Now then, who's up for a bit of Aussie rolls? Not too fast, love. Mind me boils. Fuck me, no. Perfect morning. Oh, it's fucking gorgeous out there, I. Another day off. Another day for myself. A day to ease my mental health. What a day to not be taking calls. That call center can suck on my balls. Hello, little guy. This is going to be a perfect day. Jazz, I got you some bracky. Go on, get that in your gob. Oh. Ooh, I'm fucking hungry now as well. See you tomorrow, Norman. Hi, cheers, Phyllis. Fucking money now, you cunt. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Come on, you crispy old fuck. And give us some fags as well. Yeah, take it and leave me be. Menfuls? I'm not fucking gay. No, I. You can fucking have it. <laughs> Shove it in after I fucking rinsed Marshalls. I don't have to fucking go see my dealer, Big P. Yeah. I see life. Smoked about half ounce at mine and had about 16 cans of brown lager. Decided then to head off out to the tav. Oh, let me see your ID. How's this for ID? I just sat in there fucking blazing, not giving a shit. Then I looked over and saw the artist woman I'd ever seen in Evervale in my life, boy. I'm fucking having a slice of that, boy. Then we went back to hers, didn't we? Oh, fuck I. You like that? Have that. Have that, you fucking dirty bitch. You look fucking shit, you are, but... Brainy, will you please just stop talking? But I'm telling you what I got up to last night. I don't care. What about my new dealer, Big P, though? Fucking hell, boy. I got some California Afghan cush of him. Fucking banging it is. I thought he'd be all over that. I'm not interested, Brain. I've never been interested. Tony, boy. <sighs> hey. Fucking hell. On the blob, are you, but? No, I'm just... I can't stop thinking about my friend's betrayal. I'm done. Deacon, uh, where are you going? When he started going on about his night out, it brought me up to here. Now you've waddled in, going on about Tim and Kate for the 50th time, and it's brought me up to here. I need to go home and lie down. But, But Deacon, if you leave, you won't get paid for today. I don't care, Tom. Hiya, Deke, you right? Get fucked. Oop, loving the panther there, boy. Keep it up. Right, everyone. Deborah's off today. She's had to go to the hospital. I can't go into too much detail as to why, but basically, it's to do with her pregnancy. 
The baby is slid just outside the womb and his undeveloped little head is dangling upside down in her colon. So basically, right now, if you need to put one hand up her backside, you know, her anus like, and then another one up her vagina, and just move the fetus back into its normal position. But like I said, I can't go into too much depth on it. Anyway, I'll be teaching you all today now. Question for all of you. Has anyone in here ever heard of Owain Glyn Durr? Oh, oh, sir. Any of that pedo that bummed his dog? No, you mad cunt. That was Owen Irish. Also, how can you be a pedo for bumming a dog? Oh, it was a puppy. No, not Owen Harris. Owen Glyn Durr. Basically, right, he was a king who discovered the whole of Wales. And we're going to watch a film about him. Fuck shake. Oh, love. Oh, can you smell that darling Welsh here? Oh, oh, it's mega Welsh, babe. It's lush. Daddy, when is it lambing season? Child, we're in Wales. Every moment is lambing season. Oh. Daddy, can we have leeks for tea? Of course, son. Leeks make you grow big and strong and Welsh. Oh. Grand. Dealch and fower. Papa? I say, the best thing I ever did was plant that leek tree. Whoa. What a lovely family. Yes, don't they look yummy? So what are you thinking, old boy? Well, do you know, old boy, I really think we should take the sheep and bagger the females. Oh, ding dong. <laughs> We're so evil. And English. Yes, don't forget English, oh boy. <laughs> Rather. Tally ho. Not on a wine's watch. English scum! <laughs> Oh, she's fucking boring. Oh, try and be quiet now, Brain. It's a true story, this one is. I never thought I'd ever get a boyfriend. Truth is, I'm smitten. Finley is so dreamy. And he treats me like a queen. I can't wait to meet him. Me neither. We've only been talking online, but we're going to meet soon. Like, as in real life. I'm really happy for you. It's about time you found someone. Thanks, Kate. So, how are things going with Tim? Yeah, it's all fine. It's just, he's a bit... Much? No, he's just a bit, like, always there. All right, girls. Room for one more? What are we talking about, then? Oh, Sonia was just talking about her new boyfriend, Finlay. Ah, there's nothing quite like being in love. Is there shmoo shmoo? Oh, Schnuckles, where's my kiss? <sighs> oh, an Eskimos? Oh my god. Anyway, I gotta go. I gotta pop in the town and get us something for our seven week anniversary. Love you, Poopsy Pop. <sighs> Well, that, that was intense. Oh, I fucking love not going to work. Oh, this bath's the fucking future, but oh, I don't think I've ever been this relaxed. Oh, they always smell worse coming out of the water. Oh, what the fuck's this now? Hello? Hello, this is Wayne from Cope Counselors. Is it possible to speak to Beaton, please? Oh, it's one of those counselors the doctor said about. Hello? 
I am still here, but... So beaten. I've been asked to give you a call to see how you've been getting on following your panic attack last week. Apparently, you've been struggling with stress and anxiety. Oh, I'm feeling fine, to be honest, mate. These two weeks I've been given off are doing just the trick so far. Okay, so what do you think originally led to you having the attack beaten? Well, work was doing my head in. Okay, and uh, why was it doing your head in? Just was. Fast-paced office environment, and my boss is a bit of a twat. Okay, and who's been there supporting you? Sandra, my missus, my rock. Just in the house of her now, relaxing. Okay, and uh, have you reached out to any other family members? A parent, perhaps? Let me stop you right there. I end speaking to my mother. She'll only make me worse, trust me. Okay, uh, well, sometimes parental support can really help guide you through. Look, mate, I'm sad by you. I just got out of the bath. I'm happy as I am. And if I'm not, I'll have a few cans. Just let me have my two weeks off and I'll be right as rain. That panic attack, it was just one of those things. Also, the more I think about it, I reckon it was just indigestion anyway. Okay, well, if that's how you feel, the final thing I'd recommend is limit your alcohol intake, as it can aggravate anxiety. I hear you loud and clear. I don't rely on booze anyway. I can easily go off it in a few days. Okay, well, I guess we'll leave it there for today. But let me leave you my number, and if you want to call back... What need to? Tara. up. Oh, thank fuck that's sorted. Just said I can't drink for a couple of days. Easy peasy. When everything's dry in the desert, it's time to get a little wet. Hey, hotshot. Need a ride? When there is no party, be the party. Brown lager. Don't drink a drive. Huh. Nice try, TV. You'll have to try much harder than that. And next on ITV... Let's see what those gills are up to. What the fuck? Why I Hinnies, good afternoon like. Today on Loose Women, me and the girls are going to be talking about marriage. And how many is too many? I don't want anyone telling me how many times I can get married. It's my right. Who are you, Denise, to tell me I can't get married again? Well, what are you saying, like? It's not me, pet. I'm just reading off the order queue. I never wanted to have children. Oh, this is the fucking worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Fucking ITV has broken me. I'm getting a fucking tinny. You'll have to go to the shop then. You drank them all last night. Oh, what? Oh, well, be good to get out of the house. Get a bit of fresh air. You need anything, babe? Eye cream. Eye cream. No worries, my love. I'll see you in a bit. My liege, a wine Glindor has single-handedly taken out the entire Royal English Army. Yeah, well he's not going to get me. He killed them all with his bare hands, sir. Wrong! <laughs> I also used these. Oh Lord Almighty, no! How do you Die, you Welsh bastard! Oh, it's fucking stuck! It work, you cunt! Fuck off! It's not too late to bend over the fucking knee, Ein. You'll never get away with any of this. You can't kill every English person in the land. Maybe not, but. I can kill you! <laughs> Sorry, you can! <laughs> no star. Yeah. 
They talking like they don't know a king when they see one. What a film. You know, the reason that's so good is because it actually happened. Really? Aye. But anyway, after watching that, some of you may be feeling a bit more uh, proud to be Welsh now. Some of you may even want to sit down and actually start learning how to speak the Welsh language. Heh, <laughs> like fuck. But what I want you all to do now, to reflect on what we've just learned from that film, I'm going to put you all into pairs, so you can all draw a poster based on the story of Owain Glyn Durr. Oh, fuck sake. Justin, you can go with Prosecco. Tony, you can go with Sophie. And Brainy, you can go with Milky. Oh, fuck sake, sir. Why have I got a shit with that fucking gimp? Oh, come on now. We can leave the banter till later. Let's get these posters done. Hiya, Deke, all right? Can I just get this one, please? Satan's tits, is it? No problem, I'll bag it up for you now. Ten pound that'll be, babe. Timothy. Oh, Deke! You were right. Who's all this for, then? Oh, this... Uh, this is for my, um... For my nan. You bought your nan love heart balloons. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. Didn't your nan die last year? Yeah, yeah, well, you know, they're for a grave, are they? I've never seen someone put love heart balloons and a teddy bear which says from your schmoo on a graveside before. No, no, I know, but I love my nan, don't I? So they're not for Kate, then? No, no, of course not. Why would they be for Kate? Exactly. Hey, that's a good drawing. Oh, thanks. It's, um, it's from the scene where Owen Glendor teamed up with St. David and they discovered the elixir of life down the Ronva. Oh yeah, I couldn't look at it when St. David kicked that man's eyes out. Yeah, history is pretty violent. So I overheard you talking to Brainy earlier about your friends, Tim and Kate. I hope everything's okay. They're not my friends anymore. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. You're okay. It's just, it just got my anxiety up and stuff and, you know, just is what it is, I guess, but I just feel a bit stabbed in the back. Have you spoke to Tim and Kate about whatever it is that's going on? No. Well, maybe you should. It's good to get things out in the open and talk it over. <sighs> yeah, maybe. It's not just that, though. It's this place as well. Being here after being in college just feels like a bit of a step down. It's not that bad, yeah? Milky, this picture is fantastic. It's phenomenal. That's absolutely phenomenal. We're going to have to stick this one up, we are. I think we found your talent, yeah, boy? Thank you. It's Owen Glindor. Oh, sure. Give me here for a second. <laughs> Heh, here you are, sir. I've given him some freckles now. It's my contribution, that is. What a day to not be taking calls. That calls a dirk and suck on my balls. Come on, you bloody thing, man. Come on. Hey, Mr. Green. You all right to what? Be good, my boy. How are you doing, kid? I am all right, yeah. I'm just getting some cans now. We've gone dry, haven't we? But how come you ain't in work, then? Ah, oh, I'm off with anxiety. But anxiety? I know, I know. I told him. Anxiety. What the fuck are you on about? It don't even fucking exist. It's no such thing. But, you know... Doctor's orders, innit? They signed me off for two weeks. I'm not gonna fucking argue with that. But anyway, I best get to it. Fucking dying at first I am, but I'll see you later. Oh, right, then, well, uh, see you later, beat. Hey, come on, man. You're fucking crying out. You took my pound out. Give me my money. I'm gonna go get my shopping money. Hiya. 
Uh, sorry to bother you. Um, could you tell me where the eye cream is? It's just past our four, love. Just past the cakes. Cheers, love. You're a star. Oh, I, I don't know. The last time I used this eye cream, it made my lids all flaky. Oh, what the fuck is he doing, you know? Oh, come on. Maybe it's not him. But listen here, sweetheart, eye cream is eye cream. Yeah, it's all right for you, with your perfect skin. You're not the one who gets bags. Shit! Fuck! Oh, come on. <sighs> Calm down now, boy. Come on, it's all right. It's only Dan. He's not going to say anything. It's all right. Oh, fuck! Not this now. Come on! Come on, Pete. You're all right. It's all right. Everything's fine. Come on, keep it together. Keep it together. Just pay for the lagers. You can get the eye cream from somewhere else. And just walk out of here. Keep it cool, boy. <sighs> Did you find everything you were looking for? What the fuck? What are you gawping at, you good-for-nothing worthless cunt? Oh. Is everything okay? Out of the fucking way! <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Fuck me. Fucking, oh fuck, come on now, fucking help. Oh, this is natural. Oh, come on, just, just get the radio on, go on. Take your mind off things, get some tunes on the go. Hehe, <laughs> love that. Boys are back in town by Thin Lizzy. And next on Dad Rock FM. Coming at you through your smart speakers, and even the thicker shit ones, it's Nickelback. And if I could find a way. Oh, speak to me, Chaz. Oh. Heal me with our voice. Every night, play now. Uh, I can see you having a slap, but they then. Help me! Unless that person has a mental disability, there is no excuse for that. Oh, I know, sweetheart, he's awful noisy. Ah, oh, thanks for doing this, Irish Mal. No worries. Me and you are a little bit like blood brothers because of bricks, you know. Well, change blood to cock. <laughs> yeah. But like I said, this is just temporary. You know, until I get back on my feet, though. Pardon the smell. The toilet's on the blink, so I've had to be using the bucket for the past three months. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. Why have you got a rat's head impaled onto a pencil? It's a warning. To the others. Look, Beat, you're in a pinch. Work is fucking you off, and the pressure has got you. Oh, I know, but uh, I've got anxiety. I'm weak. I'm nothing now. I was in my car, screaming with tears, for four entire hours. All I'm trying to say is don't worry, man. This anxiety is not something to be ashamed of. Just something you've got to try and overcome. Don't go getting anxiety over having anxiety. I feel like I've tried everything though. It's just, nothing seems to help like. What about that counselling stuff? 
Didn't they say something about reaching out to your mum? What? Oh, fuck off. No fucking way am I speaking to her. Is she as bad as she used to be then, or what? To her, my mother, I. She's packed me a beef and mustard sandwich, dragon crisps, cold rice pudding, and a can of brown lager. She loves me so much, bless her. What did you get, Beat? Just this note. It's only one word. Cunt. What does that mean? Is that, is that Welsh for love or something? I don't know. Oh, miss. What does this word mean? Ah, oh, you dirty little sod. But, but, miss. You wait till your mother hears about this, young man. That night, my mom gave me an absolute Aiden. I then she grounded me for two weeks. Yeah, bad form, that. She was the one who wrote the note, Jock. She wrote the note. <clears throat> Woods a girl for another can. Aye, cheers, Barnaby boy. You want another one, beat? Aye, me as well. But like I was saying, there's no fucking way on this earth I'm fawning my mother. Right, girls, change your plans for tonight. I ain't gonna be here. Dad's got a date with a potential new stepmother for you. I know it's been tough for us all since your old mam passed away, but I think now's the time for us all to move on. I just wish she'd never fell over those railings in Bristol Zoo. Still, it was nice of him to take that picture, though, wasn't it? But what's this woman like? See for yourself. Just how I like him. Big, full woman. Dad, oh my god, man! Do you want a new mum or do you? No, anyway, I'm off. You pair behave. And no fucking parties when I'm gone. Lexi, party at mine. But, but, Marnie, Dad said no parties. If you don't tell Dad, you can invite a few of your friends. Even my boyfriend? Yeah, 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 whatever. Sorry, Lex, that was just my annoying sister. Tell you what, though, I want to get off my face tonight. Fuck me. <sighs> I swear this is heavier than what he says. Feels like it's double or something. Fucking party, is it? Fuck I, boy. And we'll be back with more rock and metal tracks after the adverts. I'm Zane Lowe. Coming next Tuesday at the Ebervale Owl Sanctuary, the biggest owl event in all of Wales for all you keen owl enthusiasts. It's fun for all the family. See? I was just telling these pair now. It's a hoot! <laughs> you said it. Also, you'll wow in amazement at the unveiling of the Kiribati Palm Tree Owl, Earth's biggest owl. For one day only, you won't want to miss it. I love owls because they are friendly and can fly and have cool big wings. This owl is named Andrew and he is my boyfriend. Book now! Wow. Hey, Deke, you ready for the Pokemon Go raid? What the fuck are you wearing? Well, it's raid day. I thought it'd be fun to dress up as Ash Ketchum. Fine. But if people ask me how we know each other, I'm telling them that I'm your carer. Okay, whatever. Come on, let's go. Gotta catch him. Oh, Pokemon. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, fucking hell. My head's fucking pumping. Oh, I'm fucking hanging, I.
But your mother's coming over today. Fucking what? Why? Why the fuck is she coming here for? You phoned her when you were drunk last night. You know what, Jock? I think you're right, but I am going to call my mother. <clears throat> I didn't say you should beat. No, 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 no. You've convinced me. Every boy needs their mother. Oh, Barnaby, you fucking cunt. Where's that fucking phone, boy? Oh, but we heard you on speed dial. Hello, mother. Fuck! What the fuck? Uh, right, we need to get this place fucking spick and span fucking now. Sandra, I need four paracetamols, a can, and a pair of marigolds. And my pinny. I can't believe I'll finally get a chance to see the Kiribati palm tree owl up close. I've been dreaming of this since I first saw Legends of the Guardians, the Owls of Gahul. I'll come along as well. It'll be pretty interesting to see the biggest owl on Earth. If you have to. Hey look, Deke, I think Flomper choose you. Oh, boys! Boys! Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright, gay boys, <laughs> why are you playing Pokemon Go with these shad cunts for? How did you know we were here playing Pokemon Go? I downloaded the app so I could find you. Ain't no fucking way I'm playing this fucking game. I, I think I just found you on here. Your name's Jigglypuff Master, and you're level 50. That's the highest level you can- I fuck up now, it's my cousin's account, I just used her login. The avatar is wearing a blazing hoodie and a Pornhub hat. Look, look, none of this shit matters. Listen you now. Guess what? We are off to an house party tonight, boys, and it's gonna be fucking awesome. No. But my missus, her parents are away. It's a free house. Come on, boys. You have a missus. I. I need to see this specimen. Count me in. I've never been to a party before. Ah, you'll fucking love it, Tony. Tell you what we're gonna do, right? We'll all go back to mine first. Tony, we'll get you ready. After we've done that, you'll have fucking Fanny amming round you all night, boy. Well, can't I just go like this? Um, no. Not being funny, Tom, but you look like a fucking absolute bender in that get up there. I never thought I'd say this, but I wholeheartedly agree with Brini. We'll get you freshened up. You look cool as fuck now, boy. Come on, let's bounce. Hey, Brainy, are you going to play Pokemon Go with us today? Ah, fuck. Uh, sorry, boy. I, I, I think you got the wrong person. Come on, off Brainy. you go. Help! Help! I can't stop myself. Come on. You must have thought I was someone else. Come on, let's go. Fucking Pokemon Go. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way I'd ever be caught playing that, boy. I, I'm really looking forward to tonight. I can't wait to meet this mystery man of yours. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me free. Kisses. Um, Tim, I was sort of thinking, actually, maybe it's best if you don't come with us tonight. But why shmoo shmoo? I was hoping me and Sonia could have a girls' night tonight. Just me and her, you know. But if Sonia's mystery man is a boy, and I'm a boy, maybe it's okay if I do come tonight. Shmoo, shmoo, shmoo. I think that because Sonia is meeting him for the first time, she probably wants me to be there for support, so I think it's best that you don't come. But what if another boy tries to steal you away from me, Schmicklewickle? Please, Tim. This is really more of a girls' night. Shall I stay home? Yeah, that's right. And watch cartoons? Yeah. But no night is complete without you, my chick-a-dee-dee. Look, it's only one night. I'll see you tomorrow. Fine, I'll come to your house after the party. Yay!
Hiya, ma'am. Uh, me and the boys are just getting ready and off out to a party. <laughs> This room smells like burnt chocolate. Oh, fuck up, man. Tony, you fucking ready yet, then, or what? I don't know. I'm, I'm worried I look stupid. Oh, come on, man. <sighs> Tony, you look fucking awesome. You look like Claire Balding. How come Deacon doesn't have to get changed? Because fucking Deacon wasn't walking around dressed as a fucking gay Pokemon man. You look like a fucking nonch. Now come on, just stop flapping now, Ton. This night is going to be banging. And wait till the girls see you in that suit. They'll come over, they'll be rubbing their fannies against you all night, begging for you to finger them. Uh, I don't know, I mean, girls, I don't think I'm ready for them to be all sexual. Don't worry, Ton. I think you'll be okay. Well, you want to walk Natasha Wilkins in at this party. No means fuck all to her, boy. That thing's got about 15 white wings. Anyway, come on. We need to go call for Justin. And then, uh, I need to go see Big P. Big P? The, the, the drug dealer? Aye. He's a fucking party man. i got to get some fucking smoke in. But, but that's illegal. <sighs> It'll be fine, man. Come on. Stop being such a fucking woman, man. And Stevens... Driving through the middle. He shoots! Oh, what a save! Oh, fair play. That was fucking awesome, that was that. Goalkeeper now. And... Oh no! What's he done? An own goal! And his first of the season. Wow. Incredible goal. From the moment he left his boot, you could tell it was going in. What the actual fuck? Oh, that's not even fucking possible, like, you fucking hacking cunt! Hacking back! Ma'am! A fucking door! Oh, ma'am! Fucking, just because you've got cancer doesn't mean you can't answer the door. Eee, hey, right, Kubo Tits? Oh, what are you after now? I'm snowed under at the moment. Coming out, though? Ah, uh, nah, but, nah, I'm. I'm not feeling too well. Like, I'm, I'm you know, my mum's cancer is, play, is playing up today. You know, her cancer, like, it's a bit sore. That uh, girl I've been speaking to on Messenger is having a party. Free house. Ma'am, I'm off out. I'll see you later. By the way, I was uh, just telling these pair, remember that night I got all my wings? Yeah, because you had a porky bum wank though. Shut the fuck up, Justin! Ah, oh, there we are. It's fucking immaculate in you. I don't know what time she's going to be here, but at least now we're ready. Fuck, there she is. Right, come on, no beat. It ain't going to be that bad. It's only your mother. She's bound to have calmed down a little bit over the years. Answer! Answer for fuck's sake! I was out there for practically ten minutes! Hi, hiya, ma'am. You know I was in the middle of tipping point when you phoned last night. I hope you know I miss seeing if they won the star counter. Oh. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Stop apologising, you stupid cunt. It's done and dusted. Not like this place. Now, come on. What did you need to talk to me about? Uh, right. Um, well, uh... You gay. What? No, uh, no, um... Right, well, um... Uh, I've been diagnosed with anxiety and, um... Anxiety? Gay? Same thing in my book. There's always been something fucking wrong with you. I mean, look at the state of this house. It is fucking atrocious. I thought when you got married, she'd sort you out. But she haven't, have she? And what's this? A grown man with a fucking snake? Are you real? I bought Charles for his birthday. Did you? Aww. Charles! Fucking have that. <gasps> Oh. Stop catching flies and put the fucking kettle on, man. I'm going to unpack. <laughs> We've been waiting here 
for 77 minutes now. It's not, man. It's only been five. You'd be here any second now. I don't understand why you need drugs, Brainy. Don't you get worried, like, after we watch that video in Horizons? Fuck no. Fucking live young, die fast, Tony. As soon as I get this fucking five bag in now, I'm going to bash up the biggest fucking bifter you've ever seen, boy. I've been smoking green since I was five. I fucking needed a function. I don't give a fuck. <sighs> I give a fuck, though. Ooh, fucking, you're the use, boy. <sighs> oh, my God. This is actually happening. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die. Boys, I, I, I want to go home. This is a drug dealer. He, he's going to kill us. I, 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 I can't be here. I, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to die. Go and shut the fuck up and sit down. You're going to make us look like a bunch of fucking mongs. Yeah. What's happening then? It's happening, Big P. That's Big P. How's it going, boys? We're on our way to an house party now. You should come round. Loads of clientele for you. Sounds good. Send me the dates. But Pat, you're a... You're a drug dealer now? That's Big P. Ah, gotta pay the bills, and I? Come on, MP. Fucking sort us out this five bag in. Here you are. I've only got Rocky in tonight, but it's imported. From Cali. Sound but no problems. That's 750 pounds. You are, boy. Kiss you, hey. Kiss you, hey. Kiss you, hey. Oh, what are you up to? This isn't even fucking hash. It's a square of dairy milk. The fucking segment's branded. And you ain't having fucking any of it. Anyway, boys, I'd love to stay a chat, but I've got places to be. Oh, and, uh, I was going to say, I'm planning a trip to Amsterdam for a big smoke up. If any of you boys are interested... I'm collecting money for the kitty to get it all going. Fuck off. Well, have a think, innit? Eh? <sighs> I can't believe Pat resorted to such desperate means. Do any of you boys know how to roll? <laughs> you fucking cat, Ed. <laughs> Woo! There better be some of that left for me, boys. I just hope Beth don't come and speak to me. She's been hanging off my ex for months now. I wouldn't have come if I didn't know she was here. Oh, babe, you've done so well not to show her you're bothered. I'm not bothered. She's welcome to him. It's not the point, though. She's meant to be a mate. I've told her to delete his number. Oh, she's evil. And her head is shaped like a carrot. Hey, girls. Hiya, Beth and babe. You all right? Aye. Your hair looks lush. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I've got Schwarzkopf in it. I'll get it. Don't be nervous now. He's just a boy. Hey, son. Oh, you look lovely. Heh, <laughs> thanks, Kate. I, I was nervous then. I thought you were Finley. Nah, just me. And me. She couldn't bear to leave me in the house all alone. <laughs> oh, well, uh, the, the more the merrier. I'm just going to put these in the fridge. <sighs> Sorry about him. He twisted my arm. He just wouldn't stop begging to come. That's all right. I'm not sure if meeting Finley is a good idea after all. I think I'm just too nervous. Oh, don't worry. He'll think you're great. Besides, if things go badly, I'll, I'll come and rescue you. Baby, you said there weren't any boys at this party, but I've just seen lots of boys. Did you lie to me, boo-boo? Don't worry, I'll go and inform them that you're my Schmicklewickle, so they won't talk to you. <coughs> hey guys, a word please. You see that beautiful girl over there? I'd really appreciate you not bothering her tonight. Because she's my chicken. <sighs> Fuck my life. <sighs> well, boy, I hope you know how much I loved you, Chaz. You were you were the best companion a man could have ever had. Oh, oh look at me by her now. 
I'm just sorry things are about to end this way. Hey, hey, you're gonna be a rock star. <laughs> Goodbye, Jazz. <sighs> oh, for fuck. Jazz, you fucking arsehole, like. Some sad news now. The lorry transporting the rare bird, the Karabati palm tree owl, to an Ebbervale owl sanctuary has been involved in a collision with a person in a wheelchair. Wheelchair user Ashley Yap, apparently, how witnesses put it, appeared out of nowhere and at high speed. Meanwhile, the Karabati palm tree owl made good its escape, breaking free of its moorings, and its whereabouts are still yet to be pinpointed. The animal is quite dangerous and residents all over Blyna Gwent are advised to stay indoors. I'm most concerned for my children. I'm on the sick with a bad leg, see? The last thing I need in my life right now is one of them killer owls swooping down and eating my kid. Fuck! It is suspected Mr Yap lost control atop one of Ebervale's trademark slopey roads. What, what, the, what, what, what happened in you? It's all different. Ah, well, you said you was anxious, so I did the room out for you. I used some of my feng shui. Feng shui? Aye, feng shui. Come on now, man, wrap up and let's have a nice cup of tea and watch Tipping Point. There's still some in the pot. Mum, it's just... Well, me and Sandra, um, sort of... Well, we liked the room the, the way it was. I am trying to make you feel less anxious, you ungrateful little cunt. I've used feng shui. Oh, sorry, ma'am. All I was saying was... Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. What are you? Act like a man. Uh, uh, ma'am, you're making me all flustered. You know, sometimes I wish I'd let you father fuck me in the arse and that you was conceived. I'm going for a kip. You haven't half fucked oh. me off, boy. <laughs> Who are you? We're, uh, we're here for the party. I'm Finley. <sighs> Whatevs. Come in. Your first name is Finley. Look. We don't have time to get into all our now. C come on, man. Fucking hell. This party's fucking going. Finny. Sonia. You're going out with Sonia, Tony, Deacon. What are you both doing here? We, we go to Horizons with Brainy or Finley or whatever. Oh, cool. Is, uh, is Kate isn't here, is she? Tony? Oh. What, what are you doing here? Oh, I am. Um, uh, I, uh. Yeah, Tone. What are you doing here? Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? What? No, he's not. Are you sure? You sound anxious to me. I think you should leave. I'm fine, and don't speak for me. But, Shmoo, this is Tony. You're not friends with him for a reason. Remember? Yeah, I, I, I'm really sorry. I, I can go right now if you need me to. No, you stay. Tim, you're being ridiculous again. But he's gate crashing Sonia's party, trying to get back in with you. She, I told Will this was a bad idea. I, I genuinely had no idea you were here. Tim, he's got every right to be here. But baby, I'm trying to protect you. Fuck, you're so annoying. <laughs> Look. Let's go home and cuddle up and watch How I Met Your Mother. How does that sound, Chicky Woo Woo? Stop calling me Chicky Woo Woo! I am not a Chicky Woo Woo! You make my fucking blood boil! But bo boil with love? With anger! But Kate! Oh, we are done! I think it's about time you fucked off, Tim.
Fajn. Come on everyone, drama's over. Let's get this party back going. <laughs> what a fucking rim. Come on, babe. Should we go upstairs or what? Yeah, uh, I uh, I'd better go and see if she's okay first. Tony, you should go. Uh, really? I mean, I I think she probably just wants to be left alone right now. Just go and fucking talk to her. He's right. Go on, Tony. <sighs> okay, well, I guess it has been a long time coming. Come on in, babe. Should we go upstairs so I can uh, take your temperature then, or what? <laughs> okay. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. <sighs> this party is shit. Mm. Fancy seeing you, yeah? Actually, I'm glad you're here. Are you okay? Not really. I mean, I've just caused a massive scene in front of Sonia's party. I've ruined the night for her. Tell me you love it. Tell me you love it. Uh, I don't think she'll mind. Yeah, but still, I, I've made a massive knob of myself. Oh, well, you know, we've all been there. You mean, we've all had our boyfriend beat up our best friend, and then after we've broken up with that boyfriend, our best friend returns for revenge against our now ex-boyfriend? So then you decide to cut ties with both of them, but then you end up going out with the best friend of your ex-best friend, and then after weeks and weeks of suffocating what he deems love, you break up with your now boyfriend, the best friend of your ex-best friend, in front of everyone at your new best friend's party. Uh, I, I, I think a few people might have done that, yeah. I know you've been through a lot as well, though. I'm sorry I got mad at you. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I still feel really guilty about all of that stuff. Thanks for coming to see who I am. Oh, that's okay. So, uh, have you been watching Pokemon Z? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty awesome. I can't believe Pikachu is enslaved Pallet Town. I know, and that scene when he cut Professor Oak in half. I was blown away. I was dying to talk to you on Messenger about that. I know, I could just imagine your face. And what did you think when Brock went Super Saiyan 5? Amazing. I, I get tingles thinking about it. 100% the best anime I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> she was the one. I'm going to be single forever. <laughs> Who's that? Kate, is that you? Shmoo, shmoo. Eh, hey, I'm fucking shmoo, shmoo you now. P Pat? It's fucking big P to you, son. What's this I've been hearing about you saying you were going to knock me flying? I never said anything like that. I'm going to give you a fucking paste in now. <laughs> Pat, please. No, 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 I, I never would have said anything like that, I promise you, I've got nothing but the utmost respect for you, I always contributed to your charities, I was the only one that ever put money in your kidney, please Pat, no, I'm vulnerable. <coughs> Fuck me, is that Kiribati palm tree owl?
few more steps. There's one more. Oh, oh I'm fucking. Oh. Fucking hell, I'm so What the fuck? Chaz! Hello, Beaten. What are you doing here? You are lost, Beaten. So lost. I know. Uh, I've lost the building site. I've lost you. I, I don't know what to do. There's nothing you can do, my boy. All you have now is the call center. But I don't want the fucking call center. You're supposed to tell me everything's gonna be okay. Like in that fucking Lion King film. I am only here to tell you the truth. And the truth is, you're fucked. What fucking good are you? You know what? Jockey was right about snakes. All you are are fucking tails with heads. I should have had a fucking dog. Or monkey. How dare you besmirch me? Oh, fuck off. No, you fuck off. Mom! Oh, I can feel all wet bits. I am fucking starving! Go down and make me breakfast! Oh, how can a parent be so heartless and disrespectful? That was amazing. Fuck I. Definitely blew away the cobwebs. Right, I best be getting ready. You staying over again tonight? I suppose. Fuck's sake. I've left my work belt. I'm gonna have to phone Barnaby to drop it off from the van. Jock? Have you ever thought about... I don't know. Like moving out of the van and in you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang a whoa now. Where's this coming from? Well, we've been together for ages. All your stuff's you. You even put your favourite painting up the other day. <sighs> Look, I'm going to be late. <sighs> I'll think about it on my way to work. There is a hole where my heart juice we all have it and when it gets too low the anxiety can get too high but not me not my energy juice i'm full of it look at me look at how much excess energy juice i'm exuding right now come on shake off the anxiety as if this has ever worked for anyone freak will you turn this off now before i get anxiety so beaten to say you were on thin ice would be an understatement, wouldn't it? Oh, I know, but my anxiety just got the better of me. And... You pounced towards me like a madman, and midway through, realising who you were up against, feigned a heart attack. I didn't. It, it was a panic attack, and it was because of my anxiety. Bottom line, you're on a disciplinary stroke final warning. 
You so much as breathe wrong, and you'll be out the door and down to the doll queue. Oh, come on now, there's no need to be like that, is it? Yo, I'd be very careful if I was you. Thanks, Farouk. Now, Beaton, I do want you out on that floor taking calls, but before you do, I want you to write me a letter of apology. What? Yes, Beaton. Don't you think you owe me one? Sex you up a dick top, you don't stop. Right, Jock? What do you want, you cunt? Blevins, uh, not in today, so just check in. You wanted us to carry on with what me and the boys were doing yesterday. What's up with Bled? Dunno, something with mother. <laughs> He's a proper man, his boy, ain't he? Shut the fuck up, Greg. <laughs> Jockey! Oh, here they are. Your best mates, ain't it, Jock? Get fucked, Rist. Oh, he's getting catchy now there, boys. Oh, uh, and, uh, by the way, if, uh, if you want to do something after work, I was, um, I was thinking we could, uh... Pie, get in now, man! Oh, uh, uh, sorry, Rusty. Right, you, Pear. Make it quick, because i got things to... What's that about? Wiggy! Since when? Since last night. <laughs> Can you imagine our jock? Tell him the story, Guts. Where what it was, was me and Viv planned on having a threesome with this bird I found on shag.co.uk. But when the time came, she didn't show up. I don't think she's coming, Viv. Can you imagine that? She set us up. Can you imagine that? <sighs> Who are we gonna have sex with now? Can you imagine if we just had sex with each other? Can you imagine that? Oh, Sorry, I'm five minutes late. I got stuck in. Oh, my. Actual God. And now we're in love. Can you imagine that, like? Because he douches, it feels more or less the same as a Farney anyway. I'm tight as fuck, see, Jock. Can you imagine that? It looks like a Cadbury's cream egg by the time I'm done with him. How do you, uh, eat yours, Jock? Come on, gutsy poos. Let's go sit in our chair and gay snog each other all day. <sighs> I don't know. The saying he hasn't been seen or heard from for like three days now. I don't care. But uh, what if he's hurt though? He's just doing it for attention because he didn't get his way with Kate. Yeah, hopefully. But, uh, you know, on the one hand, I am glad that me and Kate are back together again. Does she know you used to be a couple? Because I didn't. <laughs> no, Deacon, you big silly sausage. As friends. I know I'm not the one for her. Besides, I I think she's still a little hung up on Rich. Sat in, you bell ends. Look a bit gay in that suit, Bat. Uh, what's, what's going on, then? Fuck up, Just. It aren't gay. And if you must know, it's because I've just come from a job interview, all right? And where was this job interview? With Big P. He's expanding now, isn't he? He's looking for some new crew at Bill Topway. You know, since I got with Sonia, it struck a chord with me. It's time for you to grow up brain. So from now on, I'm a new person. The old, childish brainy you once knew is long gone. I'm a brand new person. A new man. Morning. Sorry we're late. Milky had a rough night last night. Didn't you, my love? Uh, uh... Come on now, it's time for class. <laughs> Fine. You can have this last bit of boob milk. Drinky winky woo woo from your mammy's boo boo. I bet you're dying to say something. Go on, brain. I dare you. 
resist. Urge. Mummy milk. Imagine living for as long as these people and the most you've ever amounted to is a call taker. To tell you the truth, it's why I find it so hard to have any respect for them. But I have to try. <laughs> Carl, stop immediately! <laughs> I do not recall declaring this address down day. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my washing machine had a case of the Mondays this morning and conked out. It, it don't matter though. I'm still taking all my calls, and I thought the customers can't see me, can they? So oh, oh, and suddenly you're able to make those decisions, are you? Take it off. What? Take it off. This is a flagrant violation of my policies. But I, I, I'll have to... I'll only be in my pants. Well, you should have thought of that, shouldn't you? Now get back on the phones! <laughs> How much you done so far? Oh, I've got one bit left now. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. I can't actually believe he's made me write an apology letter. What kind of fucking sick cunt does that? Aye, oh, well that's damn for you. You ain't the first and you won't be the last dude. Most of us have had to write an apology letter at some point. I had to write one once because I said I didn't like Mariah Carey. Oh, well this will have to do. And I'll give this in to him now, and get this all fucking over with. We're gonna have to burn that bin. You're right, Dan. Uh, I've written that letter for you, but you go. Anyway, um, I better again take some calls, haven't I? So, uh... Hold on a second. Read it to me. What? You heard me. Read it to me. Out loud so I can hear it from you. <clears throat> uh, dear Dan... Actually... Hmm. I, th I think you should read this to the entire floor. What? Everyone, everyone! Beaton has something he wants to share with us. D uh, d Dan, uh, I, I don't think I can do this. It it's not going to be good for my anxiety, like, so... If you don't read this, I'll sack you right here and now. Okay, everyone, Beaton here, he's decided to write a formal letter of apology to me for our little office spat a few weeks ago, do you remember? He's just asked if he could read it aloud so you could all hear. So, go on, Beaton. The floor's all yours. Uh, you <clears throat> Dear Dan, I am writing to you to formally apologise. I was stupid and didn't realise what I was doing. I feel gutted for what I did. And it was not the way a grafter should behave. I asked myself, would Chaz Kroger ever do this? And I don't think he would. Anyway, once again, I'm sorry, Dan, from the bottom of my heart. And I hope one day that we can be friends. Sorry, 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 sorry. And then I, I just say sorry a lot more times because I had to fill the page. Pathetic. What kind of spineless lowlife would debase himself to such a sickening display of public groveling? Everyone back to work! That includes you, bitch. <sighs> oh, you fucking cunt, like... What about this one in? I don't know. I don't know if we can afford that one. And look at the council tax rates. But it's a nice area. I'm off we were wanting to start a family. I know, but still. To be honest, I don't care if it's a one bedroom flat with a single bed. As long as I got you. Oh, babe. Hang on, whoa, now. You two were on about moving in together. And you only got together last night. Thing is, Jock, we've been together for years. We just didn't realise it. Yeah. When you know, you know. Gotta take chances, see, Jock? Have you ever thought about, about, about I, don't I don't know, like moving like out of the van and in here? Yeah. Yeah. 
Hang on. Chuggy. He tastes of you. Can you imagine that? You gonna let me have a taste then? Oh, of course I will, babe. Oh. Who's a bad little piggy? Oink, oink. Uh, I was hoping coming back here wouldn't be as bad, but I thought being funny is fucking worse. I'm still drinking lager from a fucking bag, and Dan is such a fucking cunt. I can't think of a bigger cunt, to be honest. I know a contender. My mother. Oh, I'll, I, I can't have her at my house anymore, but she's driving me fucking do lolly. Aye. Pardon me for saying beat, but your mother is a cunt. Oh, it's fucking terrible, but every day is pain. Like the other day I was in the house, watching this documentary I've been looking forward to. On a very special episode of Phil White Life Stories, we are sitting down to speak to the man, the myth, the legend, Chaz Kroger, from Nickelback. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, Philip. Sorry to interrupt, it's just Phil. That fucking wife of yours haven't cleaned any towels. Oh, Mum! Y- your fucking fanny's hanging out. Oh, this'll have to do. I fucking hate this house, I. Now every time I close my eyes, all I can see is that crinkly old chuff. I just need to fucking sling her out. Inviting her around is the fucking biggest mistake I've ever made. I just gotta look on the bright side. At least I got a roof over my head. That's the only silver line into anything for me right now. Well, you say that, but I haven't even got that anymore. What do you mean? Irish Mal. Managed to sell ours to cash converters. Oh, come on, Alan. Not this again. I told you. Dave wanted to sell his floor. and We managed to find a buyer for boat. Ah, you look on the bright side. It brings us all closer together. I spent my half on crystal meth. <sighs> Oh, this makes me want to stab someone while they're sleeping. Oh, I don't know. I just wish Jockey would let me move into his van, I. Oh. Sorry, boy. Not to happen. <sighs> I hope I get this job, I. I just keep thinking now, money I get from this, I can use it to wine and dine my son, son. Finally chucking the towel on this fucking shit all as well. Brainy, you're awful on being a drug dealer for Pat. The tightest fucking cunt ever. His name's Big P, not Pat. I will never call him Big P. The only thing big about him is his massive swollen ginger head on that shrunken, malnourished, comic relief body. You're on about making money. You'll end up giving him more than you earn. Fuck off. You're talking as if you know him better than me. You won't be saying all this when I'm minted. You watch now. You're a fucking mong. Anyway, Pokemon Go? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh! I've grown up! Don't go getting sharky me just because you're jealous I've matured and got a job and I'm doing something with my life. You fucking long-haired fucking metal-loving fuck. I'm fucking mature. Fucking responsible and all I like. Oh, brain. Wanna come round mine and try injecting fat into each other's arseholes with a cowboy syringe like that video we learnt about in Horizons? <sighs> yeah, go on then. Have you heard it's amazing? Jockey, my boy! Alright, Bleth? Absolutely fucking golden. Everything alright with your mother? Oh, yeah! She's dead! What? Aye! Not only has that fucking bat flown the nest, and I mean died, but she's also left me a fuckload of money. I didn't know she was rich. She won the lottery, Jock. And that's how she died, see? We'd never played the lottery. I could keep her away from that as long as I kept her in scratch cards. But she was on the phone to those fucking Welsh utility cunts. Oh, so my meter upgrade is going to happen next week. Aye. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you wouldn't happen to have the winning lottery numbers, would you? 
<laughs> oh yeah, they're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, what, what was that last one again? Nine. What a fucking stupid woman. So later that night, after she had bought the ticket, and the bonus ball is nine. I won! Oh, oh my God, I won! I couldn't fucking believe it. First fucking ticket she buys and 10.2 million quid, man. And you ain't having a fucking penny of it, bloodin' Alvon. This is all for me. Oh, I can't fucking believe it. And after the year I've had, oh. Mommy! I've won the lottery. The lottery Mom. I have won. Mommy! Oh, 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 I've won. I've won. I've won the fucking thing. I've won the lottery. Oh, oh, oh. Imagine it. My mother is roadkill. And the ticket just lands on my lap. All my Christmases have come at once, Jack. What are you going to do now? What am I going to do? I'm fucking off, by. Emmerville can lick my paralysed, barely functioning ass. But before I go, Jock, yeah, this is yours now, boy. You are now the official site manager. Fair play, as long as you're sure. What the fuck do I need with this now? I can't even remember what we're fucking building here anymore. Do you want with it, boy? It's all yours. Money, 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 uh, it's so funny, in a rich man's world. Okay, and uh, thanks for calling Welsh Utilities. No, I, I, I don't have the winning lottery numbers. Oh, fuck me. This is fucking horrendous, Al. Oh, coming back here today is fucking ten times worse than I thought it'd be. Come on, Pat. Only a few hours left. Aye, I know, but... I gotta go home and to my fucking mother. And she's gonna fucking tear my head off for no reason. Life is just fucking shit for me at the moment. Calls, people, calls. I want to see all of you booking meter installations. Beaten, why are you in after call rap? Uh, sorry, I... I just needed a minute to decompress. Well, I don't pay to decompress, do I? So make yourself available immediately! Yes, Dan. Yes, what? Yes, sir. Thank you. You fucking piece of fucking shit. I fucking... Welsh Utilities, what do you want? Beat. Dad? No, Beat. It's me, Jockey. Oh, hey Jockey, right, but... I've got some good news. Oh, I... 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 Is that a fact? Oh, really? Beat! Dan's gonna go spare if he sees you away from your desk. Not as spared as I am. Oh, Farouk, you big Arabic tiger. You're so Herculean and mighty. You make me feel so safe. Oh, for Christ's sake, Beaten! Get back to your seat immediately! Beaten! Get back to your seat and me- Ah! Oh, quick, Farouk! Protect me! I can see the rage in his eyes! Oi, you wanna relax yourself, you? Oi, me and you are gonna have some serious issues if you don't. Oh shit, is that the time? Right, I'm out of here, bitches. What? Yeah, 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 that's me done. My shift is over. See ya! Farouk, get back here now! Please! When the working day is done... Baruch just wants to have fun. But be beaten, please, now, please. Let's not get hasty and commit a sackable offence. I have had a fucking guts full of you. Ah! Have a bit of this, you fuck. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, Farouk. Uh...
this will require a disciplinary action. Here you are, boy! Here's my fucking P-45! Crivens, what the fuck? Blevins just retired and made jockey site manager. Does that mean it means we can kiss this fucking shit all goodbye? Yay! Come on, boy. I definitely heard that there are Pikachus and cowboy hats and hoot hoots around you sometimes. That's what it says in the Facebook group anyway. I've been playing this game for ages now, and I've still not seen these fucking owl Pokemon. Don't worry, you will. You've just got to be patient with Pokemon Go. <laughs> oh, you. What are you smirking at? Oh, nothing. It's just Kate. You finally convinced her to touch your willy, have you? Deacon, that's disgusting. And no, we're just friends now. That ship has long sailed. And to tell you the truth, I couldn't be happier. Oh, oh my god! Uh, oh, it's Rich! Who's Rich? Him, there! I've never seen that person in my entire life. Here you have, it's Rich. He used to go with Kate, uh, and he went to our college. <sighs> you know, the he's the one that beat me up. And then I beat him up back and felt really guilty about it. It's the entire reason I'm in Horizons. It's why I got kicked out of college. How can you not remember this? I thought you were there for the money. Don't you ever listen to anything I say? Not really, no. Ah, <sighs> look at what his life's become. He's sweeping hair. Okay, whatever. You carry on pontificating by there. I'm off to finally catch one of these owl porker men. Oh, Mom, how is there so much hair here? It's never ending. <sighs> I have to do an all over on Sherry Bennett. I've never seen hair on the soles of someone's feet before. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, Rich. T Tony? Catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. Pokemon. Ah, oh, about fucking time. Like trying to catch Bigfoot, one of these. <laughs> I am such a brilliant presenter. <laughs> oh, Ben. <laughs> Sandra, where's my tea? Here you go. No, oh, what do you want? Out. What did you just say? I said out now. I don't know who the fuck you think you were talking to. I'm not going anywhere. You'll have to make me. Fuck off, you wrinkly, saggy, old fucking cunt. What did you say? I said off <laughs> you fuck! <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,
I'll see you at Christmas! Oh, Sandra, everything's gonna be okay. I- I finally got my job at the building site back. Blevins retired and made jockey site manager. Well done, Beaton. Oh, I'm so fucking happy, I. I'm gonna go grab my high vis And, as a bonus, now you can finally get back to what you were doing before she moved in. It's fucking all sunshine and rainbows, babe. Never made it as a wise man. Couldn't get it as a poor man's deal. And now, we return to footage of real mass shootings. Oh my god! All the kids are dead! Alright, Trace, uh, can I have, uh, Brazilian wax, please? No problem, babe. Come on, I'll take you over now. We'll get you settled in. So, um, what happened with, like, college and stuff? Uh, it's not for me anymore. Plus, I can't show my face around this since I got beat up by, well, no offence, you. Oh, no, none taken. But what about your friends and the rugby team? What, Greg and all that? Uh, none of them talk to me. Plus, Greg just borrows of Blaine now. He's the new artist boy in the college, so, you know, it's just how it goes in a natural order. The only one I ever see now is Coach Nails. He comes round once a week to have a wash, cut and blow dry done. But that's a bit annoying because that's all he does is constantly ask me what happened and who was behind me leaving the uh, rugby team. But it was me. I, I beat you up. He saw it happen. No, 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 no. He's been working on this huge conspiracy theory thing about it all. It, it does my head in I. End of the day, it was all Greg behind it. He did those tape recordings and shit stirred the entire thing. But I just, I just want to put it all behind me and just let it die now. To tell you the God's honest truth, Ton, the only one I really care about and the only one I really truly miss, to be honest, is Kate. But she hates me now anyway, so there's, there's no point getting into it. Rich, uh, I'm just going to come out and say it. I am really sorry about, like, what happened. No, 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 Tony. You don't need to apologise, but it was me that started it. Remember, I, I come up to you and I bapped you out first. I got what I deserved. But Rich, you're sweeping up discarded hair from Eberville women. No one deserves this. Aye, uh, it's not that bad, you. Oh, Rich, there you are. Quick, I just did a Brazilian wax on Mrs. Williams, and one of her fanny flaps just ripped off and flew off down behind the sinks. I need you to help me fish it out quick. The hospital have to throw it back on. Uh, I best get to it, but... But anyway, Tone, thanks for popping round, but it's nice to know it's not bad blood. Maybe I'll see you around, innit? Yeah, maybe. I'll say hello. Oh, and, uh, before I go, uh, just to let you know, I've, um, I've been speaking to Kate again lately. I think you should message her. Really? Yeah. She talks about you sometimes. I think she'd like it. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you later. Oh my god, Rich, quick, is jumping around like a little goldfish! Fucking right. I'm so happy I could fucking cry, I. Aye, fair play, Jock. And congrats on the promotion. Cheers, boys. So what's going to happen now, then, Jock? You're not going to become an absolute cunt now you're a manager. I my fuck. As long as I've got a tinny and Gutsy and Viv are out of my way, I'll be happy. What'd you do then? Sack him? No, not that arse. Let's just say I moved them to a different department. I just said to her, love... You looked all right in your Tinder pic, but in real life, you're a fucking size of an house. You fat fuck. <laughs> you're a fucking prick, you are, Aye. <laughs> yeah, we all are, though. <laughs> all right, Joa. What are you doing in you? Well, as Blevins retired and made Jockey the main site manager. He's promoted us as your supervisors. <laughs> Come on, now. Nah. Aye, us five. Day in, day out, forever. Can you imagine that? It's like we have our own little family. Oh, 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 We're gay. 
This would be a perfect day if I wasn't living with Irish Mal. How bad is it? Aye, you could say that. We can't use the toilet at the moment because he's flushed his dead dog down there, so we've had to share a bag for life. And I'll be funny, it's a bit like living in Bosnia. Chin up, pal. Have these. What's this? It's for the van. Move in whenever you want. What about you? I've told Pauline I'm moving in with her. What, you've finally taken the plunge, have you? Yeah, well, it makes sense. Plus, she's pregnant. Fucking hell, Jock. Congratulations. How far gone is she? About five, six, seven, eight months. I have asked for a DNA test because I can't see a resemblance. Kept that quiet, bud. Well, you never asked. You fuckers are always going on about yourselves. Hiya, Jock boy. I'm off. Going to live off your millions, is it, bled? Aye. First things first, though. I'm off to Venezuela to do something I've been wanting to do for years. What's that, then? They do revolutionary paralysed spine reversal surgery. I'm not going to be an old cripple cunt anymore. But anyway, Jock, it's been emotional. Beating an Alan. You can both suck my cock. Here we are, back where we belong, then. Well done, my child. Thanks, Chaz. Anyway, boys, should we get back to work or what? <laughs> Fuck I. Hey, Tony! Oh, uh, uh, hey Sophie. You alright? Oh, I was just watching TV, so just wanted to get out and about. How have you been since the other day? You feeling better now? Oh, feeling better? What? When you were upset in Horizons about that boy going out with your ex. Oh, uh, oh, she wasn't my ex. She was just a friend. It was just one of those things. I'm all good now, though. Oh, that's good. So, um, what were you watching? What? On TV before you came out. Oh, um... I was re-watching this series called Cyber City 080808. You've probably never heard of it. Yeah, you like anime? Yeah, I love it. Huh. Uh, isn't that like the OVA by the guy who did um, Wicked City and Ninja Scroll? Yeah, Yoshiaki Kawajiri. Oh wow, you know his name. So, so uh, uh, what other animes do you like? Have you ever seen Bobo Bobo Bobo? Huh. Oh my god, I love Bobo Bobo Bobo. Uh, at the moment, I've been re-watching uh, Love Hina and Sailor Moon Sailor Stars. I've heard of them, but I've never seen them. Oh, they're amazing. Love Hina is like my favourite ever romance anime. Have you ever seen Tenchi Moyu? <laughs> yeah, Tenchi Moyu's amazing. I think my favourite anime ever is Trigun. <laughs> to go who we go! Fucking tits I am, boy. Ah, oh, fuck me. So, uh, you enjoyed that, did you? Oh, I just gushed up my arse and I felt like three ten bags at once. Oh, you got to have a go at that, just. Oh. So, to clarify, you just willingly injected amphetamine into your arsehole. Aye. So you, Mr. Finley Breen, admit to it. Fucking hell, Josh, you just fucking watched me do it, you fucking dull cunt. Of course I did. Well, that's all I need. That's a go, boys. Code red, code red. Send them in, send them in. Just, what the fuck's happening? What's this? You, lovely boy, are nicked. What? 
What the fuck? I didn't do it. Get him out of my sight. Justin, you can't do this. This is not right. You fucking sneaky cunt die. Justin! Oh, it's not Justin. It's justice. <laughs> He's been working on this huge conspiracy theory thing about it all. It, it does my head and I. End of the day, it was all Greg behind it. He did those tape recordings and shit stirred the entire thing. But I just I just want to put it all behind me and just let it die now. To tell you the God's honest truth, Ton, the only one I really care about and the only one I really truly miss. <laughs> Good night, my sweet friends. Ah, ah there's boys in the corner. What I'm about to do to you, I haven't done for 21 years. I'm gonna enjoy this. Fuck me, Doc. You performed a miracle here. I've been dreaming of getting out of that fucking wheelchair for decades now, and you've finally made it a reality. I'm so happy, I could almost cry. Gracias. It's been my pleasure, Senor Bladon. Just remember to apply this ointment twice a day to prevent infection, and no hot baths for two weeks. Doc, I'm more than happy to comply. <laughs> Beep, beep, able-bodied person coming through. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>